Merry Christmas! Merry <laughs> Christmas! Yay! Ah! Uh, I mean, I mean Crimbus, sorry. Crumbomulus. Merry 4th of July, everybody! So we've watched three Christmas movies, and uh, out of everyone here... Wait, was was Jay Longbone the only one that didn't see Jingle All The Way? She did not see Jingle no, All I've The Way, no. It. I've, I've seen it. It's a... Wait a minute, you mean with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't watch with us. Oh yeah, no, no, I haven't. So that's what we'll do, okay? We're gonna we're gonna talk about those three movies that we watched for however long everyone wants to talk about them because fucking do it. Yeah. Metal's trying to overcome chat. <laughs> He's not said enough yet for it to appear. You're gonna have to keep on oh, damn it. keep on cringing for that. Crumbus. Um, Ronjo. So Languidus. I guess should we do it in chronological order? I feel like that's best because, to be honest with you, for guys, when the movies were made or when we watched them. When we watched, when we watched them, them, because I <laughs> there I am. Well, you know what? First question: Which one did you enjoy watching the most? That Jingle Robin. All the w Well, Jingle hmm, All the Way. That, hmm. Wait, so wait, wait. okay, yeah, like, wait, 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 wait. So to sorry, clarify, which, people which, watching, which the three movies are Jingle All the Way, Home Alone, and Batman and Robin. All three are Christmas movies. You can't deny it. Uh, if you do, you're in trouble. Uh, um. So, which of the three did you enjoy the most? All right. So, my question is: Does that count? Does that count our commentary or just the movies themselves? Um. Oh, do you, what would be the distinction there? Just, just to clarify. Because if we like, is just like you're saying, which like if we're just like judging movies or the experience of watching the movies with other people riffing and talking. And... Um. Well, you know, I'm interested in both of your answers for those. To be honest with you. Um, all right. Well, if I was to rate my enjoyment of the three, they would probably be number one, Batman and Robin, with a very close second being Jingle All the Way, mm -hmm. and then Home Alone definitely third. I would say Home Alone's a yeah. safe third. Yeah, it's um, the fun of Home Alone. You have to wait a little bit. You have to, you have to wait a while before you get yeah. to the super fun. Um, but it's kind of unfair because Batman and Robin and Jingle All the Way are fucking romps. They're amazing. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the, the ride never stops with either one of those. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll talk about Jingle All the Way first. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It. We can go sure. in order. Uh, I had never seen Jingle All the Way until it was, um, till it was. I mean, it's time for us to watch it. Really? Yeah, I think it's the same. <laughs> and I enjoyed it quite a bit. I liked it a lot. Um, I wasn't really prepared to think it was that great based on the premise and what kind of movie it was. But it really held up well. I laughed a fair a bit. It uh, it surprised me a bunch with the stuff that they were throwing in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was uh, I was so happy to find out that like it is what I remembered it to be, but even better. Because it was just such a funny fucking movie to watch every Christmas. And like my whole family love it. And watching it with you guys is such a surreal experience because it's like, oh my god, it's actually like it, it's in the so bad it's good but also like kind of respectable plot line wise while doing some stuff that's just like, holy shit like, this is hilarious. How did you get away with this? The fucking drug <laughs> yeah. dealing, to toy dealing Santas. That whole sequence is brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's, it's I would have never up. imagined in a million years that that would be what happens. <laughs> yeah, because you expect it to be chill. Like, it's going to be like, oh, he awkwardly gets into some things in some supermarkets. Oh, no. Like, oh. Well, I mean, when it comes to Arnold Schwarzenegger, this wasn't his most chill performance of no. the three. Again, oh, you must... I get it. Nice one. Oh, oh shit. I, I actually thought you meant it that. literally, and then I was like, that's actually clever, too. Uh, yeah, man, that's isn't. no joke. It really isn't his most chill performance. <laughs> um, he's warming up on these. No, you know, he's actually like not even that bad in Predator, like actor-wise. <laughs> I, I want it known that just because he's amazing when it comes to playing in extremely insane characters, that he can actually like nail it when he's doing dramatic stuff. Sometimes I don't know if it's because the character matches up enough. A lot of people reference T two, and it's like he's playing a robot. And you're like, yeah, shut up. He does it really well. <laughs> Even if <Yeah. laughs> uh so yeah, like like for anybody who hasn't watched this film, um you're gonna have to wait either until to like this would be premiered after that was premiered. Um, or you have to wait an entire year until you see it. One of those two things are happening. So either way, yeah. I guess we'll just be like Jingle Away was pretty cool. You should go and check it out. This is totally normal movie. Where a dad is working a lot and he's unable to to make it to his family duties, and then he makes a promise to get his kid a toy, without realizing that that's going to be really hard to do because it's a toy that's super super rare. 
which, by the way, happens a whole bunch, especially in the in the late 90s. If you guys were growing up, you'd be like, I want this fucking toy, and your parents are like, Jesus Christ, you're such a piece of shit. Absolutely. I, I, remember, <laughs> I, I remember being around at the big old craze of the Tickle Me Elmo doll and uh, the Toy Story dolls, you know, Buzz Lightyear and Woody and everything like that. But in particular, it was the Tickle Me Elmo that was the basic Turbo Man of the <laughs> 90s. So to say that that's a ridiculous premise of people selling out <laughs> and people going absolutely fucking insane trying to buy it. No, that is not unrealistic whatsoever. That was the 90s. Yeah. What I, what I remember as a kid, what I really wanted. I know. What was Domino Day a thing for you guys? Domino Day. Day? Domino Day? Yeah. In that's what it was called here at least. The so pizza they, they, or actual dominoes? No, actual dominoes. Right. So they, they built like those huge things and they, they start the domino thing falling over and they make like pictures and have like s crazy shit happening with those dominoes. I have never known about that. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. I, I thought it was an international thing, actually, because it seemed like a crazy thing. So there were like multiple episodes of these every year. Uh, over the year, I mean, I don't know how many, actually, like five or six. And they they built like these huge huge warehouses full of dominoes where they did like pictures and towers and they all started up with one domino and they just fall over and everything goes and then they did like world records with it and everything it was pretty insane so, so you wanted to go to these like things fun. sorry you wanted to go to these things is it or no uh I, for christmas i wanted to do they they sold like sets where you can build your own domino shit wow with, like with like ramps and and domino pieces and all the crazy shit and yeah, I got I got like one or two of those and I built like crazy. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember I... back then, like you know, yeah, things like the domino rally. That's what they called them uh, to you know knock them over in succession. That was still like a pretty fun thing back in the nineties. I don't. There wasn't really a holiday revolving around it, but I remember like they had these little machines that would like roll around and set the dominoes up for you and shit. So it was pretty good times. So I remember fond memories of like, oh my know, God, rallies and stuff. What? Domino day 2020 surprise comp. What? <laughs> what are the fucking odds? <laughs> so wait, wait, where are you uh, reading hang on. this? I just, go I just was, I was Googling for pictures so I could show you what the fuck they built. Oh my god. So it went from 1998 to 2002, and then they had like a like two years pause, and then there were like four more, four or five Paused? more. Hey. <laughs> and then more from 2004 to 2009. So apparently, uh, yeah, this year. Oh my god. So they're bringing well, it back for this year, huh? What the fuck? Well, apparently they brought it back, but I don't, did, never saw it because I don't watch TV anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Live show. Oh, so the live show is going to be in 2021. That's insane. Um, what are the odds? I haven't talked about Domino Day. Uh, apparently in... they're not that low. Yeah, I mean, if it happens every Christmas. I thought you were like, oh, International Domino Day is actually today. I thought that was going to be the amazing coincidence. <laughs> What? Uh, no, 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 no. Or I just discovered that I was the founder of Domino Day. <laughs> I was, or something like, you know, something actually. Yeah, because they, they stopped doing these I think in 2009. Oh, man, it's so crazy. They're going to have this annual thing next year. They, they're not annual. They just did it till 2009. They stopped in 2009 and they started up this year is what you're saying. Apparently, yeah. All right, that is a coincidence. Yeah. Let's let's give it to him. Okay. Let's hand it to him. Yeah, I mean, him. It, it's it's somewhat coincidental, but it's not really that. I you know. no, yeah, I, I'm giving it to him. It's not too coincidental. It exactly. gets the reward. Because, like, they did bring, yeah, they did bring back a couple of things uh, around this year because I know some of these you know movie theaters are playing some really old classic movies. Uh, Walmart was talking about bringing back the drive-in movie in response to Song COVID. Song of the South. So, uh, <laughs> what? Some really old classic movies like Song of the South. Yeah. Birth of a Nation. A bit of, yeah, oh, like that's that. so uh, you know, uh, Great Christmas Jurassic movie. Jurassic Park was coming back in uh, theaters around here locally. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah, cool. So it's like for them to come back. Oh, my God. That's like shit they built. Holy pretty Oh, man. Imagine Satan with a marble in that room. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you say that. But like if Satan did it, we'd all be happy. Like, it would be like, yay, the thing is but happening. But it's not finished yet. I don't know if it's I'd be misery. Happy. I would be happy to see it all happy. go. That's what Domino's yeah, No matter what, you would sit and you'd watch. 
Yeah, right? yeah might as well. Rolling. I mean, I mean, if there's a if there's currently a train derailing, I might as well watch. <laughs> there's nothing I could do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this is interesting. I'll probably never see this again. Yeah. This is kind I, of I, weird. I remember the day. They, 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 okay. they even built like like uh, things that go like in a circle for a while, so they can do ad breaks in between. So they even timed it so they can do ad breaks. But so you don't miss anything. They have like this pendulum almost. It just goes in a circle until it hits the next one, the, the next piece to continue it, and they do ad oh, break wow. in between. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was fucking insane. It was pretty good. Good times. Yeah, still going. Two thousand nine. What, like, time, <laughs> what a Fuck time, guys! What a time. But we were talking about a different. Actually, wait. I've got okay. So you know you mentioned the grouse earlier, Rags, as a bird. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> threw off metal, I think, and it threw, threw me off a little bit too. It's like that's a weird name for a bird that I've not really heard. You know, I, and this was set up earlier, so you can't say it's contrived. Um, I was drinking those weird things I told you about. They're like little chocolates with 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 alcohol in them. You yes, remember I remember. Time? And I just pulled one out to consume it, and wouldn't you know, Rags? Wouldn't you know what what one it was? And I'm posting the picture with a pen for scale. Orange turk. <gasps> oh my, oh my god. god. The famous grouse? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck talks about grouses? It's the, right. it's the famous one. That animal it's literally the life. famous one. Two that, in the. Oh. It, that doesn't sound like the plural for grouses. I feel like it's more grease. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I think it probably is grouses, though. <laughs> Famous grease. <laughs> Isn't it platypuses, Flock not platypi? Grease. So, yeah. Platypuses? Mm -hmm. Platypuses. Um, that's Pussy. interesting. I'm going to consume that in a moment. Uh, Do it. Next. But the more important aspect of all of this is Jingle Little Way. We're supposed to be talking about how, like, so yeah. I'm starts okay, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also real simple. He's like, oh, man, <clears> I'm going to have to get this toy. And he ends <laughs> up going to, like, a supermarket. Y your standard approach. Go to the supermarket and you're like, oh, you have to queue up because it's crazy and everyone wants the stuff. Yeah. Meets a mailman, as you do. Well, I mean, mailman is kind of redundant, isn't it? <sighs> I didn't want to say it. You know, I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> it's poli it's 2020 ranks. Like, come on, I have to. God damn it! I should Literally said it. gonna get EFAP canceled. Not a female woman. <laughs> yeah, I just said it was clear. <laughs> um, so they they they're all doing the the thing. They eventually get in, and everyone's laughing, laughing at this poor man for trying to get this toy. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they laugh the, right in his face. What's funny is oh, like, movie, I'm showing pretty bad service. I'm scanning through, through it while we talk about it, and there's some stuff I'm just like, oh, I want oh guys to see it. The fucking guy is stuck on. <laughs> oh yeah, because you guys can see the stream. It's fucking. It feels weird because it's not live technically, but it is. It's like, oh yeah. my god. So you should. You guys should fuck around with chat. It's literally yours. Oh yeah, yeah we, we are. Oh. Um, so they laugh at him, and it's like, wow, that's mean, but it's like, at the same time, if, you, if I've worked in a toy store, when someone's after a particularly high-value thing that empties day I one, you're like, it. are you, like, are you stupid? It's, um, <laughs> you know, but he's, he's not in the toy culture. He's a businessman. He doesn't know about all this shit. So he starts mm -hmm. getting excited, as very much proven by this image, because he's now going to get a battle in with the with the mailman. Hey, going to make him foul. And um, <laughs> but since it's the beginning of the movie, every time he gets close to getting that toy, it's a no, 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 no. We get a little montage of all the normal things for him to try. Meanwhile, you know his his neighbor is trying to hit on his wife naturally, and then. Mm -hmm. It's almost like piece of shit. bad luck bumping into the cop. They they're doing all the stories, you know. They're, mm -hmm. they're nailing it. And then uh, th there's there's the ball section, you know, the section with the balls. If you guys remember, I'm familiar with the ball yeah. section. Yes. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's this. I don't know why, but they're like we have. Does he say like a couple of Turbo Men or whatever yeah, to they sell? Got, so so yeah. they 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 got. Uh, a late, late shipment delivery or yeah, shipment late delivery, of yeah. Turbo Man. And it's like, okay, we only have a bunch, so we made this, I don't know, this raffle pretty much. There's like balls here, everyone gets one, 
And if you're lucky, you're you're getting one of the Turbo Men if you have the right number or it says, yay, yeah, Turbo Man for me or something. I think the idea is that he, as long as you have a ball, you get a Turbo Man. No, I think it's for the drawing. Yeah, it's yeah, for the drawing. Well, yeah, you, you all get a ball and then it'll be like, this is the ball that you win with. Who has that ball? And it's like, I yeah. have the ball. And also, because okay. he's a smart, a smart man, he doubled the price for the Turbo Man because he, he knows. I think you could probably push it further than that, honestly. But yes. Yeah, yes, I think yes. we said that in the recording. It's like, uh, yeah, you could probably look like three or four times the money because everyone wants one. Yeah, that's a cot commodity. And so then, yeah. because everybody's freaking out, they throw <laughs> the balls at everyone. So... I don't know how many Turbo Men there were, but if it's a low chance of you even winning when you have a ball, like the crazy levels of effort people go to get these balls, <laughs> it's just it's just representative of consumerism. I mean, I've done a lot of effort to get my <laughs> hands on some balls. I think it, it really ah. makes sense. And so then you get this intense scene where Arnie is desperately reaching for oh that's a great screenshot right there i i feel weird sending you these when you're just probably watching the stream but you need it okay it has to be documented that's where the woman is fighting him <laughs> yes so he he's he has one in his hand and this this horrible wretched woman bites his hand <laughs> Oh, wow, he's getting kicked in the head. I didn't even see him he was getting kicked in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting, he is getting fucking kicked in the super kicked into the face. Into the face. <laughs> uh, and bitten everything. And the mailman is is successful up until uh, this horrifying you moment. Say the man mail. The man. Oh, you know what? Can I play the clip? Let's see if I can. Let me just. Oh, <laughs> You should play the play button. Yeah, sure, whatever. He got two! He got two! Get the mailman! Fuck! It's like one of my favorite bits. He got two! Get the mailman! He got mail two! Man. Get the mailman! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because bef uh, before that scene, you see someone with like five balls in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> These people are like the mailman. Fuck the mail. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the mailman must die. Um. So yeah, he goes on a wild goose chase until he he uh, abuses a poor child and is is sent out of this <laughs> sequence, thus ending uh, Act One, if you will. Yeah. Only to begin Act Two with a, a creepy Santa being like, "Hey, I know a place that you can a, get a doll." By the parents as well. It's like, "You pervert! You fucking pervert!" I'm not the pervert. Go away. I just want the Turbo <laughs> Man doll. Well, Man. that's basically just a microcosm of you know 2020 internet discussions. You're a pervert. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're a pervert. Not. No, I'm not. I just, just want. He touched my ball. Uh, he got my balls. That's what I mean. This film is ahead to of its take time. Take my ball okay? out of his mouth. <laughs> oh no. And Just so, a child who took my that's, balls. That's the end of this film being even remotely normal. Yeah, that's where it's normal. Though. The normal section yeah, is over at that shit point. Hits the fan. And it's already it's kind of fun over. without it being crazy at that point. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm dealing with it. But then, yeah, it just. We speak to the Santa, and after a while, they, they have this image of him holding a Turbo Man doll. <laughs> <laughs> with the current newspaper. Like a, like a hostage. <laughs> Fucking midget as well. <laughs> We're taking this morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Listen. so good. And so oh, okay. they're convinced that uh, he has the Turbo Man doll. And so he, he follows them for a while. You end up in like a <clears> Santa. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. I'm getting really lucky with like the the images on uh, VLC player <laughs> with the film. Like, look at that. You remember the movie well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want this. I want this as a boat, sus Santa. <laughs> Santa, don't trust you. I don't believe you're not on my naughty list. Doesn't he kind of look like um, like Doctor Who? I don't know why this is so funny. Which I Doctor already? <laughs> Doctor Who. I kind of remember exactly who I think he looks like. I, I will tell um, you in a moment. Very well. <clears throat> um. Very well. The this. pact has been sealed. So we find out there's this underground sort of toy marketplace where a bunch of people who are dressed as Santas and elves are trying to sell counterfeit toys to make money. Of course. Um, and they start, they start singing. 
Um, I don't. Uh, I don't think that's in the theatrical version because I really don't have very good memory of them singing it, Ani. Something, something that felt new. Um, but the point is, they bring him his very expensive Turbo Man. I think it cost him three hundred dollars. Um, so you know, better yeah. worth it. Not only does it not speak English, it falls into a whole bunch of pieces onto the floor. I'll say, not only does it fall into pieces, it speaks Spanish. <laughs> 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 See that that was the the moment when he realized something was wrong, not the falling apart. Yeah, this thing. this and so apart second. The mm -hmm. most important thing here is, of course, no refunds, mm -hmm. which is like, oh no, you've been duped. Mm -hmm. They've got you now, and so it's a, <laughs> uh... it's a matter of pride at this point. It doesn't even matter about the Turbo Man doll. You just gotta fucking you, you can't it's have this. About sending a message. Destroy. And so we get a scene that. Once we see the Mask of Zorro for EFAP movies, I'm I'm almost certain oh, yeah. we will be able to compare and contrast these scenes because there's Definitely what I thought of. the army of the normies, then there's like a ninja one, and then there's like a huge <laughs> one. It's a big show. It is, yeah. But um Well You have to appreciate show. see because so, you're like, oh, this is a film I'm watching, and you're like, Oh, what what's in it? And you show them this screenshot and you're like, Alright. So uh Dude, he does like he does like a Five time front flip. It's he insane. does. <laughs> they have prepared Santa candy cane nunchucks, which I think is impressive. I mean, you gotta be prepared, as Santa. <laughs> Someone tries to fuck up your toys, you gotta fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you got. Adi is clearly like just the audience. Like, what in the world is happening? But that guy, he is having all the fun in the world. <laughs> uh, oh yes, shit, you were a happy elf. Damn it, I was about to post this. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you know, you don't really know what to make of this until um, Arnie fucks them all up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is Arnie, right? Yeah. But that's the thing. You're like, of course he can, but then giant Santa. And uh, despite being armed with a candy cane, what can Arnie do but break it across Big Show? <laughs> Terrifying stuff. They've even um, spray painted his uh, his eyebrows just to fit the look. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Bug-eyed look he gives them after. <laughs> oh my god! It's kind of awesome to have like, oh yeah, the guy on the on the right there. That's Artie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Arnie is already massive, but Big oh, Show is Arnie like legit like a pathetic child. huge. <laughs> Why do you make me Little look this boy. way? Like I, I saw Big Show perform live. He's fucking huge. Didn't he perform like dead. Like, <laughs> like what? <He's>... That's good. <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> it's Big Show, and it's just this body it's lying just on the stage, face <laughs> down. And everyone goes. Woo! Before the death. It gets carted out in a coffin. Yeah, people, yeah, people just flop him over on his cart. Well, he's away. not the Undertaker. <laughs> Big Show, oh. dead and in concert. I'd watch it. Dead show. The show must go on. So naturally, um, a midget jumps onto Arnie's head. And naturally. they're like rocking back and forth. This is one of the best moments in the entire film. <laughs> Big Show decides to right. punch Arnie in the face. Here it comes. Arnie very cleverly ducks. Leading. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we could show this in a movie today. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeeted across the room. Like, <laughs> Dicky little limbs flailing. This is this is this an off-screen Santa air. who's just having so much issue with con like understanding this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love He's it. Like, no, my playtime kitchens. I can't believe this. <laughs> and of course, Big Show feels very guilty about this. But uh, yeah, the war begins. All of the Santas start to. Just fucking dive Arnie. Unfortunately for them, at this very moment, the police break in because it's a raid upon the, this operation that is fucking awful. It must <laughs> be stopped. Sting, yeah. You notice how this film's like 
content changes as we go along because I went over the first like half an hour and five seconds but this part I've spent really long <laughs> it's just like it's, <laughs> I don't understand it's so good the sheer oh. absurdity this is where it goes <laughs> off the deep end and oh, never yeah. stops the police are arresting the sad <laughs> 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 they're rounding up the little elves and everything oh, it's too there's good. four cops remember who grabbed the, the one yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They got each of his limbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find How to out. properly carry a midget. Oh, yeah. The midget <laughs> manages to escape by jumping under it. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking when they made this? It's so wonderful. The Christmas spirit nailed. And yeah, and he happens to find a fucking like toy police sort of uh, badge. Yeah, and just convince the guy he's like, I'm undercover detective. I've been working undercover for five <laughs> years. You know <don't> everything. <laughs> Never have I seen <laughs> such a terrible buzz. <laughs> also, where is that shot of them carrying that Santa? Around? I need it, you know, for research. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a pretty intense scene that you just don't really expect. That's the way the film is going when you start it. But it's good that it went there. Mm -hmm. and the, this movie is fucking awesome. <laughs> would, would would a movie have the balls to do that these days? I don't know. Oh, there you go. I found it. One very small elf carried by four officers. <laughs> Naturally. Um, so yeah, you, you feel like, oh, it's going to chill out now. I'm going to chill. And um, the, the neighbor once again hitting on his wife. And he has a section where he's just unable to connect with his son. Re-establishing those important themes. Bumps into the mailman again. And so, like I said, for a second, you might be convinced that everything's chilling out. And then we find out that in a radio station, if you can deliver all of the names of the reindeer, then you get yourself a Turbo Man doll. Which is, that seems like a really easy question, though. I don't know, a lot mm -hmm. of people don't know. Free internet? Well, oh, well let's, I mean, who here can, can do it? I, I, mean, can. I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, rather, yeah. who here can't do it? Me, me. Yeah, I don't think I could. I could get like four in. I could, can't even tell you two. But the only reason, the only <laughs> wow, I can't. But the only reason I might be able to is because I would recite what he says in this movie, not because I know you it. You know, well, general. we're talking well, about reindeer. Counts. Well, hold it. we we were talking about reindeer here for just a moment, but there is a fun fact that I learned. It's uh, it's do problem. you know why? Do you know why Santa, he would he would feed uh, Dasher and Dancer coffee all the time why because because they were his starbucks <clears throat> i'm Tell glad that i said this will be a pun before you said it <laughs> no I, I thought that was pretty good yeah I no i i give it oh, all right i give it five stars starbucks. i won't tell you if it's out of yeah. five or ten though well, all right no, well no, i mean no. either way it's either it's either perfect oh. or it's yeah it's all right it physically hurt me rags oh no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Keep It, Donner, Blitzen. And if you're Vixen, right, with the female representation, unless Vixen was a dude's name, in which case, like, oof. Whoops. But, man, she must have been like, she must have felt like the only Smurfette in the village, you know? Yep. Neat. You, Dasher, uh, Vixen, Donner, Blitzen. I'm pretty sure that's Rudolph. how he said Nah, that. he's, he's, I don't think he's canon. Vixen is wank <laughs> wanking in German, just as a fun fact. Vixen go. is wanking in German. Yeah, it's it's wrote differently, uh, written differently, but yeah, it's important <laughs> that that was the case. I bet the there's a lot of wanking to Vixen. Mm. <laughs> um, for reasons that not even I could elaborate on. So they arrive, <laughs> and of course Arnie is like gonna win because he can recite it really well because he's a fucking legend. But the mailman has a bomb. Oh my god, yes. So <laughs> okay, all right, dude. Now what it's is... worth noting, by the way, that the mailman is played by Sinbad. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. <laughs> well, that's well, that's basically all the Bible says. Sinbad. See, that's that's yeah. a that, that's a radio man pog. <laughs> this radio, radio man pog. pog. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is such a. I love to turn on the radio and listen to the programs. This is on the verge of being a cartoon face. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> he even managed to do it. I'm impressed. Um, this is the best part of the entire movie. The line that that Sinbad gives in a moment. Oh my god. Oh yeah. 
hundreds of these go in circulation. I just decided to keep this one. This no, 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 no. no. The one he gives to the cops with the second one. Right? Okay, wait, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead. We'll get there. Bilge. So, yeah, he's like, this is a bomb, and, and they're all like, oh my god. But then, in his rage of explaining that this world is fucked up, that people put bombs in the mail, he throws the bomb, and it lands on the floor, and it doesn't explode. It's like, oh my god, you're a cheetah, you're, you're a bad person. And so, um, the guy explains, there is no Turbo Man doll at this place. You only get a ticket to get one. And, Eventually. Uh, yeah, which is not useful to Arnie, because he needs it for tomorrow. So, um, they try to leave, but uh, the, the, the police have already arrived, and so um, it's all over, except the mailman tries the trick again, and it actually works again. Um, and so, this is where he says the line. I was going to say, our Have heroes managed to escape, but do, did you want to do you want to take it away? The line he says is, don't move! I'll know! I have the ears of a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I have the ears of a snake. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the other great moment of this is the the bomb explodes and they do a nice cut. He pulls it and it just detonates. Um, also, you can tell if you if you're watching right now, they light up the windows to let you know where the bomb went off. <laughs> You may have missed it. Yeah. Right up in that top left. And then, yeah, uh... They're fucking dead. Fucking mailman hears that and he's like, It's a sick world we live in! Sick world! It's a sick world we live in! <laughs> so, um... But of course, because it's a nice... Family-friendly movie. We don't, uh... We don't see any flesh flying anywhere. And, uh... Yeah, you, all, you only see a Looney Tunes-ass cop, and it's the only the one cop that picked the bomb up that gets blown up. I mean, honestly, and he's like, oh, I'm Daffy Duck, blurg. It could have just been a joke bomb that doesn't actually explode, but I don't know how it managed to make such a huge <laughs> sound if that was the case. It's like, yeah, and the, <laughs> the other ones are just building. like, oh, I have some dust on my jacket. <laughs> um, and then we move on, of course, to uh, the, 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 I think this is the second act low point. He tries to steal a, a Turbo Man doll from his neighbor. And he manages to fuck up his whole house, and he gets caught from it. And his kid and his wife are like, "We're gonna go to the the parade without you." Which well, we get some we get some character moments here between him and his Ted, the deer, the reindeer. We do. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, funnily enough, stake wise, like the stakes of this movie are whether or not the Christmas runs successfully, and the idea of they go to the Christmas parade without him. That's like that's like major. That's like Thanos arriving. You know can't have that <clears throat> um i want to mention that he accidentally sets a i guess metal statue <laughs> head on fire oh my god i don't know how and then because he's a wonderful human being he decides the only way to get rid of this efficiently is to kick it into the snow <laughs> at carolers <laughs> at carolers yeah so the best solution is probably going to be to I just can't believe they did this. It's so fucking funny. He kicks it. It goes through the, the, the window and smashes it, of course. <laughs> and so from the perspective of these people, they're singing a carol, and then the window smashes and a flaming head comes through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> it's uh, it's wonderful and it's terrifying and of course everybody flips out and he's <laughs> he's just trying to make the day work, but he's unsuccessful and yeah. Poor guy. He's yeah and so um, this this the reindeer has been fucking him up uh throughout the movie and. He's been trying to deal with it in different ways, and, and, and once all this happens, and the wife and, and Ted are all like, you fucking dingus, and, and he gets exposed for almost stealing a toy, he's just not in the mood, you know? Like, you guys can understand that, you wouldn't want to fucking deal with yeah, a reindeer. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, by the time the scene sort of comes to an end, the reindeer returns, and Arnie's just like, you know what, I'm not having any of this, and uh, let's just say, I don't know if Peter approved this film, but they probably wouldn't be a fan 
because the radiant bursts through the door, growls at him. Not sure if trained or weird prosthetic. Sometimes I get confused. It's and, kind of uh, a mix of both. And Arnie just fucking uppercuts that bitch. Had <laughs> 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 enough of this reindeer shit. Like, <laughs> somebody's listening to all of this without knowing what jingle all the way is. They're like, what the f- Al Schwarzenegger uppercuts a reindeer? Like, I don't know, what? what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then afterward, they become friends and the Ernie 90s. gives them alcohol. Yes, yes, that's right. I'd forgotten about that. He does. Yeah, and then they beer. just they drink together because you know guys, they're just like you know. yeah. Well, see, that's good probably good fight, they're good again. the we're most done. bro part of the movie is is Arnie drinking some beer with the reindeer. That's, <laughs> that's how you know it's all coming. To, and so the begins. <laughs> so begins the third act where we really start to ramp up. So the parade with the army of Santas and oh, we we pointed out so many different like they got. All kinds of mascots. We just saw uh, Crayola, Bert and Ernie. I don't. I don't know all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raggedy Ann, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Cat in the Hat. I don't know if they paid for all of Paddington. these. Paddington. Probably not. Is that Paddington? That's Paddington. I always. I for some reason don't remember Paddington being like white fur. I thought he was like brown. I think he's brown, but it's got to be Paddington. What else would it be? Rumsfeld. Rumsfeld. <laughs> <laughs> that is Rumsfeld the bear. You racist. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, and then, so it turns out through bad luck that Arnie is unable to reach his family in the parade, and instead is chased by the policeman into a doorway that leads him to becoming the part of the parade thing for Turbo Man. Which right, is because he's wanted for the the terroristic bombing. Yes. Of the radio station. Yeah. I also want to want to highlight Ted tries to sexually harass his wife, and this is what happens, which is I allegorical. The for this a is... second, and I was like, oh, right. Really? <laughs> this is what happens. Spicy. <laughs> when you... Dixon was getting old, I guess. <laughs> this movie's trying to say sexual harassment bad. That's what that is. I believe at the time you said that you were surprised this wasn't used for more reaction memes. Yeah, I feel like you could probably <laughs> put a bottom and top text on this in a lot of ways. A lot mm -hmm. of ways. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to see if that happens. Well, uh, get to it, y'all. So, mm -hmm. um, he accidentally becomes Turbo Man. And Sinbad, for some reason, unrelated to all of this, decides to attack and kidnap well, well, tie up the guy who was supposed to play the evil brain dude so that he could oh, attack yeah. Arnie Turbo Man to get the Turbo Man doll, because the mailman also wants a Turbo Man doll um, for his son and so they battle over it it's intense uh, Arnie has a jetpack there's a furry, there's an army of demon power rangers this okay, is can, not can we talk about the jetpack did we even? Sorry, Anakin Skywalker is in this movie, by the way. Oh yeah, let's, let's <laughs> right, not forget right. that. And he acts just as well as he always has. Yes, impressive, undeniably. Um, it's incredible. George Lucas was like, "This is the one. This mm -hmm. is Anakin Skywalker." <laughs> you can tell that George all Lucas these... took a lot of inspiration from Jingle all the way when he made the prequels. I think a lot of the dramatic stakes are very similar. Um, uh, Arnie's acting clearly inspired a lot of the acting in the prequels. I would say. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of connections. Uh, the furries are obviously... way better than the prequels. Oh yeah, so this is a pretty good shot of the incredible special effects to realize a jetpack. Um, hope you appreciate this. Playing it on screen is gorgeous. Mm. Arnie just um, the peak of action cinema. <laughs> the parade people built a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, and it works. Oh and right, it yeah, really yeah, yeah. Gets them around. They built a fully functional jetpack that goes way up into the sky. Yeah, mm -hmm. and across several several streets, and it's insane. Wow! Up, wait, wait, wait! Up into the sky and across several streets. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, like wow, vertical, horizontal, it's all there. Oh. What if it? No, what if it's it very? It's very vertical, not very horizontal. Yeah. Well, I mean, that would you be. You can move like but... thirty feet left or right, but you can go up a mile if you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would imagine if you would go vertical, you wouldn't be able to keep that height. But nope, keeps its uh, keeps its elevation and everything. 
They I would went, somehow. They went all out on this. Why would, wait, why wouldn't it? Well, I mean, if you're if you're flying straight, if the idea is that it's only going to go super high, then you would think that it wouldn't have any type of you know means to level out so you can go straight, right? Well, no. You would probably you would probably just, steering you know, hit the street. You'd probably just hit the street and slide across the ground. But nope, it it, it you maintain your you, you know you, you maintain your height off of the ground and you're still traveling. Are you saying it doesn't provide lift? No, it provides tons of lift. I just imagine it doesn't level out, but it does both. When you when you say level out, what do you mean? Well, if you're going straight, like I'd say, well, in what direction? Know, you're go you're going straight at about six feet off the ground. And if what that I, thing? So we're we're like level to the earth. Yeah. Okay, that's very important. All right. Mm -hmm. And so while you're going forward, you would think you would need some type of like means of staying at the height you are like six so that, feet, that's what right? that's what lift is mm. well, well, you said yeah, it but, provides lift yeah but it provides only a shitload of vertical lift you would think right like there's no wings on this it, to keep this lift, thing lift you know has turning to be, is mm -hmm. so what's the what's the problem um, well, it mean it it doesn't have any sort of like wings or fins or anything like that to kind of keep it level. Well, it doesn't matter. You've already established it provides lift. Yeah. So it. But if you're going so forward, whether it, wouldn't you so think whether you it's just hit the or not? No, 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 no. You said that it provides lift. You mm -hmm. established that as what it has. So whether it's doing it's that up, through. Yeah. Lift is always up. That's what lift is. So if so, it doesn't really matter if it's, if it's through wings or something else. It's got lift, right? The well, wings point, are a mean. My... So wings are a means to an end. That end being generally to provide lift and yaw. Um, I'm assuming Daspol's just talking about how does he direct it? Yeah. Well, he's got. Well, it's probably his helmet as well as the two booster things that that he's holding on to. His helmet. Well, yeah. His helmet. What do you mean? His helmet doesn't have wings. <laughs> no, the, the, well, here, look, no, it, you don't need wings to steer. <laughs> no, right? yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Wait, what? What's yeah, the... like, doesn't he have? Does his helmet not have the fin that's on it? Oh, his I, mean, for, for instance, I don't like, think for, that. For, fin... No, this is, no I'm, I'm being serious. If you, for instance, oh, right, man. if you are scuba diving or if you are underwater swimming and you're propelling yourself with your flippers, if you do nothing except change the direction of where you're looking, you'll kind of go towards that direction. I don't right? think his so fin you, is going to have... matter whatsoever to the power of his jetpack. Well, all you, it well no, that's no. The more powerful the jetpack is, the more impactful the small differences will be. Because Fucking, it creates. I'm not an aerodynamics person, but I think so. That's if his bullshit. head has like a, a, like fins or something on it, like the top one. You could use that to steer. Fuck no. To a degree. Fuck no. To a degree. The, the jetpack's yeah. thing. If you watch the movie, when he activates it, he fucking like it's like a bullet train. That that helmet's doing nothing. That's, that's not gonna change. Well, let me let me see how big the fin is. <laughs> yeah. The, the... <laughs> Don't worry. I've got you a perfect. <laughs> yeah. Please show me. I because I, I can't remember. No, I just mean his face. It's fucking glorious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is probably it's in the um. Like the controls, because they move right, like yeah, left I and think, right and I stuff. I think I think the whatever he's holding on to might have something in there, but obviously Arnie has no fucking clue how to use it. Which yeah, uh, this is the first time. Which he's adds flying very to the along. humor. Perhaps oh. it's just very intuitive. He just misses Anakin I mean, Skywalker. Clearly. Which if he had grabbed him he... in this scene, we wouldn't have had Vader. Just saying. <laughs> um, and yeah. um... He eventually like beats the fuck out. Evilman saves the day, very Christmas style with a boomerang, no less. Fringy would love this movie. <laughs> what a boomerang! That's great. Um, when he knocks the dude off the thing, and it's like, yes, we got him. It's like, oh, so he's dead. And it's like, no, no, he lands yeah, on like a a present. <laughs> like, oh, it's fine somehow. I don't know. Uh, don't listen. Wow. Terrible. And he wow. gets the Turbo Man doll, but then the police got him. Uh, uh. <laughs> See that? That's how you. That's how you know the fuzz have gotcha. Again, I don't. I don't know how many people actually have the stream up or not, which is fine. But they got it. No, no, I'm. I got it. Um. And so, 
Uh, you see, the the day is one, but in the true them, right? Christmas spirit, the son and the father and the mother, they're all, they, their relationship is stronger than ever, and the kid gives the gift to the villain to give to his son. Wonderful. Also, the creepy pervert man leaves because he was evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He was he was hit with eggnog. I feel like that's enough, you know. You didn't you didn't need to kill him or send him to jail or anything. It's fine. And victory. The day is saved and the star Yay. is placed upon the Christmas tree. Which by the way, he waited From until best. Christmas Eve to put that star on. Damn. Yeah, you want to give it the, give it the old big finish. Normally and then he goes into the bedroom to give her a big finish. Oh my god. This is a children's yeah. program. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Disgusting. It's like from the, like from the pit of hell. I hear this giggle. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the film closes out with realizing, oh my goodness, he hasn't bought anything for his wife, so they're gonna get a divorce. It's gonna be a really. <laughs> oh, no. Speaking of divorce, yeah. let's talk about Home Alone. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that leads us into Home Alone. Um, naturally, <laughs> this is pretty good, actually. You know, because yeah, neither divorces. of the parents want the kid. That's how it works. So I had remembered Jingle All the Way as being not particularly good, and I was sort of dreading watching it when we first started. Um, in fact, I think that's in the recording, uh, is that I'm just like generally not so fond of the idea. But by the end of it, man, I completely, uh, I completely changed my memory and thoughts of it, and I, I, it's a great film. <laughs> and I think like a lot of it is just like we just don't really realize what we've had until it's gone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> After a you while, you're just so like, oh. Until we, we and don't have the yarn. <laughs> you don't realize what you've law what you've gained until it's here. I like how when originally we told Jay that his his avatar wasn't a Christmas avatar, and now it's the same one just with a Santa hat. I, like, I'm okay <laughs> with that. I, I'm fine with someone just popping the Santa hat yeah, on. I think that's that. fine. It's like, yeah, it's a quick. Quick fix makes sense, you know. I mean, yours is just a reindeer hat, right? Hello, just a reindeer, a reindeer hat. Do you not see the fucking nose? That is, that is a very oh small detail. I refuse to That's accept your vitriol That's in response. Feature. I see your nose, motherfucker. Rag. I've got the carrot, the little the little things to, in the mouth, the snow, the the ice, oh, the Santa oh, hat. It's amazing. I got the antlers. On my noggin, yeah, I've got Jay's the got nose, a hat. and it's not a prop. That's my nose. It's Jay, just red. Jay I has read a hat. my nose. Jay's got a cool background. Yours That's is this weird color. polka dot thing. Yeah, just I, just a heads up. This is literally. I'm fairly confident the drunkest I've ever been on an EFA. Racism. We're doing the Christmas I recording. This will release on the drunk. 25th, Jay. Okay, so don't spoil for anybody who hasn't seen what happens on Christmas yet. Why are you drunk? What? Uh, because I just got home from uh, seeing a couple of friends. Nerd. Are they that bad? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't answer. <laughs> so Damn. I've had I've had um, two mugs of mulled wine. Whoa, uh, mugs! A gin, wow. a gin and tonic, and then a bottle of wine. Well, a whole bottle. Yes, um, like one of those Jesus. little bottles. That's a lot of Alcohol. It, well, maybe for you. No, that's that's a lot. <laughs> I just want to... said a whole bottle and then just, like you know what rags? I just want to bust your balls. That's all I'm at. I'm at today. Ew, I'm just like sexual. Mr. Three beers. Well, I don't get drunk no, after it's three. Okay. Beers. It's okay. Balls. You know, some people can drink a lot of alcohol. Some people can't. You know what though? Fine. We make fun. Everybody would want the the lower tolerance because you wouldn't oh, yeah, have to drink well, as much. I used to I used to have a really low tolerance, and then by drinking a lot, I got rid of it. Um, Damn! <laughs> the true so Christmas drunk, tragedy. I used to away, ben, I used to get drunk miracle. real cheaply, and now, I, now it's quite expensive for me to get drunk. All right, so now what? Do we talk about the other two movies, or do we play Jackbox because everyone is here? Jackbox. All right, we got one vote. I'm gonna go into my Jackbox. That's, well, what are the other two movies? What, what are those well, we movies we watched good? Home Alone and Batman and Robin. We haven't talked about two of the other movies. Well, but we can, you know. Right. It's just that I don't know how long everyone's going to stay, and right now we have all seven, so wouldn't that be the perfect time to play Jackbox? I don't know. Rag, what do you think? What do you think, Rag? It's it's all good in the hood, really. If it's Whatever all good in the hood, 
then, um... Well, I, I was gonna put it to a vote, but I'm assuming most people are gonna be like, I don't mind, which means Jay wins. <laughs> Is that right, Jay? I have power. Ugh. I don't want I mean, Jay to win, though. So good right now. Can you phrase that differently so I'm more comfortable with it? Um, I will dominate you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doming around. Do you think Why are all these men in the chat pointing guns at me? Chat, <laughs> chat is ours. We we have chat. We control chat this time. How does it feel? Yeah. Chat, chat, chat are going to be so upset when they see oh, this. Oh, what's like, that That's guy fake with chat. glasses covered in cum? <laughs> <laughs> Jay scrolling up through the postism. That's, That's Humpty Dumpty's cum. Bum, 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 bum. Cum or should I say Humpty Dumpty's cum? Humpty Humpty Dumpty. Comfy, comfy. Oh, that's not, that's not good. You shouldn't say that. You can't so, so I'm just scrolling up and, and the man covered in... Oh, that's the guy reading the small thing. I like that guy. I'll show the you guy the reading thing. the small thing? I don't know what the yeah, fuck you're talking about. The, the, the Asian dude in front of the blackboard reading the small piece of paper like, Oh, I can't see this. Holy shit, I just realized. Asian dude in front of the blackboard. It's always about race with you. I don't have to hide anything. Um, wow. and I don't mean that in terms of gay. I mean, I don't have to hide the screen, because this is all going to be premiered later, so haha, -ha, get fucked, I chat. can leave the closet open, oh my god. The closet remains open this time around, Batman. Jackbox. I wouldn't, if you guys have the stream up, which you should, otherwise you can't see the amusing drawings as efficiently. I wouldn't even need to tell you Wait. the room code. You Where's should be able the to stream? See it. Oh my god. I've just arrived. You Fair. scrolled up to see the cum glasses, but you didn't scroll up to see the link to the <laughs> fucking stream. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, wow, the heads aren't even aligned properly. You fucking idiot. You crumbus. I can't align them perfectly when... If there's seven, when, I won't. If there's eight, when, I will. When you're not smart, you can't... Intelligence is subjective. You're objective. I'm, you're an adjective. Matt, are you excited for the thing we're going to do tomorrow? I am. Oh, gay. You said something about AIDS, so I guess you mean 8 p.m., not a.m. AIDS p.m. Wait, did 8. I say 8 a.m.? No, you just said I'm awake. We can start at 8, that's when I'm awake. And for me, oh, it yeah, 8 p.m. equals 8 morning. <laughs> I, wake up, I wake up at 8 p.m. You see, I just put it in the chat. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, really good. Good, good, yeah, man. I woke up at 8 p.m. today. Nice. What's, yeah, I, I would have I would have gone on strike if you said 8 a.m. because oh, it's 2 a.m. already. <laughs> Name that movie about the dog. Right. Yo. What do we do? We um do we try and talk about Home Alone while playing the game? Is that is that the plan? I don't think we can do it. Sure. Home Alone. Yeah, I can just... Dude, I'm uh, almost finished. The, the last half of my Valentine's bottle, so I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Just, just bullshit, just, just, just rings, yep. Just, just, just. Jay Longbow, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's probably not here because of the internet. No, Did I you know? know? Oh, she is here. Of, <laughs> I heard her. She's just very quiet. Hello, uh, join us and draw. Uh, don't draw penises, it'll upset that's bullshit. Nah, it's just. <laughs> It will upset the algorithm as well. Oh, uh, I don't think it's, we've never had trouble with that in the past, right? Like we never. Wait, doesn't how, enjoy penises. How are there eight people? Is someone double drawing? Uh, well, I I tried to switch to my phone, and I guess it didn't kick me out. God it damn. It. That that's not what it does. That is correct. I guess I'll reset. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. God, no problem. Everyone can type idiot. in a code again. It's not the huge. Das. If you do that again, I'll pre. Dude, you're literally cool. wearing a hat on your hat. That's yeah. not how yeah. hats work. It's just a joke. No. 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 I bet you don't like minorities. Uh, <gasps> press, press the button that says the no. Also, uh, oh, Jay, I'll have you know, Chase agreed to join us um, at 7 p.m. It is now 1.30 a.m. Then he no! said something about... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sick. Perfect. Exploded, his car blew up. No, you, well, didn't he say he would eventually no. turn up? He still hasn't. I literally didn't even say I would turn up, but here I am. Exactly. Who is the superior human? I believe. The little shit I am. The little Ooh, shit. I want to see that movie. Hey, the, about the the quarter of the EFAP audience that don't like me. <laughs> I'm here. That's what? my bit. 
Everybody's uh, hated by some uh, portion. Like, even Rags. But, Rags of all people well, is yeah. hated by a portion of the refab audience. Can I you believe it? I'm, I'm, well, that's I'm, the thing. When, you ha when you're a person with conviction and strong opinions, a lot of the EFAP audience will hate you because they're wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I put something in chat for you. What, what, in which chat? In, in the, the stream chat. chat, which you've got, you got to get this. Oh, the scroll chat. up. Oh, it's just us. That's so cool. I yeah. know, right? <laughs> Literally, the winners will be selected by just us. So, the the stakes are on the oh, highest shit. flames. Dang. This isn't a popularity contest anymore. It's literally just about who's funnier. Also, fucking two people haven't joined yet. Why do you hate everything? Oh, I haven't joined yet. Wait, I've not seen the code. Where's the code? <laughs> it's in the big ass letters. He Joe. No, oh, it's Sai Two. Uh, yeah, we don't need to hide anything. We're all alone. Wait, no, that's the previous code. It's not like me and with No, Sai Two. Sai Two. We're not using the previous Saitu. one. Sai Two. Saitu. Saitu. It's Saitu. the Kijo. That's the old one, and we're not using it anymore. Well, I see the new one now, so I'm I'm very drunk. Liar. Okay. And I, I can't take this kind of emotional abuse. Oh, what so about you can a... talk, but you can't read? Ow. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I'm like... All right. My mental age is currently like five, and five-year-olds can like talk but not read. Everybody's in. I'm starting it up. Uh, three, uh, two, and then, a, and then another one. Another one? Another one. Another one. All right. Another one. So good luck, every drawer. So Home Alone, man. So yeah, we'll try and talk about Home Alone in these. Everyone's you got to multitask. Talk about Home Alone while drawing. Mm -hmm. I like Home Alone, but I haven't seen it in like ten years. The crazy thing about Home Alone <laughs> is that the the portion of the defense of the house is a tiny fraction of the actual movie. Yeah, it takes forever to get there. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Twenty minutes. And to be honest with you, yeah, like that's that. not at all how I remembered it. It's kind of changed in my mind yeah. about what kind of movie it is. Yeah, I, I kind of was like, it was. I would have probably hated it if I watched it alone, but we were there together making fun of it, which helped a whole lot. I mean, it's what makes Milan enjoyable. Yeah. Wait, is it bad? Are you saying it's bad? No, I don't, not I don't in the know. slightest. Well, I mean, like, if we talk about plot stuff, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, but I, I, I personally I don't vibe with the fact that like the stuff he does to the robbers would actually be like excruciatingly painful, but it's just played as like haha <laughs> funny. Wait, I don't vibe with that. Personally. That's like the funniest part though. You don't. What do you mean you don't vibe with that? I don't understand. Um, uh, well, my vibrations they don't align with it. Ah. That's only getting me for me today, rags. That's you don't you don't get to bully me into speaking like a normal I, human being. No, I, I legit didn't understand what you meant. He uh, not well, happy. Good. <laughs> I believe Jay's trying to say that they should have been more injured, and that portraying well, yeah, it as it, funny so... is is rude to human suffering. No, is that no, what you're saying? Not rude. No, not rude to human suffering. It's just like uh, tonally, I'm like, I, I'm kind of a squeamish person when it comes to physical injuries. Like, I don't deal with certain types, handle home. Certain types of physical injury very well. So like when the guy steps on the nail, I'm just like, oh, oh. yeah. Oh, oh actually, yeah, no, I, I cringe super hard. Yeah, when that I was a one. Kid seeing that, you see his really foot sink like, down that. just that extra inch and he die inside. That one, fair enough. But there's not. I wouldn't say there's many of that one. The rest of them are really funny. I find. I'm I'm really confused by what the hell this thing's asking me to do right now. So I'm just gonna draw whatever you want. Oh yeah, I haven't explained the rules to you. Have you played this one before? No, I've played it before. Plenty. Oh good. All right. It's just that what it's asking me to do doesn't really make a hell of a lot of sense, so... Despoche, would you be upset to know that I've already broken the rule that you set? If it wins, it will it will break it, yes. Oh no. Oh my god. I think mine's funny, so fuck you. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> Uh... So... Yeah, uh, next round, as you are all hopefully aware, you have to defeat the thing that you, you sent. And, um, wait, wait, what, what, what do you guys think about the whole lead up to the Home Alone tisms? Like the the ending part that's actually fun. Like all all of oh, that. Oh, I mean, that. it's, it's well, I think it's fine. You know, it's fine. All right, yeah, I, it, it was I, a hoot. That entertaining. I probably wouldn't know. I wouldn't watch this alone ever. Yeah, and take that as whatever you want in terms of meaning. But the thing is, I probably wouldn't want to watch Jingle All the Way on my own ever again. I always want people to be there, because it's fucking funny as shit. You know? Yeah. 
but like all movies, I would rather watch with people. <clears throat> so. So when you say Home Alone, you're watching, you you mean something more special, like uh, it's it's floopy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't. I'm, I just can't say I'm that big of a fan, honestly. Well, let's get some more opinions in there. Is everyone? How's everyone's Ooh. fan rating of of Floompy Alone? I'm alone. Oh, I love Floomping alone. I I, I love the Wait. last part. I I it felt a little bit like a drag to where we go. Yeah, I, mean, uh, you know. I mean, there, there's some fun stuff in there. It is it, I, like it, it establishes like plenty uh, working against. You know, Kevin, and the fact that he has, he's mm. like given no other choice but to do with this, except for the fact that the cops probably would have come to the house already. Like, if the pizza man did like what he was supposed <laughs> to do and report that somebody blew somebody else away inside a house or fired at him. And uh, the fact that the cops didn't swarm the house is a bit of a plot hole, and then find out, you know, the kids in there. And the fact but, that they already uh, tried once to contact the neighbors, they're like, oh well. Yeah, and they just knocked on the door and said, nope, nobody's home. We're out. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck have I drawn today? <laughs> I, uh, I'm the first one ready, what the hell, but there's only 20 seconds I've left. I've readied up two, you guys have got 10 seconds left. I saw you did. Smaller, you, no, you're the, uh, you're the red one, I don't see you ready on the stream yet. Yeah, well, you know what, you have a really bad streaming service that doesn't show you the future very fast. Oh, I'll get dabbed on. I told um, the people I was seeing today about cuties and they were like, ah. They told him about, you told about cuties? Yeah. Why would you do that? Also, it's too late to talk about that because now we're battling. Wait, who's oh my God. Who is N? N? Oh my goodness. Oh no. It's Jay Longbone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the person drawn. Okay. Adding flavor to the pool. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty basic piss drawing, but it's better than N, I think. No, I don't agree. Those sunglasses. This though. is so actually did that just because Das yeah, doesn't yeah. like the P. Oh, he doesn't we, like penises. We can't have no, the that's, P that's, win. That's, oh, that's, that's not my point. Like the the. <laughs> without well, without the chat here, the map is going to completely change. I think it would it yeah. would be an ool if it wasn't for the P. So well, that's fair enough. <laughs> Make sure you're all voting because it really does count this time. Yeah. All right, so you got. I, I was kind of, I was pretty neutral on that, honestly. I was legitimately really neutral on it. Glasses and the shading make it, man. Patrick fuck the pacifier peace. versus fuck peace. Patrick the pacifier versus fuck peace. I don't know. I think Pat, Patrick's got some pretty big peace energy going there. I feel like yeah. drawing the previous person's drawing and then something killing it is is getting a little overplayed. Just gonna say it now. What that thing I was saying from the beginning? Oh wow. That's what I said at the beginning. That's what I said. I thought the Death Bullshit was referencing. No. Then he wasn't. Oh, because if he would have, no, if he would have said that, that my problem different. is that it's a thing, but now it's a thing with a penis, and me, thing with a penis automatically that just wasn't wins a thing every with a time, penis. no matter that was how just clever. A thing I mean, name seventeen I mean, things chat, that dicks know. don't make better, except blenders. Yeah. The, ch the chat of which twenty five percent are wrong. This is really nice. I like this. This is great. <laughs> this is really nice. You know I don't what? even care if I lose. I appreciate that. I don't care. I thought that was great. I appreciate that the flower is like happy despite being homeless. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the seems... pot. I'm the. I just was like, fuck it, empty pot, and I do the homeless flower. That's so wholesome. Yeah, dude. yeah. He, he seems happy to be free. You know, yeah, free of eternal of of uh, material possessions. <laughs> we should kill the homeless. <laughs> yeah, you think he would be frowning a bit? I don't, I'm, fe I'm feeling Stogie. I think he's like he's kind of someone who'd be chill at a disco, or whatever. Oh, Stogie the Thruster! Stogie I love. He's like thruster. he's like a steel. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear Stogie stories. Yeah, the Stogie stories. <laughs> also, we've really got full votes. What's Uncle everyone Stogie doing, stories. huh? Being oh, racist. Stogie just annihilated me. Yeah, Stogie is great. Yeah. Uh, I'm Stogie's frost in his way to I victory. I saw Stogie and I was just like. I don't know. I give props to effort for like the coloring and stuff. Mm -hmm. You, get, you yeah. definitely get points. Holy shit, for that. that's the first 100% we've ever seen. Well, there's only like three people voting, so calm down. <laughs> there's a calm down. <laughs> oh no. He's like, holy Spread shit, like you're blown away. Spread of the ass. <laughs> ass tape. Ass tape. <laughs> <laughs> it is. 
Red and red and Mc Mc That's a lot of tape. I feel like it could cover it. I don't know. What is the purple and the blue on the tape supposed to be? Shading. Uh, shading. <laughs> the brown in the middle of the tape. Ew. It's the cardboard. Well, what's the brown in the middle of Spread and McAs supposed to be? <laughs> desperation. I call oh, it desperation. No. You gotta prepare that. You gotta champion you gotta of attention seeking. The, the glint of light wow. on the tape really just pulled it through. Oh my goodness! How does a tie get settled? Oh, all right. I guess it doesn't. I just win. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, it's better than when the forty-nine percent man wins. <laughs> Invisible Smeef, but you can see him. So that's- is everybody. that canonical? Is that what Smeef looks like, Jay? Yeah. God. Well, no, you can't. He looks like a Legend of Zelda character from the N64. Smeef <laughs> is invisible, you can't see him. So, uh, I, I found myself relating to the killer in, um, in the Home Alone a lot more than I expected to. Oh, you mean the, Joe the Pesci, snow slayer? Joe Pesci's hard to hate. Shovel slayer. No, no. Yeah, oh, the shovel slayer. Oh, yeah, yeah, the shovel slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, my drawings got so supposed to be dad. annihilated. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> the Trandy Cane? <laughs> I was, hey, it's, it is what it is, alright? Dan, Shut the up. Trendy Cane. The I've champion of the it's spoken the I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit here. I think that Dan oh, has I the upper hand, I'm just saying. Yeah, if you don't vote for me, you're a trans bigot or whatever. <laughs> of course. I, you know, I support her, but I don't vibe with that attitude. If you vote for Dan, you're a faggot. Damn. Wow. Wow, that's, but everyone's voting for Dan instead of talking Trans about Kane? Das Bullshit Fuck in 20 you. years. Look at all you transphobes. <laughs> the tr what a stupid fucking word. He's using the game. ultimate weapon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On you. No one voted for Trans. Oh my god, what, Jay, what you came shit. last. Jay, you lost. What a load of horseshit. Whoever fuck comes this last game is and loser. fuck all of you. <laughs> You're bad people. What they said about EFAP is true. <gasps> oh yeah, didn't... <laughs> Except for me, in this bizarro didn't, mirror uh, universe. Didn't Matt Jarbo give shit? <laughs> oh yeah, Matt Jarbo was like, oh yeah, he's like, oh, fuck EFAP. Bunch, bunch of insults. He's mad because Indeed. we're just like the rest of the other 7 billion people on the planet who make fun of him. You know, thanks to that. <laughs> thanks to that I had somebody in my Discord come up to me and say, so... How's it feel to be an incel? And I've never had that question before, so thank you. <laughs> well, of course. you gotta own it. It's funny as well because it happened right after Dagula one. It's like, Dagula's an incel? I, I, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> He's married. Well. Doesn't matter. Incel. Incel. Okay, yeah. just be insulted, you fuck. To be fair, incel is a pretty good insult. It is. It is funny and original and very clever. All yeah. of those things put together. Shit. Uh, That's not really I mean, brown, is it, game? Bad. That's not brown at all. You lied to me. Why are you so people? You lied to me. Oh, 40 seconds left. This is not enough. I need longer to draw this incredible masterpiece. The Home Alone. I'm, so, I'm just, I'm absolutely void of ideas this game. <laughs> my brain is just like, why don't you draw this incredibly stupid thing? Don't draw that. I already did and it submitted. Fuck. So. <laughs> what if you do a giraffe but with noodles for legs? <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds. One. Noodles and go. <clears throat> <laughs> ah! Here comes Someone the next one. Someone just tweeted at me that their cat's name is Kitler. <laughs> well, you, are you allowed to do that in Scotland? Uh, well, I don't know if they're in Scotland. Probably not, though. Not for long. Is everyone very much concentrating right now? Mm -hmm. yep. Every drawing I've drawn today has had sunglasses, but completely by coincidence, not for like any connected reason. I don't believe you. That happens. That happens with me and desks, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what the fuck is this drawing, man? I'm feeling this one. This is gonna win the battle. Dude, I cannot draw while I'm post a bottle of wine and a gin and tonic and two. That should be when your moment. powers are doubled. No, it's when my powers are nullified. Your powers are weak, old man. It's like, hey, Jedi seem to get more powerful the older they get, so shut up, Vader. What does he know? I didn't have I didn't have time to finish one of mine. I'm, I'm pissed. You pissed? I'm pissed. You you're pissing. So I guess our uh -huh. discussion on Home Alone is complete. We we went through it all, right? Yeah, I mean like it. The the thing of it was it was it was a fine movie. It was funny where it wanted to be funny, and they established yeah. a lot, and the plot holes were minimal, and uh, <clears throat> I think the cop the, the cops could have probably cleaned up a lot of it. But overall, not too shabby. It's and the parents fun. didn't do a yeah. clear, didn't do a very good job of getting back to the sun and stuff like that. It's hey, true. She did walk boring. through the door. Mom tried her ass off, though. You got to give that to her. Yeah, the mom. No. Yeah, but she yeah, put in she more, more effort. The exact same moment. Like, she put in more can. effort, but like not enough. Everyone else didn't. The, the I feel whole... like I feel like they couldn't have her put in any more. Effort, I love the though. idea that they were like, let's phone all of our neighbors, and it all went to answering Once. machines. Like all of them. <laughs> Yeah. Arnie agreeing to be in Terminator Dark Fate versus him screaming in 90s movies. We already know who wins this. I like the muscles that you gave him, though. Whoever drew that. <laughs> What's that little red dot below him? Dude! The, the, the pee on, uh, from his blood pee. pee. Shut up. Wow. Terminator's bleed, obviously. Oh, champion of overstaying their welcome. That would be not. Oh, Stoji versus Invisible Smeef. That would be Smeef. <laughs> overstaying their welcome. Oh, well, be Smeef. definitely Invisible Smeef. God, that yeah, complicates. Yeah, this, this one this. I win because it's the contest of whose drawings are the worst and who's overused <laughs> their jokes the most. It's not fair that Eb loses because he wasn't as bad. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> there you go. Dems de rules. Game through me a bone. To be fair, Arnie agreeing to be in Dark Fate would absolutely be the champion of staying your welcome, but I didn't wait to see what the contest was before I switched. So, Eric was <laughs> what? body vanishing green. <laughs> uh, Alright. It's just I acid. It's not even cream, it's just on. acid. <laughs> Acid. Oh, wait, what if it said venom instead? Oh, that would have been perfect. The trainers have a decision. Why would you vote for body vanishing cream over dead Harriet? With what is spelt Harriet on the fucking the gravestone? <laughs> the gravestone is also very upset. However, I like the body vanishing cream and it's acid. I think that's humorous. Yeah, I like that. Fair a lot. Enough. I like that. I think like the champion of needing moisturizer. Actually, if you know, I think dead Harriet. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, acid is moist. Yeah, I, I guess. guess. Dead people I are guess. moist. I, I guess has it is moist. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, you I mean, I wouldn't lube my asshole with out. it, but you know, it, it is what it is. What would you lube your asshole with? Lube. Rags, but he fucks. But the he fucks the wolves. <laughs> yeah, we voting for the fucking Chad rags. So I, you, you know how to secure at least one vote. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Champion of life coaches. Yay, I won one. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. Well, so far. Man, always Van choose between these life coaches. Flavor <laughs> to the pool. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> What's the one thing I could do to have rags not be all over my dick? Oh, yeah, that's right, pissing. <laughs> <laughs> Pee in his pool. One of 
them will be is that really everything we have to say about Home Alone? Though? Uh, well, I think was, part of it has it to do with the fact that we're focusing on this game. Too, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Champion of leftovers moving <laughs> off. Specifically oh, so. preserve McDonald's fro. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't finish Bruh. it. <laughs> I like it, boys. It goes like. Mm -hmm. Champion of food poisoning. <laughs> oh no. Champion of food poisoning. I feel like if Movie Bob could be poisoned by food, it would have happened by now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Does that make him the champion of it? Then again, or not? it's perfectly preserved, so. Ah. Oh. Maybe Movie Bob is has championed over food poisoning. I think you get food poisoning if you eat Movie Bob. Oh, what if he is immune to it, but he can give food poisoning to other people? Mm. <laughs> So he's like a super spreader. That's how we. That's how we. Yeah, like that's how he starts the Fourth Reich. He gives a lot of people that he does. He gives seventy-five percent of the world or whatever food poisoning, and then they die of, of dehydration through diarrhea. They die of falling, falling dawn. They crap out all the water in their body. What is happening in these in this competition? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Go falling dawn. <laughs> the champion of princesses. <laughs> Uh, big <laughs> violating the Geneva Convention. <laughs> I don't know who is violating them in this one. I will be honest. Dude, that's a funny meme. No, I mean the crutch is on fire. I think, but which one's uh... the funny meme? <laughs> violating the Geneva Convention is a funny meme. The spread of McAss is back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I'm not gonna ask what he wants to do with that crutch then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, Jesus. Oh my god. I'm hitting something. Brother McAss, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no. I don't know where the, I'm from right now. Bombo Dry Lips versus the humble tube of chapsticks. <laughs> I can't see it yet. Don't just give me spoilers. What well, the fuck is that? He's got such small arms and legs. Even the chapstick would win. <laughs> oh, champion of mansions. What the fuck does this have to do with mansions? I don't know. <laughs> Hunting humans for sport. Okay, Bombo looks really fun to hunt for sport. <laughs> Why is Bombo losing? I like Bombo. He wins now well, he... because of the humans for sport thing. Idea. Oh, oh my god. Well, I guess the problem is I haven't drawn a human yet, so I have nothing to substitute it out that would make sense. <laughs> Shut up, you. Sorry. The closest thing I've drawn to a human is an empty pot, I guess. It's human, -like. human like. Human like. It is a human construct. Because a body is like a vessel for the, uh, consciousness or something. Dude, that's pretty deep, to be fair. Yeah, like a, all of humans, a dead human is just like an empty pot. Okay, his arms, and hands. I am a sosophiler. I was told to think about ideas, and my first idea was I need a raise. I like the idea that he has Brussels sprout hands. <laughs> oh, Marco <laughs> McBrussels boy, speaking of getting a raise. Oh. It was good of the Greeks to come up with the idea of thinking about stuff. Yeah. Thank yeah. fuck someone appreciated the Greeks for that. Patrick the yeah, Pacifier like is going to get pacifier, annihilated. He's got... No, yeah. man, I think he's got that Chad Peace energy. Yeah, but anger Look how issues. confident he is. Don't he's look at his eyes and his smile. He is just, he's full of confidence. Fuck is going to hit him. He's just, oh my god, Faco literally punched Patrick him. is gonna pacify him. Faco, I mean, according to the game, according to the narrative, the lore, that's not what happened. No. According to the lore, it is. He's the pacifier. He, he just purported, like that movie that The Rock was in, right? He purported to be the pacifier, but that was not the case. I still, I believe. <laughs> Moriarty stealing the win. Really? Oh, oh. It's only because there's no audience. They would vote against me immediately. They wouldn't know who you are. <laughs> oh fuck! Wow! <laughs> no, no, the, the it's anonymous. No, it's, the drawings are anonymous so, until it's revealed at the end. So painful! No, the <laughs> drawings are anonymous until right it's revealed. They wouldn't know which drawing's yours. <laughs> I'm never going to recover. <laughs> I'm okay well, now. I didn't come last. I beat Rags immediately. He worked both terrible. Hey. My drawings were amazing. My, I, I felt that my drawings were amazing too. It's just that, you know, you don't know the room until you play at least one I game. Literally, I literally ruined the lore of Invisible Smith this game, and I can't believe you lost to no, that. Yours, no, yours was just fan fiction. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh shit, it's sad already. I wanted to pee. Oh fuck. But I'm the original offer. Also, it's me. These talented uh, are you? Allegedly. Yeah, do you really own that? If we accept the idea of like death as the author, does that mean that all of like an author's own work is fan fiction? Wow. That's not. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. The true author of Smeef will be revealed in the courts. Did I have an idea of something to draw and I forgot that? Are we well, starting a new go... game? Because I gotta pee. Um, I guess now would be the time to run and pee and do it as fast as possible and I don't skip the intro. Pee on your PC. You know what? I'll just do the drawings. I got a rubber band handy, so we'll be good. <laughs> Alright then. So, um, that's about it for Home Alone, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got. Yeah, pretty fun movie. Some parts are kind of whatever. Like, I don't know why they put the whole Shovel Man arc in there. That was kind of pointless. It was Crimbus. Yeah, Crimbus, I guess, yeah. But, uh, no, it's, it was fun. I had a good time watching it. I did too. And I'm curious to watch the second one to see how much house antics there are. Were there two or three of the Home Alone movies? Six. Five? Six? F what? There, there are five of them, yeah. I only knew about three. Wow. I have the big impress now. You were just now. asking if there were two or three, so really you only knew about two, you fucking liar. Yeah. Listen here, you drunk piece of shit. Oh! oh that is what I am. Oh, okay, cool. I'm still working on the drunking part. As am I. I need to Hello. get a new bottle of whiskey soon, though. I, I almost finished the one I have. Why didn't you just have more whiskey already? Yeah. It's in my fridge, fuck you. Why do you need to get it? Because it's in my fridge, you fuck. Why didn't you just mm. bring your fridge? But, uh, hmm. Oh wait, Dude, fuck, we're already drawing. 30 seconds to draw. Whatever it is, Jay, it's gonna be real bad if you just died, and we're all gonna judge you for it. I've drawn a very good image. I just have some silly ideas today. I like it. This render game is the, the most fun. We <laughs> actually have like shitty ideas for drawings. Matthew, you actually, you actually came third last game. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That's how you know it's not a real game. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I found oh some really God. good idea of what's good and bad. Yeah? <laughs> Who fucking drew this? This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, let's see. Kinda hard to draw masterpieces all the time, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I guess we also gotta talk about Batman and Robin at some point. Uh, I Don't stress me out! There's so much to say. Batman and Robin has like, so much fucking content. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Yeah, it never ends. Brown. Time to draw brown. That is brown, Molly. You're lying. I never lied. I told a different version of the truth. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what the f Dude, my drawing. These are like some of the worst drawings I've ever done this game. Wow. I'm gonna... <laughs> Not pulling the full effort just because it's not live, technically. Well, yeah, 
because like honestly right the chat name those characters i i you beat up the chat is made of like people who are who who are like saying stuff mhm mm mhm mm mhm and some of them are wrong some of them are good people probably maybe ah uh, it's mm. something that we shouldn't discount as a possibility yeah. it's time for the main event I think i, I wrote the truth and chat now i saw warrior. truth and chat Metal, what do you smell Truth like? and chat are the two furthest. What do you part. smell like? Is that what yeah, you just Metal, what do you smell like? Metal, what do you smell like? Uh, cheap deodorant. It looks like a character from home movies. <laughs> a ruby and a rose. I feel like a ruby and a rose is not a champion of failure. I don't care. I, I appreciate. Oh, wait. Yeah, bad moment is failure. Fuck you, ruby and a rose. <laughs> <laughs> That one was hard to beat in this category, come on. Yeah, and I mean, I'll, although I really do gotta get it, that's a well-drawn ruby and a rose. Why would you not just draw fucking Mando, come on. Wow. I didn't know what I was responding to. Also, Jay, you haven't acknowledged the truth in chat so far. He never Jay, <laughs> So, the champion of heavy metal. Fat phobia. <laughs> 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 Dude, I just, I'm just I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna tweet it right now without any context at all. Mutlo. <laughs> Mut Mutlo. Like this is some Mutlo. He's very large. He's Babylonian Mutlo. deity. Mutlo. Mutlo. I just post. I just tweeted without any context, no text at all. I just tweeted the picture. We'll decide once and for all. Captain Cum Dumpster versus Stuart Sponge Hands. <laughs> so they both absorb large amounts of liquids. I suppose. Would it come you know, Cum Dumpster clean living? Would it come some what? What? They're both like receptacles for cum, though. But like, the oh, sponge God. can absorb all kinds of things. Does a cum dumpster get upset when you put things that aren't cum into it? <laughs> Someone's ass if you wanted to. <laughs> It'd be weird. Orange but... Fuck you. The, the look on Stewart's face as he realizes what he's got in his hands into. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what Mount does my Breast purpose? Tickles. One of them will be crowned. You clean up cum. Look at me! Clum. Oh my God. Mr. No. Breasticles. It's Mount Bro Breasticles. <laughs> <laughs> meteors. <laughs> this is a weird one. I will. I will say. I'm not sure who to vote for on that. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> and it's Mount Bresticles. Bresticles. Yeah. She was one of the great Greek Amazons, Bresticles. Of course. Yay. Yeah. Well, and her brother, her brother was well, a warrior. Didn't win. <clears throat> he was very manly. Was that testicles? <laughs> Did you say testicles? Jern. I don't know how this has anything to do with Rags' uh, vision board. <laughs> I don't either, but... Uh... <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> See, which, which one is Gurn? That's my question. Is Gurn the spider or is Gurn the guy? <laughs> I choose to believe that it's the green thing. Oh, 50-50. Gurn wins. And, and that is Gurn's handler. Oh my god, Mootle versus Mootle and Froggle salty about losing. I feel like he just loses because he counters himself out, right? <laughs> Mootle himself. Making people vomit. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! <laughs> so that's that's just Moodle himself, because Froggle can kind of offset it, you know. <laughs> you want Froggle salty about losing? Uh -huh. I think it's important that that if they're salty about losing, they lose, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, I've got so many fucking zero percents this game. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know you're not funny. What's gonna? Oh no! Ah uh, no! Versus no! 
people are gonna find out that I'm I'm fake. I'm pretending. I'm just pretending. So I can tell which one is the false rags easily. Look at the colors. What is this red imposter? <laughs> <laughs> Orange imposter. <laughs> I feel like Kuming being, being blessed. <laughs> Look at the little freckles. Wow, Jay. You're doing terrible. Come on. Shut the fuck up. This I'll must be leave. so stressful. Yeah, I'm giving up, I'm giving up like, my reputation as the best human in the world. You Rags peeing would beat Rags cooing? I don't know. I don't know what the logic is there, you know? I don't, I don't, the logic is it's got a little freckles, it's just cute. Rags, would you rather be peeing or cooing? I'd rather be cooing. See, there you go. That's why Rags cooing wins. It's like. <laughs> Do you think it's weird that people will be listening to this Christmas Day? <laughs> but, well, you mean losers who don't, <laughs> who don't have anything? <laughs> this is like the one guy who was like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't have anyone to spend this time with, so please don't insult me. It was like, oh. Yeah, no, I, was, I, was like, I was like, it's okay if you don't have anyone to spend time with on Christmas. Like, that's fine. I was doing a joke, and then as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, oh no, probably someone me. probably took that personally. Hey, it's all good. It's, uh, the t the, honestly, it's the entire reason we're recording all of this, is so that people have some company if they don't have any. Well, like, I almost didn't have anywhere to go on Christmas, but uh, my, my parents came up to join me because I don't want to travel for Christmas this year. To spend time with their lonely son. <laughs> spend time with Grachnar. That's where I want to go. Gelathar? Gel no, Gelathar's all good. He's eaten a lot of people this year. He's got plenty of company. He's a good lad. Oh no! Spending, spending Christmas this? With what the fuck? Who is Galatha spending Christmas with this year? All of the skin that he's eaten. <laughs> Galatha and skin. <clears throat> I need Once another minute name, to draw. Don't, they don't let they don't let you change a name if you like edit a name once you've. Yeah, so just put a fucking good name, you fucking idiot. No, I misspelled it. Well, you will learn to spell. You, don't you show that when you're like six years old? Wow. Ten no. seconds remaining. You know what you can do if you don't know how to spell something, you can Google it. Well, yeah, but I I did after <laughs> I put the name and I thought I could edit it. You <laughs> stupid <laughs> piece of shit! Oh, you you could edit. Well, so what you're saying know. is that your defense is that you thought something that wasn't true because you were wrong? Okay, wow. Well, it was a bad word and I didn't know how to spell a bad word, okay? <clears throat> Aw, oh, whoever drew this, fuck you for being such a lazy piece of shit. Or was it me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was me. I, oh, I'm totally doing a drawing your drawing one. Oh, maybe it wasn't me then, because I don't think you could draw my drawing. Or want to. I need, I need a reference here. <laughs> I've just given up. So the truth finally comes out. Jay is untalented. Yeah. No, I scrapped mine because I didn't draw it right, and now I'm running out of time. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> this isn't coming out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> wow, everyone in chat is a mod except M. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a how tough does life. It feel? You know, I mean, it's okay. I'm alright with it. I don't need status. 
Well, that's good because you don't have it. Oh, uh, which came first, him not wanting it or him not having it? Uh, I, well, yeah. I'm not yes. having it because he didn't have it even before he was born. So his. But I guess well, to be fair, he didn't want it before he was born. Yeah. Either. So they've both at lasted for infinite amounts of time. Surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. <coughs> the bonus points are doubled and both. All right, guys. Here comes the battles. First up, we have. All a bit, the four-legged tinsum puss versus Rags' lazy ass puns. Wow. Wow, well I know who I'm voting for. On the sofa. All a bit is getting puss. a vote from me. A tinsum puss. Yeah, I think Olivert's gonna run away with this one. And all a bit is a strong name. <laughs> Plus my puns are incredible. The champion of reading the room, you got Rags' lazy ass puns versus Bra Meteors. I don't think you needed to swap that in, honestly. Oh wait, wait, I did it. I didn't want to. Wait, what? Doesn't well, matter, bra it, does, it doesn't matter, Bra Meteors wins. Yeah, true. Oh, what about Spread him McAss? Spread him He reads the, the room name. pretty well. <laughs> the name does it. I didn't mean to change, I think I clicked. Ass. I clicked before the, the image is loaded or something, I don't know. But I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Here we go, the Bra Meteors make a comeback. No, you lose, the bonus. You lose the bonus that you get for not switching in. Yeah. If you don't switch in, you get a bonus. You, will decide you got a bonus. Why, dude, what the fuck? I typed watch my Mulan video into chat and it's the only chat message that doesn't show up on the screen. <laughs> the champion of the desert islands. Taki, fetus whisperer. Cool. Well, Hideo, before moment Death before Death Stranding. <laughs> Hockey fetus. What does that mean? Hurts. Like, before he started it? Before it released? I don't know. It's supposed to be Tassi, it's with an S. <laughs> oh. Oh, Tazi, fetus whisperer. Oh. Now I understand. Oh, she could annoy anyone to death. Press well, X, she's also a desert island. Oh, beach resort. Champion of beach resort. I don't know. Island. She's the protagonist of a game with no fail <laughs> state. I'm pretty sure that she's unstoppable. Beach resort. <laughs> and a beach is closer to a <laughs> desert, and she spends the whole game in a desert. So M Moodle just loses out. What a the Why pregnant lady boy? beat metal. Wow. No. <laughs> oh. We get it. You can move. Nice. <laughs> Sandy the bleed versus Blandy the sleeve. Um, I, oh my god. I guess I'm gonna. The village idiot, that's Blandy. I know what sand is supposed to yeah. be. I don't know what a slee is supposed to be. <laughs> but a, the slee looks more like a village idiot. Well, but Sandy isn't. Sandy is the blee, and then Blandy is the slee. Neither of those are really understandable. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what fucking Blandy got to fucking. <laughs> ran away with it. Who's the, bon who's the monster truck fan? I don't know. Oh, no, it's still handy too. I feel like, I feel like, oh, you rags buddy fucks the wolves is getting my vote. Fuck it, I champ change. <laughs> You've guaranteed at least one. Normally I let the wolves do the fucking, but I, I love, gotta take advantage of I this love, opportunity. Love I gotta know what it's like. The coloring on Blandy is wonderful. <laughs> Blandy the slee. <laughs> Radio that only plays offensive music versus YouTube content ID. <laughs> oh. Um. Being oh, fake that's nice, good... that's YouTube. That's a really good yeah. thing of the radio, though. Yeah, I like the radio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, hurry up, game, I need to pee. Moses pee. Now who's the champion of in laws? <laughs> Dan, obviously. Oops, I chose the wrong character. Fuck me. Fuck you. Sure. <laughs> Just Dan, the champion of in-laws. <laughs> now, the idea was that he was supposed to be fake nice, but I chose the wrong character anyway. I, like, totally dropped the ball. Well, you won anyway. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Go, go, Dan. Dan. Wow. Go, Dan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Dan Thanks. was really cool. That was a good radio. I got a I, yeah. Dan, Dan and that YouTube blow. That was really good. Yeah. So I, I think was, if... I think Robert is taking this one just immediately. <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling gassy. 
Hot fried chicken grease. Yeah, there's gas in there, I think, but... I don't know, Robert's generating a storm. The champion of powerful auras. Okay, Robert's definitely winning. <laughs> I like that I tried to draw a Tisby head and it looked like a beak. I was like, I guess it's a raven now. <laughs> He's a raven dude. You made it clear. We don't we don't go to Raven Dude. <laughs> That's a reference. <clears throat> hey, corona. It's time for our next bout. Speaking of Corona, uh, no, Batman and Robin. Oh. Yeah, um, Arnold is in it and he carries the movie. He really does carry the movie. The champion of the apocalypse. I've accepted this posi my position in this game. Yeah. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thick lips. The, the eyes, like, mm -hmm. squinting. Pro progressive child care. I don't know. <laughs> you see, Mo Moot Law. Progressive child care. You see, Moot Law is progressive child care, man. <laughs> Stop body shaming me, guys! I can take care of them. <laughs> Not fat. <laughs> Only, at seven... Only at seven pizzas today, it's alright. These two are the champions of the apocalypse. Mmm. Here are the next two fighters. Is he like kicking or something? <laughs> More like rolling. The, the just champion like rolling as a form of locomotion. <clears throat> the champion of lower self-esteem. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> okay, but I can't, I can't vote well, for Metal Gear, or else he'll have if higher Metal Gear. If you had higher self-esteem, you could take that. It's just like a joke, it's funny. But if you voted for it... Please right. like and subscribe! <laughs> Please Wait, have The champion of his like and subscribe. Oh, shit! Oh, this is the ultimate Rags vs. Metal. <laughs> Doing oh their God. signature moves, cooming and crying. <laughs> <laughs> so close, yet so far. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh no! This is what we're what we're known for. I thought I was known for my puns. I guess I'm known for my cums. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't beat cooming. Cooming is pretty good. That's why his tail's always here. Cooming is pretty good. It's I will agree. Holy shit! Metal one. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no, it's rigged. Oh my rigged. god. Fuck you. Jay, yeah, I, found Jay, I won't draw any attention to how low your score is. It's fine. <laughs> I just, I, you know what? I'm going to sit out next game. Damn. Wow. Well, well then why are you even here? <laughs> I have to pee. I'll be right back. Because I don't have anything else to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, see, like, I'm too, I'm too, I'm too fucking gone to get any work done. Hey, who's played Cyberpunk? No, not yet. Um, it, I played it a little bit, not much. Yeah. I played some last night, and I already ran into my first big glitch, so I was picking up a body, right? I was just gonna go hide it. But I couldn't find, like, a container, because, like, apparently lockers are not a suitable container for bodies. And... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't it let you probably, do that. Is it a vertical locker? Yeah. That would probably be difficult. It's still possible. I mean, Metal Gear does it. Possible. So, oh, it's, po it's possible. I mean, Metal Gear does it. Not the yeah. best string of sentences that you can make, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But even so, it, like, you, you could probably pop, prop a body up in a locker, you know? But yeah, anyway. it, would, it would be tough, but you could. You could well, still you do it if you, if you were out of options. Molly, so, fuck the stream! So, oh. No, I didn't. Shut up. You yeah. did. Anyway, so realizing that I couldn't use a locker as a place to hide a body, I decided to set the body down. And I couldn't figure out which key to set a body down, so I clicked fire, and then all of a sudden, like, I hear this loud splat noise. There's, like, this giant blood spatter on the ground, and the body is gone. I have, like, no fucking earthly clue what happened to that body. Mm hmm and uh, so I think what probably happened is the body clipped through the world terrain and disappeared into the ether, leaving behind just a blood spatter. Um, so 
That was uh, that, that that was my first glitch. Hey, hi. Apparently, I'm there's tons of them. Hey, hey. Uh, hello. Woo. Ooh. I was gonna spot that other bird didn't come out. Strange. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you know what I did the other day? I was like, I was gonna cook some food, and then I took it out of the freezer because I was cooking frozen food, and then I was like, actually, no, I'm tired, and I went to bed, but I forgot I'd taken out the frozen food, and I came out in the morning, and I was like, oh, I ruined that food. It was so, really bad. You admit it, you ruined food. Yeah. I, yeah, the food is grandma. It's ruined. So yeah. beating your grandma. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, a powerful one. Is everybody peed? I I did a pee. I yeah I, I peed yeah. I don't pee, but I don't want to pee. All right. Well, while we wait around, let's talk about Batman and Robin. Fucking Batman and awesome. Robin. What a film. Excellent movie. Yeah. Very <laughs> masterwork. Very ridiculous. Some of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's best acting and Joel Schumacher's best directing. It's a film that really that, challenges uh... a lot of your ideals. Yeah, all that uh, blue shit that they put on him. How, how do you? How much do you suppose that tortured poor Arnie? That looks really uncomfortable to have all over you. Yeah, I mean he's used to it when he was doing the Terminator shit. The amount of makeup, you know, it's just like Terminator Two, Batman and Robin. <clears throat> These are the sorts of movies you make when you're a when you're a great star. Well, yeah, but to have that blue coating all over him, I have to imagine that really blocks your pores and makes your skin like extremely irritated. Well, yeah, it probably wasn't comfortable to wear that, but you know, that's the kind of thing that you it's a sacrifice you make for the craft. Yeah, the art it's needs true. it. And if you're yeah. going to get and if you're going to die from skin poisoning, what better film to give your <laughs> life for than Batman and Robin? Exactly. Yeah, especially if you're just, you know, giving it the best performance of your whole career and George Clooney can't seem to, you know, get you know, it up in this one. <laughs> I mean, he had to carry George Clooney's weight, let's be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate, but that's that's what happens. Um, yeah. I think that there's there's just infinite amounts of praise for the role that Arnie played as Mr. Freeze. Incredibly yep. true to the comic book character. I have consumed all comic related things to do with Mr. Freeze, and it was 100% accurate. Oh, yep. Pretty cool. Same for Clooney Batman. 100% accurate. Same for Commissioner General Gordon Professor. 100% <laughs> accurate. <laughs> And I think that's I like why everyone loves realize. that movie so much, is that unlike the Nolan films, Batman does not kill. And that's why it sort of is much better. It's a better representation, I think. Do you remember the scene where he's like, there's a reason I don't kill Alfred, and it's because killing is really bad. I felt like that nailed it. <laughs> yeah, that was just, you know, I'd never thought about it before, right up until he said it, and then I just, uh, I was hooked, you know, on his motivation for why Killing his bed. What else is there to say? Mm -hmm. Poison Ivy, played by Yume Thurman. Pretty mm -hmm. pretty decent. You know, yeah. an attempt at really bringing that character to life. Once again, 100% accurate. I just think she could have been more accurate in terms of her approach to the accuracy and the faithfulness. Uh, eaten mm -hmm. by her own plants. I think that's supposed to be representative of like how your own hubris can bring you down. Very, very mm -hmm. cool. Uh, and important, yeah. too, because... If you noticed, all of her storyline is to do with her believing she knows best, and it is by her very own hand that she is brought down. So she didn't yeah. know best. Yeah. At least not in thing relation about... to her own existence. Yeah, mm. see, the thing about hubris is it'll just get you uh, whether or not it makes any fucking sense, and it'll come out of nowhere and uh, deal with it. Which is thematically appropriate because Mr. Freeze's hubris froze him. Mm-hmm. Which is odd because you might think that a character's hubris that becomes their downfall, right? I mean, it's a little redundant, but a character's hubris is, is very well set up and established and you can see it coming. Kind of like by design, it's sort of almost meant to be that way. But oh, yeah, but we were flipping that one where it just all of a sudden comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, uh, Jay Longman, are you there? Are you going to head out? Yeah, yeah she's got to go. It's all good. See Happy ya. Merry Crimbus early. See you in the futures. Happy Crimbus. Indeed. Merry yeah. Crimbus. Bye bye. 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 She didn't do a signature bye. 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 bye.
Um, we've got someone else joining in a moment, so we'll just we'll just carry on talking about Batman and Robin for a wonder bit. Wonder who it could be. I know it could be anybody. Uh, yeah, keep my waiting on screen forever. So like, Jesus. I don't know, you know, just fucking. I really like the vat of goo. That was a big favorite of mine. <laughs> just, just throws him right in, and um, uh, he didn't seem too concerned with what it could have been. He just was throws no. him right in. So when Robin is thrown at one point, he hits a big uh, ice cream cone, like a plastic one. Is it an ice cream factory? And he fell into melted ice cream. Oh my god! I think that's oh, what it my... was. But it's but like, why? Why would it be a ice cream? I didn't know that I was actually correct because he fell into a vat of melted mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, because all the chocolate chips have settled to the bottom. We were just talking about oh, how Robin was thrown into a vat of toxic ice cream. What, what's your commentary on that, Chase? I I'm okay with that. <laughs> is it because I didn't it, ask is you if you were okay with it. <laughs> Oh, that's all, that's because all, is it all because a guy's getting creamed? Yeah. Why are you yeah, so far away from the microphone, Chase? You scared? Yeah, yeah. why are you useless Coming again? Okay. Are you hiding from us? Orally? <laughs> He's scared of us. Scares me. I can't disagree with rags according to the comments. <laughs> my <laughs> You're not my input was my input was down. Uh, all right. Yes, we have to ask permission uh, if we're allowed to disagree or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The a the answer is an implied no. Of course. Oh, yeah. look at me, I'm Chase, and I get offended by cum. <laughs> Thanks for the protein, bro. <laughs> I love I love cum. I remember remember Jay. I have it in my ramen. You liked it. Oh yeah, you do have cum on your ramen. Rom cum. Yeah. That's true. Ramen cum. Yeah. Instead so of calling it cum, can we just call it protein? <laughs> protein. <laughs> I'm okay with this. You know what? Yeah, I do like that. I I motion that we do that. You motion it? What are you, a fucking uh, motion. general <laughs> The motion the is back and forwards in a generally steady yet quickening motion. Okay. That's... Thank Rags, you, Rags. What you said makes no Very sense. Very cool. It I'm calling does. you out. <laughs> I have just called it, you out. It's too late. It does make sense, though. Oh, wait. Are we Rags. online? I'm not supposed to agree with you live. Uh, disagree <gasps> with you live. Oh, my Sorry. goodness gracious. Oh, oh, are we Rags. live now? Hey. Rags. Technically, hey. but no, actually. This is being. Oh, this is. Yeah, I'm hello. streaming this mm -hmm. to an unlisted. You, hang on, he needs to know, Jay. Jay, Jay he, he needs to know. It, Jay, this stop! Is, this is being streamed to an unlisted video. It'll be premiered on Moolah on Christmas Day. This is a Christmas Day oh. stream. Yeah. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, you are coon. Where's your hat? Um, yeah, you don't have I'm a actually getting an entirely Christmas new theme. avatar by tomorrow that looks infinitely better. So put put okay. the put put the Santa horse. hat on your well your left, but the viewer's right eye, so that we can see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you can just, just I, edit quickly. Let, let me let me dig. I do have an avatar somewhere that All is right. Christmas themed. So just if you'll bear Still, with me, it'll happen. Your avatar you. is half cut because of hey, that means something else. But you're half cut yeah. because you're hey. uh, half cut on cut yeah. in half. Not I'm fully cut. Me. Thank or you. Or you started to cut it and then halfway you pulled back. Uncircumcised, <laughs> I'm guessing, is the joke. No. No. Based on rats. How do you have to, dick obsessed How do you have circumcise someone? I'm genuinely. <laughs> oh, sick. No. Do you, do you have a foreskin, but it's only like uneven on one I, side? I, you, just no, you fuck I, it up I, and I you go bail. My foreskin. <laughs> or maybe it's just a, like it was just they started halfway, but oh. even though it means to cut around, so you couldn't complete a whole rotation, no. you'd have to. You got the left half of your foreskin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I had, but I've I would. Got, I, I've got the top half of my foreskin. There's a gap. Yeah, if I was gonna, if I if I was gonna be half circumcised, I would want the top half gone, so it's like more of an angle that kind of fits no, the head I, anyway. Or maybe gone, it's like there's like a gap, and then there's like a foreskin <laughs> ring on the on the top of my dang it. Or maybe you can just kind of like do what everybody does for their haircuts these days. You could just shave one side and then swoop the other <laughs> side over, and you're good. <laughs> Can I get a five skin? Oh. Uh, Jay, I interrupted your funny, funny meme. And then just like what swing it around say? like a rope and what, catch what, your what? What? I interrupted yeah, your funny like meme to explain hook. to Chase what was happening. What was your funny meme going to be? Oh, Rags, you're out. Of? Well, I just called you out. Oh. Touch, you're out of touch. See, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't funny. have gotten you space to yeah, say that if I'd known it would be so unfunny. <laughs> Good. That's because he said you're out of, and then I thought you're out of touch. It makes it funny when I explain the joke. It doesn't. Shut up. You're out Shut of the fuck out. up, metal. Oh, out of no. touch. 
I won't have your shit today, I'll fuck you up. Dude, what is wrong with my fucking phone? What I will spit you on your penis. Phone? Keep turning Whoa. it on. <laughs> Whoa! No. I mean, that's fine, but like, fucking... No. Give me a little kiss. Give me a smooch what? first. Little, 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 little kiss on the tip. Mm. Okay. Oh, my phone isn't charging because the charger isn't plugged in. Very it's cool, Jay. Wow. Thank you. I didn't Very plug the cool. charger in. I need a play-by-play -play update of your phone's battery status, if you know. <laughs> it is um, at 5%. Powered by Android. <laughs> That's what it says right now. It says powered by... I, I can't see the battery. Okay. So, uh, I guess it's not okay. powered enough. I need, yeah, yeah as soon it. as you see, like, a percentage, please tell me. Oh, uh, like, really. 1%. Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry. Chase, tell the people very how scary. you were six hours late to this <clears throat> this collective yeah, thing we did. Yeah, so we were going to do this at uh, what I thought was uh, 1 p.m. based on what Muller told me. He's already trying to put the blame mm. on somebody yeah. else. <laughs> All right, off, right off the no, gate. No, 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 listen, listen. I'm often retarded, up, so it was, it was entirely my fault. Shut up, you gay. So when he told me that, when he told me, oh, yeah, it's like 11 and a half so, hours from now, I was like. instead of Jay? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is he? Do you have any more funny comments to add, or can That's I finish Jay -phobic. the explanation? All I have all are right, funny there's comments. a new room. That's true. It's all well, I have. debatably. Anyway, uh, so Joker I thought it was going to be at 1 thought it was going to be at 1 p.m. and I miscalculated. It turns out it was like at 10 a.m. So I was like, up to oh, I've, I've been really I've been yeah, very funny. I I've, I've been very I've been very fucking busy the last like 3 days and I just really want to play Final Fantasy 11. So I was just like I'm going to stay up for like, a few hours. You were busy playing Final play Fantasy 11, weren't you? Busy. Are you done? Are you good? <laughs> you want to can I finish like one thought uninterrupted? You Shut fucking up. you dog! Shut oh up. no, and yeah, so Shut I ended up. up staying up really late, and then I was like, oh, I should be up in four hours. Oh well, and I didn't expect anyone to wait up for me, so it was very nice. If you had Viagra, Completely you could undeserved. be up for four hours. Oh, okay, that one was good. That one I like. You but you have to call your he's, doctor. He's delivered like twenty puns today, yeah. though. Pretty good. I know it's like rapid fire. It's like a competition. Is he winning? I think he's winning. Rapid fire. It's me in bed. Who is who is N? <laughs> That's me. That's oh. M. That's not an oh, M. Oh, we have a new room already. I didn't even realize. Uh, I was actually seeing oh. who was paying attention to the stream to know. <laughs> I was busy. paying attention I'm, to Chase's story. I'm, I'm busy it's drinking. I don't pay attention to. Yeah, to tell the quicker stream. version of Chase's story, he hates me and decided that he wouldn't turn up until six hours later just to prove his dominance. And I was like, wow, all right, that's fine. Yeah, he's a little pussy. He's a little pussy bitch. More like his dominance. Wants, so. You, you missed out oh, like on that. Home Alone and Batman and Robin. How do you feel? Speaking of Home Alone, um, what have you been up to, Chase? Rags is gonna fucking he's gonna beat you up. No, he's I like, just um, there's not. I, I've he's been, he's I've a dog. I'll just put him down. Oh, oh I, my I, God. I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm an immortal dog. He you can't put me down. Why did you Prove say it. How are you immortal? Why did you say that like I don't I can't explain the mechanism Wait. only the result. Immortal <laughs> immortal doesn't mean unkillable. That's fair. No, I, I am immortal in all ways. Huh? Unkillable. Well, I am see, he's immortal it means loop. you can kill him over and over and over again and he'll just keep bouncing back. I guess no, that is true, that's yeah. not immortal. That means you, you just regenerate or you you re you yeah, resurrect. Like Jesus or Doctor Who. Yeah. Like Jesus um, died. <laughs> He just Excuse also me, I, I, I played Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360 that dealt heavily with the theme of immortality, and I'm pretty fucking sure that even if you die, you come Isn't right back. Isn't that the game so, that was uh, rated yeah. kind of poorly? Um, no. I mean, maybe... I mean, do you really, like, are you trusting game journalists here to, like, mm. do a good job? I mean, job I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm not really... I was, Appeal I was asking to authority if... fallacy! I'm gonna have to stop you right there, Rex. No, I, I was asking not... if it was rated poorly. Um, I don't actually know. I don't really pay oh, attention okay, to other people's scores. Do you? Do you, do you go like oh everyone hates? Well, this yeah, I, do, I mean, yeah, I mean, if if a game is getting like universal nines and tens, I'll be like, huh, that's, that's interesting. I mean, not universal. And if something's We're getting about, like game critics, you know. Then, and, know well, if all the game critics give a game a two, I'm like, well, eh, sure, I'll probably yeah. stick away from that one. It definitely they didn't all give it consistently seven shit reviews. It was it was pretty it was pretty solid. It was made by uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi, guy made Final Fantasy. That's, that's not, not a pretty real pretty Dave. solid game. <laughs> that's, that name doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way a real human being has that name. Fuck off. Like you almost said Tamagotchi, so it's like, yeah, I know that's fake. Tamagotchi. Mm-hmm. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Is his name is his name Neopet? I think so. See, this is how I know Chase lies <laughs> about Asian names. 
No, it's gr it's great because the fucking the protagonist of the uh, Lost Odyssey is actually voiced by the same person. It's like the this black guy with long dreads who voices Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, which is like that really hot. But like the character he's playing is super angsty and brooding. He's just hey like, Chase, I cannot. You're the only death. one we're waiting on, Chase. I uh, th where's is there a link? I don't see a link anywhere. It's yeah, well, so it's link. dumb. Here. No, I'll I'll give you a link here. My use. Everyone's so mean to the pool guy. Oh, I thought I was. I just like follow what everyone game. else does. Well, see, and now what you gotta do sheep. is you gotta go into the unlisted stream, and then the code is gonna be right there since we don't gotta hide it. Yeah, this. Is, so uh, if you wanna boot the stream up, Chase, but don't don't be throwing it out to anybody because uh, you know Crimbus. You, if you were to experience this early, it would ruin the the magic. It's okay. weird because generally Crimbus is about the 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 spirit of giving, mm -hmm. but you need to one yourself. Fuck other people. Um, mm -hmm. the ABAP code uh, doesn't work if that's the code. No, it's not. Fuck just go to the stream, and then it's like you oh, can just look right the there. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha, okay. I misunderstood. It's oof Man, after uh, Death Bullshit said that, I looked at his avatar, and it's like, he's so fucking pissed at you, Chase. <laughs> look at that. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the tits on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a tall, cool glass of water. Please don't fucking bother me. But you're drowning, Chase. Why would you choose to drown yourself? C -c -c -yum. Mental health is a very complicated subject. <laughs> if there's anything I've learned, it's that cum is complicated. Cum, cum is what? Complicated. It's complicated. That's nice. All right. Um, oh. I guess oh. here we go. Who knows what's going to happen this time? Jay, I'm expecting you not to come last, right? That's your only task. I'll come first. <laughs> Uh, that. Uh, I already uh, came uh, twice. Uh, I already came. Uh, and last, I will be the Alpha and the Omega. Rex, can you throw the game so I win? Sure. You shouldn't have said that, Jake, because now if he wins, he'll be like, wow, I was trying to throw it and I still won. Well, what it means is that it doesn't make a difference with these is because people are fucking weird with what they vote for, so it doesn't even matter. There you go, Jake. You I'm just here to draw funny pictures and have a great time and literally winning or know. losing this kind of determines your power level on earth i think damn last round i won mm. does it mean i have like seven power now unless you win this one too Ah. <laughs> Did you get a good prompt? I want a good prompt. I got a good prompt, but I don't know what to do with it. The prompt is funnier than anything I could possibly draw. <laughs> so, um, Batman and Robin. Funny as balls. Very did we, funny. Did we cover a lot everything? Of... <laughs> Could you ever cover everything? I want to re-mention that they worked to make a Gotham City in that movie, okay? Oh yeah, uh, looked very, very nice. Looked very... pretty interesting. Like, it was like statues and things on top levels. It was insane, but it looked really cool. I really dig the style. Yeah. I want to see a Gotham with more statues that are randomly placed everywhere, okay? So mine's uh, you know what? I decided to take this in a not funny way. Mine's serious. Oh man. Are you gonna yeah. fucking subvert our expectations? Timer. What are we doing here? Mine's it, mine's very intense. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> it's got, I I would say it's got themes. Uh, you could probably draw a lot out of even just the facial expressions. I'm interested to see where this is going to go. Remain, players need to name their character. I feel like if I was an actual like person with artistic talent and I had a drawing tablet, I would fucking actually be able to really enjoy this game. Like this particular minigame. I think the fact that none of us can draw makes it better. Yeah. Just being a little I know, bit I chased. I would, I would wager you guys are better mouse artists than I. Well, get good then, you little bitch. Mouse artists. Yeah, yeah with a, like with a mouse. Mouse, 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 m
Users will see who they're That's competing. Artist, I would say a moss artist. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I got nothing. Oh, I know exactly <laughs> what to draw. I don't even know how to respond to this, like, 20 seconds later, man. You my one's tough. My I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this out. I'm just not gonna happen. Like, someone made the mistake of drawing something very, very easy to beat to me. If you lose, it's gonna be very funny. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> All right, I'm ready. You got 50 seconds left. Are you that confident? Yeah. See, my F my drawings don't put I don't put effort into them so that when I lose, I feel okay. You that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. I still cry. I cry a lie. I have a big thigh. Just one, just one big thigh. <laughs> the other one's one. perfectly The other one's perfectly normal. Size. Yeah, the other one is like <laughs> It was really weird. It's a daily struggle. All right, yeah. my second drawing. Hopefully, it turns up second or first. Either way, it works. They are connected. If anyone points out that they're not, I'm very fucking upset. You're getting banned from the subreddit. All right, five seconds, guys. You go. You go. I expect to lose. I expect. I don't even know what to expect Here in this game. No, I expect you to die. Versus... That's a VR game. It's a good I one too. I expect you to die. Yeah, yeah. it's a good VR That's game. That's a thing. It actually yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, it's Very like a nice. funny. It's like a funny haha -ha escape room kind of thing. So which one of these? Yeah. Which one of these is in Das Bullshit's closet? Big bottom sit on everything, Charles. <laughs> well, he's not sitting on anything in that image. Yeah. Can't even. Exactly. Uh, like, Spurged. Isn't it more of a potential, though? Also, why am I the theme of, like, two times now? I was, like, really confused uh, the first time. They must like you. I guess so. Well, wow. so there you go, Chase one. Honestly, Spurks is a fucking splat ripoff. And Chase, you should feel ashamed. That <laughs> now, it's not a he's in. He's inbred. He can't. He didn't choose <laughs> his fucking life. <laughs> he didn't choose his life, and how dare you act like he has any agency over his existence? Holy <laughs> shit, that is a fucking individual. Crazy. <laughs> Misdemeanors. <laughs> it's gotta be. Harry. You can tell, and because of the. I like his little. His little wiggly arms, like he's in the middle of doing a little dance. <laughs> he's like, Ooh. Sorry, I can't fix it, even if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the ball. Come on. <laughs> Oh, you know you want to win. How did that win? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't know. Because we're subverting expectations oh, fuck on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I win one time. I win one time. They're getting rigged again. Mm -hmm. A snake who's dazed this and confused. Game is <laughs> Paper. What? Divorce, Divorce paper. paper. Wow. How did you make that out? <laughs> wow. I can, I can tell. I can tell. It's a divorce paper. Well, I'm sorry, I've been divorced before. <laughs> Damn. Maybe if you stop touching your fucking little ween every now and then, then you would have better eyesight. Didn't your parents ever tell you? Well, actually, no, my eyesight is pretty good. Especially because of the urethra, it's a hollow ween. <laughs> If you, if, if you. it turned out that if it turned out that Rags had like a child and was a dad, I would not be at all surprised. This rate, I better not have a kid out there. I took precautionary measures most of the time. Divorcees reconnecting, predatory lawyer. 
How many Why is he dressed like an explorer? Because <laughs> I, I didn't know how to draw like a fedora. <laughs> like an old. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. We'll find the divorce. Yes. <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> We're We're bring him back. I feel Europe. like he needs. Uh, oh, oh junk. He need, uh, he needs that kind of win. mustache that connects to his um, to his sideburns. Understand words. Okay, so the mirror obviously wins this particular competition. Champion of making <laughs> metal vomit. Oh, fuck off! Stop it! <laughs> God damn it. What is this? It's uh, it's an irradiated reflective surface. <laughs> it's like a magical... I, if you were to give me that picture and say, what is this? I'd be like, I don't know. Like, it's an irradiated glowy, egg. Glowy, glowy Drop, egg. <laughs> uh, I ain't got nothing. Alright, you won, Jay. You happy? Yes. I finally. Versus. All it took was insulting me. Fucking yeah. piece of shit. Off to see who is well, yeah. well, from perspective, it also means his face. So. Ah. No, it was battle. Mildly irritated one arm chuck. Surely he has the advantage here. Why <laughs> a pair of toxic arm growing sludge? The <laughs> champion of the dance floor, I think the one arm chuck. Can the barrel even one. dance? The barrel like can't the dance. The barrel yeah. super can't. Yeah, you saying that because you you drew Chuck? No. <laughs> is is this like skin? I can't believe this thing won. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's the only thing that could dance. So. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> Mulan wins. You're like so bewildered. Champion of losing. <laughs> 20 bucks I found on the street, what? Well, the box office didn't lose money? Yeah. Yes. So any amount of That's money- That's the champion of losing. Oh, champion of oh ah! yeah. I didn't think about what the champion of might be. <laughs> bucks that you found on the street, but even Yeah, that. so you gained something. <laughs> Damn. Jay got fucking wrecked by Mulan. How am I the cha how am I not even the champion of losing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. How thematic. Does the slashy slash. <laughs> well, she's like, uh, I'm gonna reclaim China. <laughs> yeah. Uh, China, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Uh, thing that oppresses me every day. I gotta save it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, simpler time. <laughs> Dude, I need yep. to fucking save the fuck out of China. Mhm. Mm Rex, do you want to come over with me and save China? No, fuck China. Why not? Save it, Rex. Save it. Save China with me, Rex. Nah. What's wrong? What's wrong with? What could possibly be wrong with China? Oh, nothing. They're Never know what perfect. For watching this, I'm gonna draw an influencer. Oh God! You're gonna draw God? Yes, I guess he's I'm an drawing influencer. Drawing God. I've I've actually just given up. I I'm, I'm I really want fish and chips. You can't have them. Ooh. Mola, can you buy me fish and chips, please? I just said you can't yeah. have them. You're in Britain, though. Yeah. Not right next to you, though. Also, can't you just have the fish or the chips? Why do you have to have both? Because I'm greedy. Your greed knows no bounds. Now to draw a camera. Twenty second warning. Name those characters. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing out an old character to see if they can finally get their victory that they deserve. <clears throat> wow. So what you're saying is you're out of ideas? Well, no. I just think it matches so much. Smart. You say smart. It's pure. Smart. Actually. Wonder Woman. Oh, 20. Boy. 16 is good, actually. Imagine thinking that.
So how about that thing? Yeah, Very that cool. was the thing. It was uh, it was quite the thing, and I enjoyed the thing. And uh, I wish I wish they would have made more thing. They did make another thing, and it was. Hmm. Back when they used to make more thing, it used to be funny thing, but now it's depressing thing. Do you guys remember when they made an X Men three, and Vinny Jones was like, "I'm the juggernaut bitch." Good times. <laughs> Sometimes you just need more than 40 seconds, you know? Mm-hmm, yep. You guys might not respect the coloring job I've done on this one, but I don't care. Oh, what the hell? That didn't work. Alright. Eight seconds. Five. <laughs> my, my guy has no eyes. Or both. He does need it. <laughs> like, I was just like, you're done drawing. Everyone wants to have fun. <laughs> Name your fucking shit. I can't Name your see unfinished it. shit. It won't submit this picture. It's like it's stuck. Moving on. I can't see so now, it. So like, now your, your picture will be like Chad or whatever? No, it's like I'm stuck in the drawing thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Like we'll it. see if that did something. Chat made of dating a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. to determine the champion of being afraid of commitment the champion of being afraid of commitment what the do? <clears throat> do you think chuck is that kind of guy <laughs> i kind of hope so oh, the <laughs> yeah, i'm not gonna lie mildly irradiated one arm chuck <laughs> kind of got me kind of got me leaking a little bit of pre over here <laughs> you know? Like I'm not, I'm not gonna min, I'm not gonna mince words. Is is that because when someone says one arm, you instantly think about masturbating? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, let's go with that. Big old mess. It's, oh, yeah. it's just because I see a man and I start fucking leaking uncontrollably. Oh my god! It like drips through a fucking drips through my my pants. <laughs> yes, he smokes weed. The fuck, <laughs> Spider Man is that? I, I appreciate the clarification. It's like <laughs> what the fuck? I, I didn't even get to vote. It's made of your calendar drawing. I yeah. wanted to vote for fucking Danny the Dope Man. He clearly yes, deserves he smokes to weed. I, yeah. I, 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 can't vote, I can't vote for a Spider Man drawing that bad. I like how the M <laughs> denotes that it's a monster. I can. <laughs> that is a reason to vote. Maybe for if I put some pink and blue dots on it, it'll be Spider Man. In, in the, also, he's actually. <laughs> Also, he's made out of waffles, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> waffles. <laughs> nice syrup holder, Spider-Man. <laughs> foul bet. Oh, I can't undo it. Foul no. thrower. He's Someone from foul thrower. <laughs> he's a spider waffle. That's great. That is not no. how you spell flame. <laughs> not Listen, China. I we're it's totally not China. I was in a hurry, okay? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, a anything that isn't China is automatically superior to China, so I think that's kind of a, kind of a throw for the flamethrower guy. You mean the foam thrower? He's not throwing flames. The yeah, foam thrower. Did no. I mention I'm extremely fucking retarded? Wait, can Charles sit on China? That is the question. <laughs> sit on everything, Charles. That's how, that's how we know him. It's just getting their butt kicked. Sit on every yeah. ting. Doesn't mean they get hurt. Right. So I don't have anything that could be that. Also, people yeah. didn't pay attention. It was clearly labeled not China. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why is everyone so suspicious? <laughs> no, I said anything that's not China is. is it is like hello, fellow China. countries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's the superior makeup tutorial? 
Come on. That's right, sir. Oh, another flamethrower, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chussy. <laughs> the return of Chussy. <laughs> to live to body ratio is insane. <laughs> is there something I'm missing about this Chussy slut? Let's make a tutorial. Thought girl, what? She's the best thought there is. <laughs> if you have an OnlyFans. All right, champion of waking up like this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, guys. We've all woken up with our snake dazed and confused. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Highly relatable. <laughs> Very right? relatable. Super yeah. funny. Very relatable. Extremely poignant joke. and Very appropriate. Fuck yes. you. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. Kind of like, kind of aggressive at the end there. I need to kill the messenger, right? The of Why is that a dog? <laughs> oh, <laughs> because his excited. parents were dogs. <laughs> My attempt at drawing a dog. Where? Where? <laughs> Where is the attempt? I guess there's a shades for rooks, and then maybe a nose. I mean, I, I can't, know. I can't vote for a dog killing vaccine, but I can't vote for that. I guess you abstain. <laughs> I'm squinting uh, really a, hard right now. It's I can't very make gonna have to have mercy. <laughs> uh, what you will look like in five years, your face, oh man. <laughs> I guess that's good. I guess, I guess you will look like your face in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, oh, yeah. <laughs> the champion of gruesome. <laughs> A growth spurt? You grew some. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like how he managed to win even with that weird ass dog. <laughs> my attempt, my, uh, the champion of Gruesome was supposed to be. This will get me votes, a dog killing thing. Oh, look at Smotin <laughs> Gef. I mean, it's in the name. This one's. If, if you don't vote properly here, you're just fucking throwing. Like the uh -huh. Hypno Frog has the advantage of that. I feel like yeah. the Hypno Frog is like a thing for starters. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, hit no toad, but... Why'd well, you trade him like out? A... Why'd you trade him out? For fun. No, well, no, I'm not gonna vote for you anymore. Now it's... Well, small yeah. Yeah, yeah, you kind of... <laughs> it looks like cringe. a dove that lost. was hit by anti-air gayness. The mirror is way Champion better of relationships, relationships mirror. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that hits too far. That's yeah, too, too close to home. It's like, damn. What? Talk to your fucking therapist about it, why don't you? Yeah, 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 what, what, around. I'm not gonna talk to my rapist about this. What the fuck? Gee, you would have lost if not for Moriarty handing it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's you true. said we have to throw it to him. I got the DM right here. <laughs> the champion of extroverts. Platform of garbage people versus Longman. Uh huh. Uh. -huh. uh Wait, uh -huh. Longman is on um, the platform of garbage people. This is this is a hard one. I'll have to see how the That's people the vote. It's champion of extroverts, though. I think Longman clearly wins. <clears throat> hey, look! Something that looks like a bird. Bergenheimer. <clears throat> no spigged. Get oh, fucking switch. Embarrassing, Embarrassing viral, viral videos. Well, that's, I guess that's it would that. be a platform full of garbage people. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Suppose. Yeah. G -g -g garbage. Oh yeah. It's all spigged. He was too pure for this world. No, it's okay, Spurred. I'll always uh, revisit you in my closet. He doesn't make embarrassing videos, Spurred. is like, Chad. He doesn't make much of anything. Poor guy. Let alone yeah. friends. Does he make bald in the bad, man. That's bullshit. Taking the win. But... Oh, wow, what? Wow, oh, really? Uh, I, like, I'm, I'm with you. I don't even deserve that. Like seriously, that was embarrassing. Like that was one of my worst rounds ever, especially with that dog. The idea was that I was that I was supposed to make like I was trying to make Rags's old avatar, and like Second I was going to label it Rags's Rags's puns in terms of excruciating, and then I fucked it up and I ran out of time. Excruciating. Second yeah, it was, place, it, baby. It it was something I like gruesome or excruciating, and it was going to be so, like Rags's puns. So, so they used to be cruciating. No, excruciating. <laughs> I like that the dope man is the champion of youth culture. I mean, it kind of matches. If Spider-Man yeah. was a more accurate Spider-Man, he might have won. 
All right, I do gotta go. I'm gonna take a swim before this pool closes. I gotta get going. All righty. I wanna go as well. Had fun. Then just, I'm gone. <laughs> you are clearly gone. It has been fun. I had fun with the movies, fun with the discussion, and this was actually uh, a fun game this time around. It was, I was, it was frustrated nice spending with it for approximately, a while. <clears throat> it was fun spending approximately 10 minutes around you. It was enjoyable. Yeah, dude. I still, I still never forget you for fucking absolutely crushing me in Among Us, and one of these days I hope to reverse that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe we'll have, a, we'll have another game going one of these days. I would like that. There's a new map coming out. It's going to be good. Yeah. We should play more. Yeah. Nobody, right. nobody likes Among Us, though. Enjoy your swim, fucker. Wow. Bye. Thanks, man. Bye. You don't enjoy Among Us. What Rags doesn't shit. enjoy Among Us. Dude, Among I us enjoy Among Us. So, Among Us should have been better as the game of 2020 because it's better than the game that won. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Those were Honestly. words. <laughs> nice. Some of them were. Right. Words. That, in that right. garbled mess of words. attempt at communication, I think he made a good point. Hmm. I wanted to leave as well, because I'm gay. You can't play Smash Bros. I agree with this decision. I'm gay? I you love to smash my bros. No. Why do you have a sport overlay? <laughs> what are you He's jumping what? as well. Something's wrong with a sport overlay now? Right. No, I'm just, I didn't expect him. Are you leaving, Jay? I'm so gonna leave. Clear. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, good luck being gay. Yeah, I luck. love you. Mwah. Yeah, good luck there. Mwah. Yeah. Yo, oh, kissing. Yeah, good uh, luck. You bet. I'm leaking, I'm leaking again. Oh, oh no. Ring. Stop the tree. Metroid Prime. Gotta stop that tree. The game that made everyone suddenly give a shit about fucking Metroid. What about the Metro Zero Mission? Yeah. Metroid Prime. Super Metroid Metroid's Fusion. like one of the most popular Metroids ever, and that was before this. What are you talking about? Stop that. Brain. Yeah, no, I mean, that was good, but this one really got the normies on board with Metroid. They're what's like, with, what's oh, with your normie hate? 3D. Hmm. Why do you hate normies? I don't. Because they're fucking normies. They're, they ruin everything. This is unacceptable. I find it. Popularize, popularize everything and make the fucking, you know, IP owners water it down for mass consumption. Why wouldn't you hate fucking normies? They're awful. Awful people. You saying you don't like McDonald's? Mm. Okay, food and video game. They don't water anything down at McDonald's. <laughs> no. I wish they would sell they some water. They sugar it down. <laughs> you mean a McWater? Mm -hmm. McWater? With yeah, McDonald's may, McDonald's may be just shitty fucking, like, easy fast food, but they pour so much money into, like, their quality assurance and to, like, test all of their food and make sure that it's going to have, like, the, the absolute widest possible appeal. I'm not saying it makes it good, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> damn. Not bad. Wow, so when game companies do that same thing, you chastise them. Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, because video video game taste and food tastes are, you know, food like eight, eight, eight minutes and it's gone. Video games, they last forever. I, I, can, I can forgive a shitty little burger, but I can't forgive like a botched video game in a series I love. Wow, cringe. You, you know I'm right. Or something, I don't know. So if you go to McDonald's, you say give fringe? you a Crust Crunch. of a pizza. Crunch. You're Crunch. just like, oh, that's fine. It's totally fine. Whatever they did that. It's not part. fine. We hang out. <laughs> Why are there people attacking me in a safe place? That's fucked Those up. are not people. Those are little crabs. Wow, Mel. All right. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that, that far, but I guess you will. Problematic comment for you to make. So <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate that. Gas the crabs. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know, just to, yeah, that's that wasn't okay. So I, think I guess we I'll should, be uh, editing publicly, this video. Yeah, we should publicly can cancel. Uh, Gas chase. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't have to walk that back. It's okay. You're right. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't think everyone would you should be gas. Everyone chase, would consider it a net positive. Chat would be like, <laughs> finally. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck. The gassing <laughs> of the chase is complete. <laughs> He's no longer among the land of the living. Gas that chase. Got a gas. You got a. Too many chases getting gas now. <laughs> <laughs> we start just you know, going for anybody named Chase. It's like damn. One I can be. I, no I can chase. be. <laughs> no more Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I can be fucking absolutely obnoxious and annoying. I mean, how different is that from usual? Um, and uh, chat won't be able to give me any shit about it because uh, they don't have any goddamn agency over this this entire stream. They'll be commenting on this on Christmas Day, like, "Wow, he thinks we have no power," and then they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna start posting things in chat like Chase Gay or Chase. But Mel. at that point, it'll be fucking too late. You can see it right now. Yeah, there it is. Nope. There, there they are, saying it. Fuck oh, no. 
not Chase, happy about Chase that. Chase can see it, chat, and he's upset now. You did your job. Good uh, job. Uh, Defeated sorry. by chat. Defeated by one chatter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all it takes. It feels really <laughs> fucking bad. Sorry, right, you'll never be as controversial <laughs> as us for saying the Mandalorian's got <laughs> shitty writing. Right. That's where it's at. It's top tier. <clears throat> um, so, I mean, everyone's welcome to, to hang. We're going to try and get this to around about. I'm going to say another. I'm going to go for another at least one and a half hours so it gets a nice little chunk for those on the Trombonius. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So instead of reading, because we got, I got things to catch up on Super Chat wise. I'm looking at these selections. So uh, we did. Remember Dark Pictures, Little Hope, Metal. will remember Rags will hopefully. I remember. Not, cause it was a. Is that that really shitty game that like pretends to have like meaningful decisions and the graphics are really know good? But what it was pretending to have, to be honest with you, because it didn't convince anybody of anything. It, yeah, it was the people that made the <laughs> fucking game with the Chimera or whatever, right? The what do you like that horror game with all the C list acting. Man, uh, PS4 game? You talking about Until Dawn? Yeah, yeah, Until Dawn. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I hate everything they make. Yeah. They uh, so Until Dawn got like loads of praise, and everyone's like, "Yeah, Until Dawn, so good." And I remember being like, "Okay." It was something? like if if it was like one and done, I would look at it like an inconsequential. Like, oh, it was cute. It was kind, kind of, of garbage, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Little, little, yeah, a little charming. Yeah. And they made exactly. Man of Madan. And it was really bad, like really bad. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I was like, well, I guess they've lost everything. And then they made one that was <laughs> even worse. I think. Yeah. Yep. Pretty sure Man of Medan was actually better. Yeah. I, I, I was. Yeah, go on. I haven't played the new one yet, but Man of Medan was terrible. Or I know, Medan. right? Man of, it, Man I mean, of it was Medan. really bad. Man of Medan. <laughs> Uh, Man of Medan's big twist, because you're getting chased throughout the game by like monsters, ghosts, and evil people trying to kill you. Turns out you breathe Opens. some gross green stuff, and it made you hallucinate all yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, like I was, I was watching um, Markiplier play it because he's pretty much the only person that I care, along with like John Wolf when it comes to like horror games. Oh, Since Mauler doesn't, doesn't do it anymore. Game, fuck you. Since when do I ever yeah, play video games? You do fucking three hours. He streams, says Madeline, while I've... playing video this game. Listen, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Metroid is not a video game. It is a video experience. Uh oh. Whoa. That is some uh, fear flash level there. Well, you know what? The truth but is no, the truth. Anyway, uh, <sighs> Mark Markiplier was playing through um, Man of Medan, and uh, he literally fucking like predicted the twist in the first like ten minutes. <laughs> So He's like, oh, so let me guess. There's a gas, and it's gonna make him hallucinate, and that's why there's all these creatures. Is actually just going on in their heads. I don't think he enjoyed it either. He was pretty annoyed about it. Did you watch him play yep. Amnesia Rebirth? No, because I haven't watched anyone play Amnesia Rebirth because I'm still planning on uh, playing through it all myself. There's no point. Even though I know it's like not. Yeah, not no, good. you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, well. Though I would be curious to see what his playthrough was like. I'd want to know if he. Uh... He gave it a thumb up or a thumb on, you know, because it was too. Let's just different. stop. Let's stop watching Muller play Metroid Prime and just pull up Markiplier's video and just that would be live weird. commentate it. Also, stealing that content weird. at that point, just watching him—that's fuck. Oh, up. I'm I'm sure Markiplier, Mr. Fucking Eight Million Dollars a Year, will sleep just fine. I wasn't no, concerned I about his though. sleep. All right, it's about what's right. Uh, it's it's the principle. I know you're right. I'm wrong. Principal you know. Skinner. Chase wrong. The match match talk. <laughs> What? Who said that? Chase has been obliterated in the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not having a good night here. You're like, oh man. Oh my not god. Not the marketplace <laughs> of ideas. Yeah, everything's really just collapsing in on me. Oh my god, me. damn. Hey, hi. Uh, hi. What have you been playing lately? What's up? Um, lately, I'd say Guild Wars 2, Battlefield Ooh. 1. Vermintide, uh, Killing Floor 2, um, Apex Legends, what else? Um, uh, you say League of Legends too? Just throw that No, in. no, no. Okay. Um, Apex Legends. Uh, some more at how. Um, I guess that would probably be the big ones. I like how every time I, I ask you what games you play, I always just get the same like general list of like, well, I'm those... not gay. 
Like, it's just I'm the most like it. American. Yeah, just like because I I play like whatever, and even if a game's like really kind of weird in Japanese, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, if it plays fun, I'll play. But everything on your list is always just like uh, American game, American game, American game. So it's always consistently. Um, I don't know if Tripwire's American Guild Wars Two isn't American. Mordhau well, yeah. isn't American. Really? I thought Mordhau was totally American. No, it's yeah. a multinational. Uh, the tri Triturnian, I think they make mm. it. They're they're yeah, not okay. Americans. They're from all over the place, and I don't think they're from America. Um, they, uh, I don't think any of the companies are actually based in America or any. Well, you know what I mean. Either. Games games that are very like mass audience friendly, where it's well, just like Mordhau oh, is definitely not guy. that, and Vermintide mm -hmm. Two is definitely really? not that. No, Mordhau is pretty pretty hard. Mordhau is very yeah. yeah. It's a very I'd say it's a niche 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 game niche. niche, niche. Yeah niche Speaking game of, uh, uh it's not like unpopular but it's definitely not for everyone uh i would, I would say the, the same thing about vermintide 2 and... because of the mechanics yeah i fucking hated vermintide 2 oh no really? it's like it's really great the mechanics are fucking really tight yeah. and solid um it's fantastic it's just, game. Cool. that is just not something <laughs> i guess a lot of people would play i don't know why it just isn't i just i'm not really popular. into the like i know that warhammer has like really great lore and everything but i just oh, I, don't I don't know gotten into lore. The... i just think the gameplay is fantastic yeah i really like the gameplay too is it is it Warhammer that made maybe I'm thinking of something else, but is Warhammer the the series where the dwarves keep a little black book to write down every transgression that the any book other of race grudges, has? Yes, but that, the book that, of grudges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Warhammer. I love that. Just petty fucking dwarves like I, I won't <laughs> forget this. You said the N word once. I have them a little black. <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to make a twit longer. <laughs> No one makes those anymore. You just make a huge thread. That's the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> That's true. Too long as for the uh. So speaking of Vermintide 2, are you excited then for the new one? Dark Tide? Uh, what is it? Dark, Dark Tide? Very interested. It's probably yeah. like the only game I'm interested in that's coming out. Well, that and Perfect Dark, which surprised the crap out of me. Um, oh, but yeah, the, the new, new Vermintide 3. <laughs> I'm not going to remember Dark Tide yet. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fantastic looking. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but uh, Fat Shark is... Uh, it's going to take him a while to pick up steam, so we'll see how that releases. There, uh, there. It wasn't all steps forward. Is that, is that more of a, an epic game story game? I don't think Fat it? Shark would... If if it's no, an it's epic cause, game... Cause, it's because you said, you said picking up steam. I was, doing a, I was doing a rags just now. Oh. oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I hope nothing that's not to say. the case. If it is, then I, I don't would, think yeah, I'd be awful. buy it, which is a shame. But mm. I, I despise that idea and concept so much that even, like, a game I'm insanely interested in, like Dark Tide, would it be is on something that I don't get. If it is on Steam, then yeah. I'd, I'd, yep, it, I'd I just very looked, it is on Steam. It looks, I, I'm interested too. I really like the idea of continuing that. Because um, I feel like, other than... Vermintide, you have what? Dark Rock Galactic, and that's kind of like it in that Deep genre. Rock. Uh, or yeah, Deep Killing Rock. Killing Floor Two. I'm going to grab a drink. I'll be right there. Well, I mean, to a degree, Risk of Rain Two, but that's less about precision uh, mechanics. Don't want like, Killing Floor. I, I tried the. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. I don't yeah, know. You, you're fine. I pretty much was at the end. Okay. Uh, I, I tried the VR Killing Floor game. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Oh. Like, like the the gameplay doesn't translate at all. Like it's really it's really bad. It wasn't the um, in that last humble VR bundle. I was like, oh, I mean, I guess I can check it out. And after that one dropped, like it got like bar with bad reviews. Like the horde mode is really bad. Apparently, there's like a you said the horde mode. Uh, the horde mode. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? I want it to be a horde mode. Yeah. Maybe it be fun that way. Uh. Yeah, no, the, the horde mode was like really boring, really weird mechanics as well. Uh, so you, you th did not apparently like there's a there's a single player mode as well, but I didn't even try that one. I didn't care. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it didn't uh, translate at all. So yeah, it was pretty bad. I think you would think it would. Yeah, I know. Like, just give me shoot. Do the same thing you did before. And just make it VR, just like yeah. shoot things. Just literally, just have just have Killing Floor Two, just VR. 
Yeah, but they changed like mechanics and everything. Did they put like other? Uh, they they changed the game modes and shit. Like it's super weird. I don't know why they did it. I think How a lot did. of the early VR games did that though, because like Doom VFR added in a whole bunch of a lot of you know weird things that weren't Doomy as well, like the fire extinguisher for no reason. So. I don't know, maybe it's just because at that point they didn't really know how to do VR yet. Well then they should fucking figure it out. I don't know how yeah. VR works. Fucking put in a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Seems like a through line to me. IMO. <laughs> mm. I you can't say IMO, that's racism. Emo. <laughs> Emo. Emo's all racist too, I think. So the reason I brought up Little Hope is because we had Super Chats oh, right. delivered to us during that stream, and I'm just going to read those ones out first, alright? There's not mm. a huge amount, but at least it'll be a section that we will have been, we have completed getting through it. So, the first one says, calling it, the evil is fabricated in some way. So yeah, true. Turns true. out <laughs> it was all in the guy's head. Wasn't created by some gas. It was just in his head. So lame. So, so n nothing matters. Like it was all in his head. Like nothing you did matter. Clearly missing the point. It's about his struggle as a person with PTSD oh, and oh. other things. Shut up! Yep. Shut up! But wow. it was all a dream. Is like the laziest possible. No one likes it when you say it was all a dream. <laughs> yeah, it's super lame. Maybe that would be a good writing challenge. How do you make a satisfying "it was all a dream"? Make it Mario Two. But see, the value of Mario is beyond that of whether the story is a dream. I mean, even in that, it feels lazy and cheap. I don't know that there is a good way to do that where it won't feel lazy and cheap. I don't even like dream episodes of shows like The Sopranos. What about what if things where it's like, hey, crazy idea, but what if Captain America was gay? <laughs> Like an alternate universe kind of thing? Yeah, where he's gay. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's that pretty gay. Fun. Like, he's the same, but he likes guys instead of girls. What do you think? That looks... Like, I know I'm kind of blowing you wide open here. Yeah, yeah but I feel like I'm just... I feel lost. Like, with your sexuality? This idea is just... Like, oh, I didn't even know what to say. Um... So, uh, the next one says, Hail Zack Snyder. Now, as oh, we, shut up, Zack! As we explore more of Zack Snyder's filmography, <laughs> it'll be interesting. I like the idea that Metal is saying it was actually Zack Snyder who sent that. <laughs> Zack Snyder is a very big fan of EFAB and fantasy. Imagine him just hunch over his fucking computer and his face. Hail Zack Snyder, he's sending <laughs> that as super chats. <laughs> Some people describe it as insecure, I just think that he's he knows his value. Right, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, wait, were you saying something? No, no, you were saying something. Oh, shit. And then, Just and then that, I um, said something. The hail Zack Snyder will get funnier as we watch more of the DCEU, which we plan to eventually, so... Right now... Are we doing, um, Super Chat catch-ups, or...? Yeah, it's just a random episode. Um, making sure we grab them all eventually, you know? And we get a lot of hail Zack Snyders. Very, um... <laughs> curious, to say the least. A lot of Zack Snyder fans out there, hoping that the Snyder Cut will be fantabulous. It won't! Yeah, I don't think it will. Well, I don't see how it could yeah, can't be. Imagine, can't imagine it'll change things. Yeah. Like, structurally, oh. the story is still not great. I mean, right? it, I feel mm -hmm. like it, we'll probably see a lot of new shit, but I think it's going to be good shit. I think it's it might even be shit shit. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So wait, Ooh. if it's not good shit, so it's good? Um, It's like having... A bad thing of a bad thing is like it's like the worst of the worst, you know what I mean? Who like, who among us has uh I get played it. or is currently playing No you don't. Cyberpunk. I didn't even buy it yet. I've I'm really trying to get my refund. <laughs> uh, because it is it is wholly fucking like not playable in its current state. Uh, we that. follow. We're gonna talk about that. Platform. It's like a big gamble right now. We're gonna talk about yeah, that in a week's I, I follow time. A, I Can't follow a streamer. No, that, that, that's okay. We're not actually discussing the contents of the game. Just the fact that it's scuffed and unoptimized. But um, mm. there's. Uh, I follow a streamer who has a computer that, at the time of purchase, which was like a year ago, was eleven thousand dollars. 
And how do, you, uh, how, how do you even spend that kind of money? Probably just a bunch of RGB shit. I was gonna say, what, what like kind of peripherals are we dealing with? Parts? Metal was talking about uh, VR killing floor earlier. You said it was shit. Yes. Uh, what the yeah, fuck, the, the killing floor uh, VR thingy. I got it in the in the humble VR, and it's it's <laughs> not great. It's yeah, it's. I think that's one of those like introductory like VR is new. Let's just try to put any IPs into VR, and they had like Doom VFR or whatever on yeah. there. I was and, just uh, shocked because I, I don't understand why they did it the way they did it. Like just teleportation. Just just give me, just, just give me Killing Floor two in VR. Let me shoot things. That's that's, that's all you need did to you, do. Did you did you have to uh, like teleport around or like how did it operate? No, I put it on walking around. Just okay. The, just the horde mode wasn't like fun at all. <laughs> it, I did change like weird stuff that I, I just yeah. Don't why they changed it? It's like there's a pri there's a surprising amount of VR games out there that were made back when the the um, HTC Vive was the only headset, um, and they just decided, oh yeah, this is the gold standard now for VR. Uh, a, a fucking trackpad on a controller. That's how you're gonna move. And everyone hated using trackpads to move, so they're like, oh, let's let you teleport around. I guess also because, you know, moving around free locomotion style made people nauseous. But mm. there's so many, like, In in Death is a decent VR game, where it's kind of like uh, very, uh, very roguelike, but you have to teleport. Like, the game was literally built in with teleportation controls okay. in mind. So it's just, it's fucking unplayable. Like, <laughs> I have, like, I have the index knuckle controllers, and I have two control sticks. So it's just like, I want to be able to use them, but no, apparently not. These old games never never updated it. Yeah, I got Arizona Sunshine now, though, because they sold yeah. the bundle thingy for uh, with Arizona Sunshine. Yeah. Uh, wait, what was it? Uh, that one's pretty good. Super Hot VR and, and That's, some other That game. might be the best. That might be the best VR game, in my opinion, Super Hot VR. They just came out with a patch last night after the Game Awards. There's like a boxing update where it's just like fucking... Uh, Enemy waves constantly coming at you, and you have to you just use your hands. Oh, nice. So yeah, I'll I got this. And there, was like, and there was some another game in it, uh, in there that I never heard of, but uh, yeah, I got this bundle. It's like 20, 20, 25 bucks or something. I was like, yeah, that's a good deal because I, I remember you told me uh, you telling me that Arizona Sunshine is like really good and has like co-op and shit. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick this up for sure. Yeah, it's solid. I, uh, I it's wanted... a little generic. The the protagonist never shuts the fuck up. Just trying to be super funny and charming. Yeah, I don't need a rebirth. Need a rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated Amnesia Rebirth because you play as a fucking French woman. That's enough reason to hate it. Wow. Awful. Awful. Aww. I dated I dated a fucking cunt from from uh, what do you call it? Um, Quebec. Fraud? And. Uh, <laughs> They're just they're just living rat people. I'm willing to say that. They are Canadians? literally just it's a the uh, French? French Canadians. French Canadians, wow. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah, yeah, They're literally just like fucking rats that can walk upright. I mean, for all the French e top washes out there. <laughs> oh, they're white. Thing. It's okay. It's okay for me to say that they're white. They're French. If you didn't like Chase already, <laughs> I mean it's gonna be yeah. tough to recover at this point. <laughs> if, if you didn't like Chase, wait until you see Chase 2.0. Hotter going, takes than ever. You going for the Designed French just solely. to try and like find someone to make fun of that you just want to focus no, on? No, it's it's because the fucking French no are will, just... because no one will stick up for the French. No one will stick up for the French. They're fucking awful. Oh, feel bad for the French now. Like no, my, my mom actually was like a like a French major because she wanted to be uh, she wanted to be like a translator, and uh, she realized later that it was kind of not a good decision because. <laughs> She, she like gave a bunch of reasons like you need to be able to do this language and this language and be fluent for this many years or whatever. A bunch um, of reasons. But but she was uh, sure. But she was in like she was in Paris <laughs> trying to order food and you know using her French. You need and they're to... re they're they're real fucking snooty and rude there. So yeah. like she tried to order in French and the waiter just wrote down. He said okay two burger two pizza and he just walked away. <laughs> like wow fuck you. So, fuck French people. That was it. That's I'm gonna this, die on that hill. That made you hate French people forever? Uh, that and the fucking Quebecian cunt I dated a couple years ago. So what if you date like a really cool Quebecian cunt? Uh, I'd like her, but I'd probably still concur that French Damn. people per capita are not great. Well, it's on the French to prove you wrong, I suppose. 
Come at me, Frenchies. Fuck you. What's funny is that this will go live after the next EFAP you might actually be on, so no one will know of your French hatred. Yet. Like, <laughs> yeah, big smart right there. Nobody's gonna know about it. It's gonna be great. Um, I, just... I I got an I got an item in this game called Magus Charuks C H A R U Q S, and I thought it said Magus Chungus. Just want to share that with you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Go on. What was what were you saying? Thanks. I hate it. I yeah. said he hated it. Eight time. Eight time. I, I don't know. I think I wanted to make a joke with the raisins, but, but we already did that, so no, mind me. Yeah, I'm moving past that now. Give okay. it the time. Uh, oh. If you ever do, <laughs> if you ever do want to do um, any like VR co-op, as limited as that fucking pool of games is, uh, yeah. hit me up, middle. I'm always down. Also, uh, play Vox Machine. Oh. On, yeah, I know. Uh, you put that on your list. That's actually on my yeah. watch list. I'm, I'm waiting for yeah. like, a, like a sale and time to play games. Super fun game. Uh, I just heard Mola talking about spanking. Mom picked me up. I'm scared. So, what about you scared? Like, like, I feel like I should be allowed to talk about spanking. What do you guys think about that? I agree. Um, can you elaborate? Just spanking is the topic. Do you think I should be able to talk about that? Oh, wow. Like, like sexually motivated spanking? Like, does the motivation really matter? No. <laughs> A little context could help, you know. Just saying. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you are okay. allowed to talk about spanking, even if sexually I mean, like, motivated. As a as like a fucking like corporal punishment kind of like I, I would say regardless of its sexual innuendos mm -hmm. or its corporal punishment I think regardless mm -hmm. this is why M you needs are to be allowed here to he keeps you in check you're so guys. you're so open minded Moriarty god I'm so regressive well yeah that is true <laughs> may as well you know, call a spade both of those right? things you said are true ba -da -da -ba -ba. But it's good that you're coming to terms with being a horrible person and stuff, right? Like, wait, who's coming? That would be me. Oh, congratulations! EFAP with Alex Jones when, long man? Yeah, I mean, uh, tomorrow. It would happen instantly if we were allowed. Is he allowed on Twitch at all? I don't. Know. Well, YouTube, but I don't know actually. Oh God! Every moment that Rags isn't here, I'm happy. Oh. <laughs> is Rags not here? How do you know that? Because he said uh, we we're back. We're running. Shit. Yeah, come back yet? I well, have a thing called a uh, short-term memory. He might. Um, they don't have. He that. might eventually hear about you <laughs> saying that. He's gonna fucking send you an email. Remember that uh, dog killing vaccine I drew earlier? It was more than just a drawing. So oh he's in for a rude my awakening god! If he steps at me. Is it considered rude a awake? vaccine if it just kills? Dude. I mean. It shuts down your heart and lungs and shit, but you know, it so it's, it's fairly, it's fairly humane. Is it like saying a vaccine for life? You want to be cured uh, of life, Timmy? Here's the vaccine. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's pretty fucked up that you can do <laughs> it, but you know, fine. Whatever floats your boat, right? This relieves you of the ailment known as, as planet Earth. As existence. It's overrated. Yeah. Sentience. Happy Halloween, Long Man and Rags. Still need to watch the Nostalgia Critic <laughs> episode, but here's to a better holiday. Aw. I like how dated that is just by being prefaced by Happy Halloween. You really got a backlog of these, huh? We are, uh, yeah. We, we, you know, we we get to them eventually. This may be um, a month and a half late, but we're getting there. Three this Halloween Christmas. special. Wait, what? What about Christmas? This this Merry Christmas video, or this, this Christmas stream is going to go live in February. Gonna be perpetually bad hey, I will nail this one, okay? I'm not gonna miss out on it. <laughs> It'll be so good. Oh shit, I bumped into a Metroid. They're Can in the name. Brilliant. Why doesn't Metroid jump? Crawl, idiot. <laughs> Metroid. Oh, fuck! Metroid is my favorite video game female. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. What do you mean his name is Link? <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I told you I was like a Legend of Zelda. This is the main character. I'm gonna name well, him yeah, Zelda. Yeah, you're like, obviously, then, Zelda's the yeah. main character of Legend of Zelda. It's like, it's like yeah, it's pretty, it, kind of intuitive. It's but his legend. Yeah. No, the legend is yeah, about then, the person you, who constantly needs to be saved by the hero. I'm like, oh. I well, just like so how legend, you, you sneak into, like, Peach. Hyrule like, courtroom. Oh, okay. You sneak into Hyrule courtroom, and she's like, I'm Zelda. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> hold on. Let me just uh, edit something here.
Let me just call the game files really she, quickly. She's like, oh my god, you're named Zelda 2? Like, uh... <laughs> I know we're gonna be best friends now. Why am I so fat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make me the fat? Fucking, the blinket esque deliver of it. Why am I so fat? But yeah, also, with the, with the Alex Jones one on EFAP, I was just thinking, like, it's gonna happen as soon as he's okay with it. Even if YouTube say right. you can't house such a creature. Do you, do you do you have that kind of pull, though, to be able to get Alex Jones on here? Uh, <laughs> Destroy the child. I would I would be like, yo, Alex, we're gonna cover the prequels. You love those things? <laughs> you can talk about all the conspiracies. <laughs> Think I'm no. some sort of gay who watches movies? Palpatine's behind it all. <laughs> Start talking about the fucking corporate, corporate Jews talking or something. Talking dog, be gone, demon. <laughs> be gone. I thought you said. I thought you said we gone demon. Like we're going demon. We gone demon. I can't. I can't. We gone I can't, demon. I can't deal with this talking dog. Satanic. Three Halloween specials in a row. It's like all my Christmases have come at once. Oh, <laughs> there you go. See, thematically relevant. Any idea when TFA Critique Part 4? Happy Halloween. Uh, it'll be next year. No idea when, but I would hope for next year. Not even promising next year, guys. Because whenever I promise anything, it's all I ever hear. So promises no longer happen. There, you ruined it for yourselves. No, yeah. no promises for you. Good job, you fucking naggy little assholes. See? Leave in comments every video. We fucking see it. Oh, when's yeah. this video? It'll... We'll get there when we get there. That's a, that's a reference. <laughs> It'll be done when it's done. Oh, yeah, that's... I kind of want to do a parody of the Power Rangers. It, no, it'll be out when it's out. What is it? I want to, in the middle of TFA Part 4, I want to do, like, a Power Rangers rant from the <laughs> yeah. People keep asking. The, the gaming reviews will... The gaming review videos will continue when I am done with my Star Wars trilogy reviews. <laughs> Please stop leaving comments. It is very annoying. Oh. <laughs> I like a one person like leaves you like, well, there's no point in telling the joke. <laughs> I was just like, oh. <laughs> I thought Rude. I upset him. He's like, I really like, is a very good friend of mine. Were you upset? You the me, Moriarty, you okay? His internet is very bad. Oh, I thought I meant my internet is versus bad. Versus bad. Versus bad. My internet. Good versus bad. The ultimate battle. Um, <laughs> also, the YMS crossover was the best Halloween anime special on the internet. <gasps> well, how do? <laughs> he watched Extraterrestrial with him. He loved it. Yeah, that's some good shit. Like, he gave it a YMS, 1 out of 10. YMS is a good man. Kind of like a love. Yeah, he's a fun man. L lovely. Funion. That's um, that's like an onion, but fun. You guys have those, right? Funion? Yeah, we we have them, but they're they're a brand of chips. No, well, they ruined that. They should have made them fun onions. Efap, Efap games, and Efap movies, all in one day. Take my money, you spooky massives. And uh, no, Heil rags. <gasps> Heil. That's very nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no Heil for you, Matt. That's boy. offensive. I'm gonna respond. Sick. I'm at the pub. Yeah, Fat movies just ended. My Surface Pro stops working. It crashes. I restart. Nothing works. I can't draw. Suddenly, a phone notification. EFAP Gaming started. It works again. Happy Halloween. Yay! You are. It's a miracle. In Halloween. Say, yeah. <laughs> Your devices are only interested in operating if they can view EFAP content. That's interesting. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to deal with the shit you normally watch, mm. except mm. for us. We're kind of a benevolent force, just saying. Mostly, yeah. Finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> uh, so much EFAP, so little time. So true. Well, we got, you know, we got time for FAP is now. Time for FAP is now. Hi, EFAP crew. I never played any of the Dark Souls games, but would like to. Any advice? Which game should I start with? What mindset? Mindset? That's it. Should I bring? Also, hi, Raggle Fraggle. Oh, hello. Start with <laughs> Dark Souls 1, then play yes. Dark Souls 3, then play Bloodborne, then... Mm, um, don't don't play Dark Souls 2 under any circumstances. Fuck that game. You're better off, you're better off forgetting it exists. Um, play Dark Souls 1 and just be kind of cautious in your approach and, you know, like, 
Yeah, don't look up spoilers. Look things up if, Only look shit look, up if you really Look, look up, like, weapon stats and shit if you're really all about min-maxing. And then if you want to go be, like, a filthy, sweaty little tryhard on your second playthrough, should you choose to do it, you can go in and be one of those dudes that, like, rolls while wearing no armor and wears just uses, like, just a giant fucking club and just completely, like, break the game. That's the fucking pro Yeah, Dark, Dark Souls... Dark Souls 1, yeah, definitely. It's very balanced. I, I like the remaster. I know there's definitely some, like, texture issues and stuff people didn't like, but... As a whole, I think it's uh, very good. Don't get it on Switch or whatever, because it's a capped at 30 FPS and it's garbage. Nobody should be getting it on Switch. If they did, they just... they fucked up, you know? I bought it on Switch because I wanted to play it with my girlfriend on Switch, and then after I bought it for both of us, I was like, Oh yeah, <laughs> the frame rate fucking sucks. I was, I was very upset. Everyone knows the best way to play it is on Nintendo DS, so what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> this Dark Souls on Nintendo Hello, DS! Back. Hello. I like that idea a lot. This Dark Souls, like, fucking... With the GBA They already, they already made chip. Dark Souls for the Nintendo DS. It's called Elite Beat Agents. That's fucking true. That's You're very... True. Speaking of Elite Beat Agents, them thematically, that Christmas mission? Have you guys seen that one? No. Shit's fucking sad. Aww. Like you? Really you sad. Oh, wow, Mel, okay. Wait, what? Who said that? Chase, you're not gonna fuck him up for saying that, really? Same what? Alright, yeah. Mel, you're in the clear, I guess. <laughs> I said <laughs> yeah, sad like you, stuff. Chase. I mean... Yeah, it's pretty accurate, actually. Aww. Sad like you... Piece of poo. I got Whoa. sad poo poos in my We can't my do slayers on the channel anymore. We got in trouble for it. Moriarty is in a Moriarty world of robots. World of that ro sounds should sad. I should I try uh oh, saving Grace Singapore? Do it. Come on, Singapore. Um Hello <laughs> There, Singapore did it again. <laughs> Hello What? <laughs> well, I guess it didn't work. Merry Christmas, all. Merry Krimbus. That's yeah, a, Merry Christmas. That's a great super chat Merry to get Krimbus. right now, I think. Yeah. This one says Merry nice, yeah. nice Sargon stream. I think that's because everything was fucking up when we started. But in fact, it's, it's, it's not good. Well, the game's not good. <laughs> Our coverage of it is quite abusive, I would say. That's a Is Sargon a nice man? I think Sargon's a nice man, yeah. I mean, was was he was he a nice man in the stream? He wasn't on the stream. They were saying nice sog on stream because we were doing boomer stuff. Ah. Uh, or at least it looked as though stream. we were doing boomer stuff. Am I wrong? Whenever equals many but times in the past. Yes, it's true. When equals Silence once on in the past. Silence on a podcast will kill you. I keep seeing whenever used for something happening mm. once in the past, and it's driving me crazy. Have I disconnected? Hmm. No, we we hear you. Wait, Hello. Wait. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, good. I was just making sure no one was saying anything, and so bit. sometimes I'm I mean, I was saying stuff. like, oh, I sure hope that I haven't disconnected so that... <laughs> Racism. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good. It's all good. Everyone else is just being... A little tight-lipped. I was literally yeah. speaking. What the fuck? But <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, like, when, 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 you were, when, you were, when you were singing I'm your song while I was in the middle of talking and us. I was trying to focus on. I guess he just has no idea that other. other people speak. And just I had a few so helpful mind, interlocutors around. That's just how it you goes. Know, what's happening? <laughs> Help! I think I think he's lagging and he can't hear us at all. Yeah, it must be that he just can't hear us. That's yes, fine. Sir. We'll just carry on. I think you know? it's only you and me, Metal. Oh, you can hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> oh, he's fucking around. Okay. Like, like, That's right. Everyone has been talking. What do you Except mean? Except me. All I can... Uh, metal, all I can hear is... He's just fucking with you now. You can only he's, hear me, that's hilarious. Because he's, Ball no, was he's talking, he's and then you were like, you. am I disconnected? Metal, he's and fucking it's around! Just, it's just you and I right now. You can I don't hear know if he's he, he can hear but, uh, all of us! He's playing you, you like a fiddle! Chase, you can hear him smiling. Could you Could you hear it? I know, I know. I'm trying to convince Metal. That's interesting. So you caught me off guard because I was playing a game while I was doing this, so fuck you. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was pretty- you really- you really committed to that, right? Because it was good. I guess I'll- I mean, freak the thing is, it's not the first time that would have happened, so it was a totally real <laughs> scenario to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, you're like, Rags, like, like, he can selectively only hear one of us. <laughs> Alright, that's how it goes. Did you fix that issue you were having, Rags? Uh, well, I actually 
No, what I did was I fixed everyone else's issue. Uh, oh, okay. I disconnected and I reconnected and it fixed all the problems that you guys had Thank you. there. Thanks Thank so you. much for that. You really it's did. Good. You did us I, a really big favor, yeah. Yep. You're welcome. That's what I'm here to do. Just here to carry mm. my weight <laughs> in whatever way possible. Um, want to contribute. God. What would we do without rags? I'm trying to figure out what this person huh? is talking about. Whenever equals many times in the past. When equals once in the past. And I keep seeing whenever used for something happening once in the past and it's driving me crazy. Why could you give me an example? Because I don't know what you mean. Oh, I you mean, don't know I, what that means? They're, they're I understand talking about what like you're tenses, talking about. basically. Yeah. No, because this is this is all going to be past tense. It's not about tenses. It's about specificity. So sure, if you yeah, have I mean. like a... For instance... Whenever the first, I hate it. Whenever the first word, uh, a, a first world war breaks out, right? Who says that though? Well, no, this is just that you just wanted an example. Yeah, right. It it, like a it, thing. If you are referring to something in history in the past that has happened only a single time, you use when. You don't yes. say whenever. If you're referring to something in the past that has happened multiple times, then you say whenever. Uh, when was the last time you had someone do that? Because I'm generally drawing blanks on this. I. Off the top of my head, like it's like saying it's when was the last specific. time you heard the word literally used as figuratively. Like I know what happens, I just don't know a precise, you know, example of it. But someone mm -hmm. would might say, um, I I really hate it whenever uh, the World Trade Centers are hit by airplanes. It should be <laughs> I hate it that when the World issue. Trade Centers are hit by airplanes. I don't even yeah. think someone would say either of those. I hated it when would be the <laughs> the line, right? Yeah, I hated it when. Nobody says I hated it whenever the. I'm so confused. Well, they then they would be using it appropriately. I hated you say, it whenever. Well, when you say that whenever, would be, I wouldn't follow. If you say whenever something happens, it should be referring to something that has happened more than one time. Yeah, I get that. I was looking for like a sentence example, but I don't think anybody. These ones I'm getting lost on. I, I gave two. Yeah, they're not very good. They're very good. They explain. Nobody would ever say perfect. that either Not of the two that, you use. Not only that, but my description was perfect. Either of the two you use, no one would ever say. That's why I don't think they're good examples. They don't have to. They don't have to ever say it. The hypothetical is substantial. Yeah, I don't care though. I want examples that are realistic, not ones that are that are realistic. Hypothetical well, I to like said an it. That astronomical level that no one would ever use. How fucking useful is that? Well, you just 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 substitute the events for different events, and it works the exact same. Yeah, but that's what I'm looking for. That was my whole point. I hate it. I say. I say. Um, I hate it whenever the French colonize a foreign country. Right. Like that would be correct. Right. I say. I hate it whenever Uganda invades the United States. I was like, well, that happened. That's not true. Yeah, I'm, which I'm is often think why, of more like... which is often where the humor comes from when people say, "Oh yeah, I hate it when that happens." That thing that has never happened. That's the that's the thing. I can only come up with humor. examples that are used ironically, not not like genuinely. I can't think because this is just doesn't seem common to me at all that someone would make this mistake. That's why I'm. Oh, it's probably not a common mistake. Yeah, this person's saying like, "Oh, I hate it that people keep doing this." It's like I don't know that I've you, ever seen what this. What they happen. would do is they'd say, "I hate it." You like they would say, "I hate it whenever people use these words incorrectly." No, they, they said would they not keep say, seeing I hate it, it being used wrong. All right, well, I'm saying if this person were to talk about this, then they would say, I hate it whenever these words are used incorrectly. They wouldn't say, I hate it when these use words are used incorrectly. Wait, because maybe whenever is for plural events. This could actually be a really smart super chat. The joke might be that they're doing it. Because they said... What is the spec yeah, specific... They've, they've said that, like, they hate... The, they see it. They, they they keep seeing it. Um, when it, like like they've specified the, the the change in words. So like they say it after saying. I keep seeing whenever used for when, and it's driving me crazy. Like I hate it whenever that happens. I, I'm assuming that could be what they're going for. It's just that this is limited by the super chat character limit. I'm not sure. Either way, I just don't see people making that mistake very often at all. I can't even, like, off the top of my head, think of a time where I've ever thought, you know, to respond like, when does that happen more than once? I don't think I've ever even said that. And it's usually, if ever they did, it's 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 because they're making a joke. Like, the one you mentioned, you know, oh yeah, I hate it when that happens, to something super specific. So, um, either this person was making an elaborate joke, which I appreciate, or they really do come across this a lot, and I'm just, you know, I'm in a world where people just don't do it. 
I, th I think they probably do. You just don't even think about like recognizing it until it's pointed out because um, it's such a tiny little thing. Maybe like it's when about people stuff that I don't know happened. Um, only once. Well, I, I doubt it's only happened once. No, I'm, I'm saying that maybe they're talking like about something that I don't know happened only once. And no one even thinks like, about it. They're referencing it a out. past event that only happened uh, and the amount of times that I was unaware of. Like, for example, someone invading What's some place. More... I wouldn't know how much that particular person or, or group have invaded that particular place. I'd be like, uh... Not necessarily, anyway. So I wouldn't know if what they're saying happens more than once. You see? Yeah, you might not know. And if that's the case, I don't know if one of them can be a neutral term. Kind of like how Mrs. is only a married woman, Miss can go both ways. How did that come about? You know how you got Ms. and Mrs. versus just Misters both times? Why did that happen? Uh, so how did M- what does MRS stand for, essentially? I just for... mean, how did they get split? And why? Is it to do with, um... I wonder how far back that dates, actually. So, there's M-I-S-S, M-R-S, and M-S. Um... Let's see... But, like, with... So, M-I-S... Men getting married, so... they don't go from X to Y, they just stay at Mr. Always Mr. Yeah. Um, it's probably because the eligibility of women in marriage was really prevalent in the past, like yeah. culturally. So we'd like to know. So it was very, so it was very, it was it was very important that a woman was married off. So yeah, these signifiers like were blatantly sure clear. They were more marketable, essentially. Wow, is that all women are yeah. think? Because we all know the truth. Yeah. So I mean it. <laughs> I guess under that sense, it makes a, it makes a lot of sense. It's not you know equal or fair, I suppose, but it makes a lot of sense when you think about you know the way the world used to be. <laughs> the the initial way you try it is just looking to see if that ring finger is uh, you know got a ring on it, right? That's the best. Oh, I don't know. That's showing a lot of skin there. I suppose um, they could still be divorced and wearing the ring, or it could be a ring that's not a wedding one. So you really got to do more investigating. That's advice out there for people who think that a, a ring on a finger means it's a no-go. And that's what we do here. Dating advice. Dating advice. Chase, give some dating advice. Yeah, um, Chase, you've been very successful with your dating stories. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, half of, half of your anecdotes... Half of your anecdotes start with, I used to date this fucking cunt. <laughs> so I figure that you'd be a good, you know. Well, if you want me to lie, just tell I me. Mean, um, yeah, that's I mean, I don't want you to lie. Chase, that's a compliment. That no, means, just, that means you know how to get in here, you. you know? Yeah. You know how to, you know how to make attempts, and that's something that not a lot of people can do. Uh, well. So <laughs> even your consistent failure is admirable in a way. Hey, it wasn't my failure that they were fucking crazy. Now I know this. there's definitely not a common thing amongst all the people who turned out to be assholes wow. in your relationships. Do you actually want me to answer this, or are you just going to keep fucking... I mean, I if do. you just answered just it, like... yeah, I wouldn't have the chance, really. You're going to keep fucking... I'm just, I'm just fucking... I'm, I'm just fucking... <laughs> I mean, I don't... Here's the thing, like, I don't really... I don't do relationships in, like, a romantic sense. I don't think yeah, that I'm in any way mentally compatible they like i'm too independent and i just want to be left alone You're like i do not think that i'll ever be in a romantic relationship i doubt it i think mm -hmm. that i would be doing mm -hmm. someone else like kind of a disservice by leading them on <laughs> i'm just not looking for that so sure. it's you know yeah no. um yeah i mean dating is just like the as a serious answer i've always um i've always just made it a habit to approach everyone as a friend uh everyone and if you end up, uh, you know, clicking with someone and you find, hey, I, I like you, you're funny, I enjoy your company, whatever. Um, and then if it's mutual, then yeah, give it a try. And if it doesn't work out, uh, what are you going to do? Um, it's nice to stay friends afterwards. I, uh, one of my exes from when we were like fucking 15, she lives like an hour away from me. And we, we hang out every now and again and like go get drinks. And uh, she's like married and shit and like her, her partner's cool. And uh, it's just, you know, we're like adults about it. But Husband? Um... Uh, yeah, her husband, yeah. He's a cool guy. But yeah, even though he plays Fortnite all the time, cool guy. Um, oh. But, uh, yeah, well, honestly, if, if you... Kids. If you have, uh, um... She's pregnant, actually. If you have a... Oh, who's uh, the father? 
Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, it took, it took me a second. That was good. That was good. That was good. Um, uh, uh, groom yourself. Like, have good. That's you know, actually hygiene. kind of. A, it, can I pause for just you for just a second? I just want to say you, you just did. It, yeah. It's it's generally so. Yeah, but I I, I gave the pretense of caring, which is polite. See, it was very polite. So, yeah. like, it's it's generally considered a really cuck thing to do to raise mm. another man's kid. But in a weird sure. kind of way, what an insane Chad power move that is. To like steal another <laughs> to like to steal another man's kid from him. You are my son now. He's like, yo, <laughs> it's your kid? No, he's Boy. he's mine now. He's, <laughs> this, he's this like, it doesn't even child. matter. Like he's fucking my kid. I'm gonna raise him and he's gonna become what I want him to become. I'm gonna mold him and shape him in a way that you never fucking could. He's mine now. This is this belongs to you. I'm taking it from you. I think it's because people focus on the surface level. Like he got the sex, and you just have to yeah, do that. And you have to sex, do the work after. Have <laughs> yeah, I think it, it comes from the attitude that like, well, I won't get too deep into it. But like you, having you, you kids fucking you, like, you're you're, you're raising you a child and teaching that you're helping them navigate the perils of the world and helping them discover themselves and and learn to go on and foster their own loving relationship with another person. Wow, you fucking cuckold. Well, you it soy comes boy. from a yeah. it comes from a casual uh, sexualized attitude that having a kids is a mistake and you failed if you've done it. Yes. Which isn't, like, necessarily bad if you, you know, depending on how you go about it and who you are. Like, I, If you're just, like, like a I, club rat and that's, like, your modus operandi for everything, then, yeah, any sort of responsibility. Yeah, you can be just, a oh, promiscuous person bitch. but not an asshole. Yes. Or you could also be just some fucking piece of shit who goes around fucking women creating babies, not supporting them, and just, just yep. ruining civilization, quite frankly. But, yeah, uh, Atlanta. oh well. Uh, boo, yeah. so so yeah. boo. What a what a Chad um, power. Boo. But yeah, no. Um, I'll, I'll keep this. Quick I can't wait for when the... this comes out. Franks is a cock. <laughs> like, no, just... mm, fuck him. Because that's all. That, this is all my little brain could think in this moment. Uh, you're... Now well, they're gonna say, I mean, that, that, that's, on the that's the thing. I can't, I can't advance past that's one a... dimensional thinking. <laughs> That, that that's the thing is that's it's a the fact sensible. That I'm used to contraction is amazing. Oh, okay, okay, Rex, we get it. People are fucking pussies <laughs> online. Anyway, um, yeah, no, that's a sen that's a sensible way to look at it, and I agree. But I think that um, I uh, <laughs> anyway, um, in order to uh, yeah, I mean, if there's any, if genuinely anyone out there looking for dating advice, I'm not some fucking love guru or anything like that. But the main thing I've I've learned is that um, if you are relatively in shape, which is to say not, like, morbidly obese. Uh, if you have a good sense of humor, if you know how to talk to people, yeah, just just be silly and, and try to take the piss uh, from time These, to time. That's not really be, advice be, so much as if you already have these attributes, you win. <laughs> then you win. I mean, like, there's resources online. It's like, how do I fucking develop a better sense yeah, of humor? Yeah, that's what you are in this question. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm not here to. Well, I, I said I'd keep it quick, Rags. What do you fucking want from me? That's keep a long ass thing that. to explain. I can. I can go through the fucking schematics of how to develop a better sense of humor. Top, give you example scenarios. Tips. Do you top really want to sit through all of that? Top three tips. Top three tips. <clears throat> top three for what? humor related tips that we doing. Top three dating tips. All right. Uh, cool. Women, cool. women yeah. like, women like, I'd, I'd like to get to them. Women like to tease. Uh, they like being teased, that is to say. They like, uh, they like a guy who's going to, um, you know. Give him chungus? We were good. No. No, no. Metal like, knows just, this you know, is not true. <laughs> like, like my, 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 my girlfriend, for example, like she knows I care about her very much, but if she, she'll be like, oh, I love you, and she'll give me a hug, and I'll be like, all right, whatever, you little bitch. Just like, you know, just kind of play around. And she she knows that's obviously after we've established that, like, I'm not an asshole and that I care about her. Um, so if you get to the point with a girl where it's like she... After hmm? the relationship has been established, that's a good tip to start with. No, but I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> Establish a new relationship. See, it would, it, would be, it would be great if I could have, like, more than, like, a 10-second moment to like elaborate on Listen, anything I'm saying without I, the fucking pun squad jumping in. Oh, so what like you're you, saying? I feel like Rags has a point there. Your opening piece no, of advice. No, no, no. Like... I was, I was go about to literally clarify. I was literally right. about to clarify and say that's once you get comfortable with someone and once like you've actually had a conversation and established like you know the niceties and been polite and then afterwards it's you like can just kind of and, and then that's because if once you just pregnant. <laughs> are we talking about dating advice or attracting people? Dating advice. 
It's surely well, those two go hand in hand to a degree. Track. Okay, here, here. Dating advice. Have a lot of Dating fucking advice. money. Dating advice. Have a, have a, a really good <laughs> job with good job security. Uh, have a large peen because women like the peen. Yay. Is that is that surface level enough for you guys? Is that like you're gonna pick I mean, it's pick back too? It relies on things that you've already either established or anything. I I'll, I'll give I'll give my three tips. Oh sweet. Yeah, let's tips. hear your let's hear your dating there. tips. All right. From my the, the from okay. the single guy. Yeah. That's all right. That's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> my three dating tips would be this. Um, one, when it comes to the way that you interact with this person and the way that you present yourself. You want to come across as someone who has the potential to be dangerous, but who is very approachable and safe. Uh, I, no, 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 let me, no, let me explain. No, so, see, no, but like, do you see, do you see, this is, now I'm, I'm doing the rags thing. I'm going, well, not necessarily. You can do it except you're dark, funny, or interesting. Oh my so, god. Fuck you! Yeah, be the change. <laughs> you little instigator! <laughs> instigator! No, go on, go on. Yeah. So... You want, th this is for, I guess it probably applies for both, but especially for women, I think, I feel. Women want to know that you can be dangerous, that you have the capacity, not to them, mind you, you have the capacity to be extremely confident, extremely aggressive, protector. that if you need it, protective, that's a good way to phrase it. Yeah. You can be an extremely virile, aggressive person they want to know that you have the potential to do that and if it is necessary you can be that but you want to be approachable to the sense of they know that you're not going to be that to them right they mm. want to know they want to have that security about your personality right? to augment that i would also add that um self-confidence is a massive massively attractive quality because Which if you're like the point so good on you Okay. Um, yeah. Go, go a, ahead. A woman, a woman doesn't want one hundred percent control of you. Well, I know there's the meme, right? But a woman wants to know that you are not being completely controlled by everything she wants. There needs yeah, to be a level. Yeah. lose respect for you. Yeah. Self, yeah. There needs to. Be, there is a level. She needs to know that you have self-confidence, self-respect, and independence. She needs to know, and this goes for both genders, in fact. Um, mm. that you are there not because you need to be in this relationship, but because it is a thing that they really desire immensely. You don't want to mm -hmm. have, you don't want to be in a relationship with someone who feels like they're trapped in that relationship and they can't leave because they need it, you know? Yeah, so if, if, you, if you, if you come off, um, if you come off as somebody that has options, like, so for uh, another, another example, Let's say that you're just sitting at home, fucking playing World of Warcraft or Fortnite or whatever bullshit, uh, and you get a text from a girl that you like. Um, if you respond immediately, it kind of gives the implication that like you, you literally have fuck all to do, and you're just waiting on her at every moment of every day. But you know, this and this could go into the this, this yeah. Is this is what? I, it, I, yeah, no, that's I, a good clarification. Thank you. Yeah. Um, no, wait, sorry. What I, uh, was the clarification? Because I actually have commentary on what you said already as well. Um, but what Rag said or me? Well, I don't know what Rag says. I don't know if I. It was what I was going to say. What did you? Was it a joke? I don't know. <laughs> oh well, statistically, it probably was, but it wasn't. Oh. Uh, well, what did you say? I was saying. I, I was saying like the, essentially, don't uh, don't be completely submissive <clears throat> in a relationship. You need to push back and show self confidence, and you need to be stubborn to a degree. I someone needs to know that you can be those things, and you're willing to do them. Not that you're just going to always acquiesce. To what's right. being asked of you. Don't be it a pushover, basically. Yeah. 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 A, a, re a healthy relationship is a giving on both sides. In so either responding quickly yeah, thing is what I was. I was you want to command respect, basically. Yeah. Go on. No, um, you want to. You want to. You want to earn it. Well, yeah. I mean, kind of synonymous. No. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, let me clarify then, if I may. Uh, you you want to convey to your partner that you have certain expectations of how you are to be treated, and also hold them to that same standard and treat them the way you would like to be treated. And if they at any point are rude to you or condescending or take you for granted, just firmly establish, hey, I don't want to be treated like that. That's what I mean by command, not like I, literally as a dictator with a gun. I I would also I, I would point out though that the whole 
treat them like you want to be treated. It's very general because it's very, very possible that you don't want to be treated the same way someone else does. Like, literally two people in a relationship want to be treated in a different way. That's why oh, you're yeah, with we're each other. Very, we're pretty... talking very broadly here. So, yeah, no, I, I agree. I, just, uh, I think as, as a rule of thumb, I think that one's pretty universal in terms of uh, successful relationships. At least from the, the many that I've had, I've found that that always tends to be the common thread of, of the better one. Is uh, that sort of communication and setting boundaries and whatnot? Communication is so but you should be like honest, not not insanely honest. Uh, <laughs> but you, you're, you're not. You like, I can feel people pulling their hair out with this advice because they're just like, oh god, like where, where's the line? How honest? Well, it's it's complicated. That's it's a very complicated thing. That's oh, yeah. why you can't. I agree. Yeah, you got play by ear. Oh, one of the ones you were oh, saying my... about um, the whole messaging back quickly thing. It's like, yeah, not just that, but also. Try and only send one, don't send a million, you know, when it starts to, yeah, just, starts to line up as a huge I think, wall, text I think wall. The, the best brief piece of advice I can give with a lot of relationships, and Rax would probably uh, disagree with the, uh, oh, take, 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 take umbrage to the lack of specificity here, but I find that largely less is more when it comes to relationships. Don't pour all of your money into the person. Don't give them all of your time and attention. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and assume that you're going to get married. Just kind of take partners. it easy. Be casual about it. Oh yeah, you want to. Yeah, you want to make her work. That's that's the dating part. Yeah. But yeah, don't. You know, obviously, if if you devote yourself entirely to another person and give yourself no kind of anything, then that's that. That kind of ties into my second point. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I would say, what was I was about to say, um, you can't. It, dating advice to, uh, maybe this probably should be my, be my first tip but you can't be afraid of failure yes uh you can't be afraid of a relationship not working out or you being told no or you being rejected or you being told that it just, it's not going to work out or just being casually told that they're not interested you can't be afraid of that because if you're afraid of failure yeah. then that'll just be a that'll be a retardant on your future mm -hmm. endeavors I mean, it's it's crazy because I've been in. Uh, this isn't you, you know, as as Rags has established, the common thread in a lot of my previous relationships is that things went fucking miserably wrong, um, and a lot of that was just because I kind of some 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 of the times I didn't know what I was doing, some of the times I treated them well, and they were still kind of in their phase where it's like I want to be with a bad boy. You're too nice, so it's like I I'm really glad I went out and I had these relationships, even if some of them were like soul wrenchingly painful, like at the at the uh, conclusion of them. I still think it was really a good idea because I got to sort of filter out, oh, I, I like it when a girl's really nice. And then it's like, ah, oh, yeah, a little too nice, a little too nice. Maybe maybe I, I don't value, maybe I value a girl that has a little bit of sass to her. And then that kind of helped me narrow down the qualities I'm looking for in a partner. So that way, once I found my current girlfriend who was, uh, you know, very happy with her, uh, I got out all of my immature inexperience. Uh, from the past, and now I'm like kind of actually ready to like do a good job more than ever. So I think it's yeah, it's like Reg said, don't be afraid to fail. Just don't be afraid to fail. Uh, Give it a try. Don't Put yourself out there. Uh, you you want them to know that you can be tough and aggressive if it's necessary, and uh, take that bitch to the zoo. And, and that's not a euphemism. I knew. I knew. Say that. Not a euphemism. Always do it. I'm telling you, man. Fucking telling you to take her to the zoo. It is so useful. What about people who are allergic the to zoo, zoos? If you're allergic to zoos, then don't <laughs> date them. Fuck them. Wait, but what if the person giving you giving the advice to is allergic to a zoo? Die alone. <laughs> Kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you didn't even suggest virtual zoos. You just you just gave up. Virtual <laughs> zoos. Virtual zoos. <laughs> <laughs> you mean YouTube? Like I'm gonna oh, buy no. you a thousand dollar index, and then we're gonna go to the virtual zoo. And if you don't Dude, date like, me, you, you guys have to say give that it like back. it's not gonna happen eventually. <laughs> it's so perfect. You you simultaneously do so many things. You show her that you're you're willing to spend time with her physically while you're out and about. You're willing to show her that you give a shit about animals and you're interested and you care about animals. Bitches love that. All right. Also, Three. also, 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 really quickly. Sorry. Um, don't be so self-centered either pre-dating or post-dating during dating, I guess. Uh, because a lot of people, especially like young fucking like 14-year-old me, 
I would just kind of go in relationships being like, this is what I want in a partner. And I feel like a lot of people in this day and age view it that way still, where it's like, yeah, don't these be are like the qualifications. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be like 14 year old me, bad fucking idea. Don't, don't go into a relationship being like, here are the qualities I want in a partner. And then just like, don't look at yourself at all and be like, oh, I'm fucking talentless and uninteresting and I have no friends and I'm uncharismatic. And you know, you actually want to be, they, they call it the, the dating economy for a reason. It's a market. You need to be desirable. You need to have traits that people are going to go, oh yeah, people are going to fucking, maybe fight is hyperbolic language, but <laughs> fight to have you. It's like, he's mine. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you do have to be. I guess, I guess I didn't even think about that. It seems obvious, but you have to be marketable yourself. Like if you're just a loser slob yeah. with no job, no money, no personality, Grooming. you don't like Was do anything. Yeah. Grooming goes a long way. Like, at least take a shower. Yeah, like don't yeah. just make yourself physically. Get a fucking physical. haircut. Yeah, Shave yeah. your pubes. I don't know about hair. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't cut my hair in like years. Well, you don't have to. Yeah. Like you could style or whatever. Right? So wait, wait, wait. So can I can I now imagine like you as a human with like beautiful long lines, man? I do have beautiful long locks. Like ah. I have long, I have long hair. I haven't cut my hair in many years. I didn't I have know long that. Hair. Is that like, is that like the first? Right, you is that the first admission it? of anything about your physicality? Like, cause I I don't I literally just imagine you as a fucking Shiva. I am a Shiva. Long hair. Long oh, my, my, my uh, Rags, if you haven't I dyed have it, you can made. sell the hair. Uh, I'm pretty sure well, like, I'm, wig I'm, makers I'm, and stuff. I'm rolling. But I'm assuming pay, like, the, a bunch. The... Like hair like that. Hmm? I'm pretty sure wig makers like buy uh, hair that hasn't been like tampered with in any way by uh, like dye and stuff for a decent chunk of money. Oh, no, yeah, I have it. I have, I have not dyed it. It is, uh, or if I was role playing as a human, I would say that it's a beautiful like jet black. I'm very, I very like it. I, 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 I really like it a lot. Um, but yeah, if, if it looks good on you, man, go for it. You can always, you know, you, you, if you want to, always, you know, cut it, you can. But there's a lot of stuff you could do with it. <clears throat> like, I'm a, yeah, at least I would be if I was a human, uh, a hat wearer. I, I really, I wear hats all the time. Uh, <laughs> Fedoras. That sort of thing. Um, but I would say maybe even more important, maybe even more important than the hair is the facial grooming. Yes. Don't Basically, have don't look like a YouTuber. Yeah. yeah. I, I took, a, to I took offense to it, that. It's so simple. To First off, no one to not have it. The pathetic, crappy, peachy, shitty-looking stubble that you have that you desperately hold on to for any sense of virility in your life, <laughs> cut it off. All right? You don't it need it, okay? If you, you, if you need, need not if you really, have. really want to grow facial hair, just dedicate if you can find like two or three months where you're not really going to need to go out and make a good impression on anyone and you're just going to be able to like be stay at home be a shut-in. If you're that kind of person, actually, your dating life might be bad. Yeah, no, exactly. But however, uh if you can actually dedicate a period of time or if you just lack the complete self-awareness or personal shame that most human beings feel uh, and you don't mind going out with just really fucking patchy hair, it's possible if you have it in your genealogy to grow out facial hair and actually grow a beard or you know grow a soul patch or a goatee or like whatever you want to do but just know that in the beginning it's gonna look like shit because you have to break through this weird fucking like wall before your facial hair starts yes. to actually like look and, good and be aware that statistically women prefer shaved facial hair or yeah, very capita, little yeah. right that is but, that's but, just but if you're fat and you have a turkey neck consider a beard if you have a really fat, smooth round me. head yeah if you're fat stop it stop but also uh consider growing a beard if you have a if you have like a fucking thumb shaped head like me they shall have distracts from that greatly are you saying yeah. i'm fat you fucking piece of shit Le less more yes. often is a is wow. like an advice <laughs> i hate the truth yeah. <laughs> Truth is also, also you're, you're you're peaking ever so slightly, Metal. Is there any way you could turn down your um, inputs? Lately? I was like, my my lips were on my microphone. He was making oh, a meme. Okay. That was by default. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. a fucking audio engineer. Focus on that shit. Yeah, how would you go fuck yourself? More like an <laughs> autist engineer. <laughs> oh, so like, oh, even between oh! hair can be totally different. <laughs> um, like my brother can grow a full beard the whole way round. I can't. Mm. I, I my hair just yeah. stops growing at a certain point, and my dad right. is the same way uh, as I am. So it's just it's just weird how it works like that. Luckily, I don't think beards oh, are yeah. attractive in men. Then it's in like yeah, a, it, it really depends you know, on I, everything. There's there's no thing. like one size fits all uh, thing piece of advice yeah, I'm for not everyone. Attracted to it. 
Uh, but yeah. I would say that, um, yeah, shave your fucking facial hair. Yes. And that goes for the, that goes for your mono brow. You can <laughs> get rid of it if you have it. It's not attractive. Um, Metrosexuality has its place, you know, like women appreciate a guy that can style themselves if you trim your fucking finger and toenails and, you know, use like a nail buff or whatever. Girls are super fucking detail oriented. Obviously, I metrosexual. apologize that we're, a we're I apologize. Open. I apologize that we're aiming this purely at heterosexual men because I'm sure there's uh, plenty of the gays in our audience that uh, would prefer I feel an like angle aimed at attracting men. reflective link. upon mostly everybody, you know? I'm, sure. I'm happy to give good advice to the vast majority of humanity. Yeah. Because you're a giver, Rex. Plus, if you're gay, yeah. then you have lower standards anyway. Fucking at me. That's true. So, that's true. You, go. you are bi, uh, aren't you, Rex? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's yeah, valuable. Yeah, it's way easier there. to get a guy to fuck you than it is a woman. Yeah, I was going to say, women are very, very detail-oriented. So if you want success with, with girls, if they're sentimental uh, to any degree, then they'll appreciate those fine little things, like remembering a date. You know, like, oh, the, the year ago today, we did this thing, or, like, whatever. My girlfriend fucking loses her shit if I remember small things like that. They're, yes. They adore tiny details. Lame. Yeah, it's pretty like gay. Penis. Does she hey. Hey. Like, oh. Oh. Time, don't be thirsty for every yes. vagina hat that you see. Yes. <clears throat> Women smell desperation. Yeah, they don't fucking know some when. desperate the the kind of women who are into desperate men are not the kind of people you want to be around. I mean, <laughs> yes. if people are into desperate people, regardless of gender, if someone's into a desperate person, they're seeking out desperate people. Avoid them like the plague. You want someone with a standard and a standard that you can get up to that hopefully isn't low. Yeah. So um, yeah, take that. Bit. Take 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 a lot of things that women do, or you know, people. As like a warning, people are always constantly like broadcasting on some small level problems that they have, you know, like tiny cries for help or whatever. I remember I um I dated this girl, but before we dated, she was thirsting after my friend, and she was really upset that he didn't want to date her because she was white and not Asian. He was like a fucking obnoxious weeaboo, and he but he was like he was like su he was like fucking six five and super skinny and dressed like a fucking. Um, Panic at the Disco singer or some shit. Like, so he just, you know, girls were just like, ah, oh, he's a genie. And, like, she was, like, thirsting after him. And I was just there as, as, as his friend giving her advice. And then eventually she said, whatever, you're good enough. And she started dating me. And it was fun for a while. However, I would then notice the trend of every time uh, she was, like, like, towards the end of our relationship, when she started to get bored with our relationship, she would just latch onto the nearest guy and be like, all right, I remember my friend made a good metaphor. It might be considered misogynistic, but I think he said, women are like women are like monkeys. They don't let go of one branch until they're securely grasped on the next one. And I, I think that's... The branch uh, being a penis in this. <laughs> sure. Just making sure... It's, you, could it's definitely, you could say that about men, too, of course, but... Someone said penis? All I know is women. <clears throat> Metal's fucking perked up, started licking his lips. He's salivating. <laughs> Yes. Of the talk. <laughs> I, think men are, I think men are less dependent on uh, yes. relationship than women yeah. are in general. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, general. yeah. Um, it's expensive to date, so if you don't have any money, just like consider it. Certainly can be. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're if you're with someone, if you're pursuing someone that's very like, low maintenance, then that's that's good. Like just the willingness nice. that you have to like, for instance, when you take that bitch to the zoo, it's not expensive to take her to the zoo. But you pay for it, and that even though it's not a lot of money, it's something that they's like, oh, he paid for it. You know, it's the the yeah. little things might not be worth a lot of money, uh, you know, those little things, but they do get noticed. You don't have to buy her some super duper expensive if you've been doing all the little things along the way. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, time is you know that can be spent as well. Yeah. Focus the on the way, pennies, so. not the dollars. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah, I'm trying to think yeah. if there's anything else. Anything else you want to add? Because this is a fucking deep, very interesting subject to me. Because I've always, Wasn't I've always really enjoyed Chats. discussing. How amazing is that? <laughs> wow. This person's getting their fucking money's worth. Yeah, they're probably confused yeah. as to how this happened, but that's what happens, you know. Contact. I mean, you know, it's just, I, I, I like whacking, wha waxing philosophical about this sort like of shit because I think, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. me too. Yeah, I think it's great. But uh, I, I think that probably one of the most important things I can say is. Love yourself, learn how to love yourself, learn how to be okay with yourself, be confident, appreciate yourself, and stop being so fucking hard on yourself. Like, the fact that you're living in not a fucking third world country and you have internet access, you automatically have access to every single tool that can help you be a more interesting, more compassionate, more well-groomed individual. Um, but also, when it comes to dating, you have access to every single tool. 
Yeah, exactly. There's, there's plenty of things. Like, even, even if you're like, delusional and no one in their right mind should ever date you, even if you walk around with the confidence of being like, yeah, I'm a cool person and I think I'm interesting and I think I'm cool, within reason, for a lot of people that'll be like, oh, maybe maybe there's something here that I'm not... Like, for example, there was, there was always a fun strategy I had uh, in college where there were, I, I kept managing to get with profoundly attractive women that in on paper should never have happened because I'm thoroughly like a 6 out of 10 looking guy. But they would, you know, they're in a college town, guys come up with absolutely no tech, like, hey, I'm gonna buy you a drink and blah blah blah. And then they see someone like me who's not like, you know, they wouldn't jump at the chance to date me because I'm just like, you know, whatever. But I come up and I'm, I establish like, oh hey, oh yeah, you come around here often, oh yeah, I'm here because my friend, like, whatever. And then just for the rest of the night, just don't like give them any attention, don't talk to them. And then eventually, because they were very like attention hungry, they would approach me and be like, why is this guy not like swarming me like everyone else in the bar? And that kind of made me stand out. And then eventually we would date. And uh, not saying that's like a universally like, oh, here's something everyone can try. But it's just something I noticed. If a girl, if a girl's attractive, as my misogynistic friend put it, he's never met a, an attractive girl that wasn't aware of it to some degree. And so th with that, there comes a certain level of yeah, entitlement. Yeah, hot chicks know they're hot. Oh, yeah, They might absolutely. play coy, but a hot chick knows that when they're hot. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine to be confident. It's fine to know your, your value and your worth. But that being said, a lot of women um, maybe unintentionally let that go to their head. Because how can you not when you have like fucking 30 dudes every night? Like, oh my god, you're the most beautiful fucking creature I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you go about it from a different angle and strike her as, or them, as someone that's, uh, you know, Don't strike different women. from the crowd... <laughs> then, then they might they might just be intrigued long enough to be like, oh hey, I kind of want to know more about you. What do you what do you do, etc. So, that's about all I have to say about that. I think we thoroughly so if you can, shit. It's not really subject. something. It's not really a tip because it's not something you just like tell people to do really. But you you're gonna have a huge advantage if you could make them laugh or yes, if you can have a you. sense of humor that works with them that works an immense amount because just like with friends and everyone else that you're in relationships with that isn't anything romantic or intimate if they yeah. just want to be around you because they enjoy the things you say and yeah you're, you're just fun. a fun person to be around it's a, it's a yeah. huge advantage i noticed sarcasm and dry humor tends to work best for like pretty much everyone yeah, i sure find that I find that, like, people, you know, if I'm, like, sort of sarcastic, like, in a playful way, not, like, in a fucking mean-spirited, bitter way, you're kind of, you know, te which goes back to the teasing thing I talked about. I feel like uh, most people will understand, especially if you smile a little teased. bit. Eh, I mean, gotta have a little foreplay. Come on, it's fucking boring, otherwise. Jump right in. It's reading fun the map. room, isn't it? Like, in general. Yeah, yeah. You do, you that, you're, not, you're not gonna be able to read. Yeah, like, don't fuck working. in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, you're not gonna... I'm, like I said, don't strike women. That's a really big one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good idea in general. general. Make like, sure you nail spiking. that one. I'd say you're, you're, you're oh, not, hey, not going to be able to. Some women deserve it. Don't do it. <laughs> well, one, one, one uh, little little anecdote that I always enjoyed. You know that guy Richard Laruina? I think his name is. He made those really cringy fucking like dating simulator games. Super seducer. Um, he actually is a very good pickup artist. Uh, when he's not making like you know intentionally like silly games. Because he actually, he made a lot of really good points about like, you know, if you're, if you're uh, dating casually or whatever, then you should be frank with the person that you're meeting and say, hey, I'm seeing other people right now, but if you and I were to get serious, then I, I, I'll cut things off with them and just be with you. Just like, he, he talks a lot about just basic decency and respect to women. So I think that, that's why I was kind of annoyed when Super Seducer came out and everyone's like, this is a fucking misogynistic game. It's like the whole thing is very clearly taking the piss. But um, he made a, he made a really interesting little point that I always held on to and I tried it and it kind of worked is um if if you're like friends with a girl and you think that there's like maybe a little bit of chemistry there and like she knows that you're prone to making jokes and stuff introduce you to your friends and say oh yeah hi this is my fiance and kind of look at her and smile and just, just kind of shove you like what? no stop and then but then that also kind of plants the thought in her mind of like huh i wonder like <laughs> what would that be like so i mean that's obviously that's subjective I, I don't know. It, it's comes super anecdotal really, I, I don't know if i i don't know if i endorse that one it's a risky well, move. You'd have that to one. see like risky move. Yeah, that's, to, uh, well, uh, 
be confident, might make them Rex. feel you have like to I, early, in yourself. I, don't, I don't know. It, there's, there's a place for confidence, but that's a... Well, again, cool. so going back to what Metal was saying, it, it's about reading the room. Yes, it's absolutely about reading the room. This is not shit that you can just read and be like, oh, yeah, fucking, I'm totally not to pick up chicks now. If you feel like you can get away with a joke like that and the chemistry is good and you've already established a decent rapport with this individual and you feel like they would appreciate that joke instead of being like an uptight asshole, then, you know, it's worth a try. And then, uh, you know, there's plenty of shit you can experiment with in terms of sense of humor. And if a joke doesn't land, joke doesn't land. What are you going to do? Kill yourself? Like, it's fucking get over it. It's fine. So it's like, there's, there's, you know, there's no, there's no shame in making a mistake, but being courageous enough to actually give it a try instead of being like, mm, I think that would be rather cringe. I don't want to do that. What would she think of me? Like, so if you're just being yourself and you're just having fun and doing things for yourself, a lot of the times people will acknowledge that and be like, oh, he just doesn't really give a fuck what anyone else thinks. That's kind of, it's kind of bold. I like that. I might also say it's really selfish and it's inobservant and... Wow. A complete reverse I mean, if we're, if, if we're brushing, if we're painting with broad uh, strokes, then sure, you can paint anything like that. So is that it for the dating advice I'm, segment? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, as a... Uh, you know, someone who's like read about relationships and shit online versus someone who's like oh, shit, man. been, been in like fucking like, literally, literally, you know, someone who's literally been in like 20 relationships and a lot of them have gone really well. I, uh, yeah, I, I definitely have a lot of experience on this sort of thing. I'm not saying you know, that the I'm fuck the fucking, I'm not saying I, my word is the end fucking result and you should only listen to mine. I'm just saying I'm not a fucking, I'm not an idiot. Well, what I'm Everything saying I say comes from context and experience. No, yeah, no, he's, you're right. Take that bitch to the zoo. That's absolutely right. If someone ends up taking someone to a zoo and it doesn't go well, Rex, they're gonna hunt you down. I have no idea how they fuck. Well, that just one fucking up. just break them up. If yeah, if, if that'd be you funny as hell if they you come to you. Do you really want that sort of person like, in your life? It wasn't the zoo. It was you. <laughs> it wasn't the zoo. It was you. I love, I love the zoo part, but you just wouldn't like. Yeah, I wish you'd leave me alone. I wish you just bought me yeah. a ticket to the zoo and mailed it to me. Yeah. Can yeah. you just not be with me at the zoo? I kind of hate that part. Yeah, I want to bring my friends. <laughs> Like someone who's just really I'll bad. My friend needs a ticket to the, the zoo. If the relationship doesn't work out or whatever, maybe it is your fucking fault. And maybe you deserve it and you should change yourself. Damn, yeah. See, look at that. Yeah, Not sure. unwilling to give really harsh pieces Self of advice. Self-reflection is always really good. Like a mirror? Mm -hmm. You do not yeah. deserve love. You have to fucking earn that shit and be good to people. Like a mirror. You're not entitled. There's, especially if you're in China. Holy shit, good luck. I mean, Chinese don't know what love is. I mean, you know, there's like... What, like fucking one girl for every like 10 men? <laughs> fucking good luck, dude. That's what we call a successful culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did it. <sighs> so, uh, the end of that super chat was, Rags, you have a play synthetic, it's got guns. I've heard of it, but I have not played it. There you go. Which game? Synthetic. Yeah, I never heard of it. The Thetic of like Sins. Point and click. Sounds like some point and click game from 1987. Uh, some kind of gay game for gays, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gay. Yeah. Gay Hate game it. for gays. Hate it. How's your Halloween evening doing? I just watched Ghostbusters while eating a burger. Excellent. The Halloween evening was um, something else. We luckily had a lot of company with little, little hope. So where Come someone on. might claim there was little hope of the stream being entertaining, we managed to make it through, you know? Despite the game's desires to ruin the evening, it was shit. That might actually be the worst game I've ever played. Yeah, it's up there. It's fucking bad. It's really bad. You just kind of fell into the lava there. I don't think that's the best. I was strategy checking you the had. area because I can tank the damage. Okay, have you ever heard of something like that, Mel? Have you ever played video games? I don't know. It just seems like a little retarded. I don't know. Just, just saying. I think sometimes you need a little bit of retarded in your life. Really, just explore all of the avenues. You know what? I agree. <laughs> Anthony, reality is tisming. Anthony, it's all tism. I think the main character's name was Anthony. Anthony. Uh, who built this house? Who mops their floor with kerosene? <laughs> yeah, that's true. It just everything sets on fire immediately. No matter yeah, what choice bizarre. you make. Oh, right. In the in the in the, in the intro segment mm -hmm. thing, yeah. <laughs> Like most kitchen floors, if you drop something burning on it, nothing happens because it's like linoleum or tile or something yeah. that is okay to get wet and is very fire retardant. Really hard to burn. He told you retarded is good to have in your life. 
At least in some ways. Like the floor. Uh, happy Halloween, Mola. Any special plans for your favorite holiday? Also high rags. You would have seen all of the things that we planned by now. Actually, that was on like Halloween wow, nights. We'd already done most back. of them. Yeah, all right. This is a flash blork. Better late than never. Mm-hmm. Did the bathroom not have a window? No, it didn't. The mum just died in the bathroom, so there's no window. Not all bathrooms, bathrooms have to have a window, but I think that they should. That's my hot take I, for the day. Yeah, this... A, 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 a bathroom bath no, was... Uh, uh, not... Oh, go ahead. What is oppressive? Oppressed minorities? Uh, a bathroom without a window? That just seems oppressive to me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with it's that. It's illegal in, li in Little Hope to have windows in your bathroom. That's why. Yeah, yeah, That's how it's justified in universe, yeah. I don't know how I feel. Actually, I don't know how I feel about my last statement. Hmm. What, the, the legal thing? <laughs> no, the oppressive thing. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Scratch that one. I'm going to think about that further. All right. Let I us mean, know you're, when, you're, uh, when it's developed, you know? I mean, you're yeah. pressing on the, uh, in the bathroom a bunch. No one? No? No one? Okay. I'm sorry, Mel. Please pack up your bags. You've been evicted. <laughs> God damn it, I just... Oh, I just... Oh, fuck. I know, he just got here, but yeah, that's what happens. Oh, I just got here. Uh, just jump, broken legs versus death. They didn't even need a jump. Yeah, it's, it's weird how... Like, some people are too stupid to live, right? Yeah. And that girl <laughs> was one of those people. You're outside on a balcony in a burning building on the second floor, and your strategy is to, instead of just jumping down 10 feet Go and landing in. on the grass and lawn, your strategy, or crawling down the side or whatever. Like, if you hang off the side and then and then let yeah, go, yeah. like, that takes, like, five feet away from the drop. This bitch went back inside. Oh man, because like, so you had a choice fire, to like, jump what? or go back inside, and all of us were like, "Why would you go back inside? That's like the worst option." And then she does that yeah. if you don't choose anything. Which, like, which one? Why? Did, which one did we do on on stream? Did we do we to go back we inside? We, yeah, we were I still struggling we, with controls, so I we didn't choose anything. Yeah, the controls are garbage, no. and worthless. So right. we couldn't even because when we get when back. we tried it offline, we didn't do anything. I think, and then she tried to climb down, and she hung herself in a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, that's the other option, right? Yeah. <laughs> he kills herself. Yeah, the stuff that you can do in the intro. The intro segment is absolutely worthless. Like, whatever you do, everyone just fucking dies in the end. And don't make me play it! Don't waste my time with this illusion. I know, no, but I it's know. fun because you watch people it was, die. Oh, it was so funny. We either did nothing or we said, like, yeah, obviously just climb down. Like, duh. And then she started climbing down and slipped and broke her neck on the scarf. Like, if you jump, as long as you don't land on your head, <laughs> you'll live. I know. It's, Which, it's if insane. you remember, a bit of a throwback. Kate Beckinsale in Van Helsing, she was landing head first when she cut herself free from the, uh, the vampire. <laughs> right. But the other vampire saved her. Second, yeah, a last second feline style flip to land on your feet. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, if you can pull it off. Uh, so much EFAB the past few days, it's just like Christmas. Christmas. That, that's kind of an amazing comment, right? Because that's what we're doing right now. For Christmas. Yeah. There's still a bunch of content, so... Comments that stay fresh, even a month and a half later. Incredible. Stay fresh. We put them in the fridge, put them mm -hmm. in a little, little, little box, to keep them fresh, and then we open them up, it's like, yeah. It's so fresh. Uh, happy it's all Hallowsmas Eve, you massive mofos. Everyone else at the bar says hi, Rags. Oh, hello. It's a nice bar. Yeah. It's a good bar. Yeah. Best I, bar. Uh, give that bar a high five. Hi, Flora. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah. then, Mel, how you doing? I'm a little sleepy, but I'm, I still have drinks, so I'm good. <laughs> You, uh, you're doing Stellaris tomorrow, right? I do, but it's like in the evening, so it's all Gucci. I'm gonna, gonna have a good long Sleppenheimers when I, when I eventually go to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I have good some, some foods. <clears throat> press A to move, press X to doubt, press F to pay respect. Wasn't it mm. just holding forward in that game? I don't think A did it, right? <laughs> it's important that we make these distinctions. People need to know what kind of gameplay we're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. Why are the facial animations so uncanny? Hasn't it been like six years until until dawn? Yeah, I, 
they just keep getting worse, I guess? Less and less money? I wonder how many people refunded this one. I can't believe how short the, those ones are. It's insane. Yeah. Like, Until Dawn took you and L, like, I don't know, what was it, 12 hours? Yeah, it's a much longer 10 game. Hours? And it's a much, like, it feels weird to say, but it's, like, it's way better. Until Dawn is... Yeah. At least in Until Dawn, you, characters can die in all kinds of ways, and decisions mean more. I hate to say that, it hurts, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. Decisions mean more. Like, wait, when you go for a game and at the end, it's like, oh, it's just hallucinations or it was just a dream it's like oh cool so nothing fucking matters except in the psyche of my character that i that is apparently the main character at the end it's like, oh, okay cool um happy best holiday super friends i would like to propose a challenge who can pronounce mm. the uh the, the town in wales uh the best so unfortunately the long one. yeah it's gonna be hard for you guys because you don't even know how to pronounce i don't pronounce even know how to yeah, I don't even know how to start like, this one. To start, most might assume it's Lan, when it's Llan, which sounds Llan. pretty weird. Llan. Llanferpul. That's, that's how you... Go, 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 right? Go, go, go. Llanferpul. Yeah. yeah. Go, go. Gwingil, go, Um That's not even the whole of it. Yeah, that's not the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> I was about to say, that seems kind of short. Pookie dookie. Because I know yeah, it ends I've, with I've go, no idea. Go. Dingle dangle dangle dangle. It is cool that yeah, it ends with go go go. That's, that's what, you know, uh, there should be some kind of fighter in Mortal Kombat or Smash Brothers called go go go. <laughs> and here comes go go go. Or you could spell it go go go, but it's a reference to the uh, impressionist painter. <clears throat> and it's just go go go. What about go go gadget? Go go gadget feet. Because I'm getting up from my bed, and I need to walk. Go, go, get your feet. The movie. Um, <laughs> what is up with now? With writing these characters as unlikable as possible. I get the story needs conflict, but these characters make beg for their deaths. Yeah, it was hard to really take any of them seriously as people. But then but again, it's all in his head. The other one, too. It's all in his head, so it makes sense that they're all horrible, unlikable pieces of shit, right? Because he's a horrible, unlikable piece of shit. There you go. Solved. Um, Man of my Dan was also the same way, though. All of them sucked. Do you see me and Mel playing that? We tried so hard to kill everybody we met. It just didn't happen. It wouldn't let us. <laughs> the only I did way every bad kill... decision and only killed one character. We killed yeah, the only way to, two or three? The only way to Not actually enough. kill them is when you have that stupid game where you have to breathe properly or whatever it is, or the heartbeat. Yep. And then someone died at the end because we let her drink some beer after she went for a dive. <laughs> Same thing. Just... That's the only person I was able to kill. Just died at In the fairness, end. I was like, so yay, happy we... we killed her. I was like, yes, we made the right choice. <laughs> We're some safe. might say we didn't, but they'd be wrong. I just remember how baffled we were when the game was over. I was like, wait, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Um, am I the only one disappointed that the maze creature in Rebirth wasn't a big, noodle-headed monster like all the statues seem to foreshadow? What the hell? <sighs> the monster mm, design uh, in Rebirth. Rebirth was really lame. Fucking Rebirth, so bad. Stupid. Stupid all of them. Even the weird alien ones were lame. Sorry. There, I said it. So controversial. Fucking um, fear flashes. Yep. Lockers. His cat fear is named N-word? Pog? <laughs> I don't even know what that's referencing to, but it's funny. Really love, I don't fucking know what... Love, love, Lovecraft's cat is named N-Word Man. N-Word Man? Like one, yeah, one word, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, like, if, if you fun. Google, like, 1978 space movie or whatever, and it comes up with a fucking movie called, like... Uh, you talking about the gay... It's, it's called... Yeah, gay blanks from space or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that was from fucking... space. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's a classic. That was, yeah, that's that, was, a good that was a good one. Yeah, I like that one. We people from gay Little Hope don't call it the fog; we call it the gaff. Backwards, also high rags. Ha! They call it the gaff. Disgusting. But backwards. <laughs> I get it. I didn't want to get it, but I do. Nice. It's you should consider covering a cranky Trex vid. I don't know what that is. I, 
You don't know. Cranky tracks of it, whatever the word was. Is he like a YouTuber who does the YouTubers? Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with that guy, gal, yeah. person. Climb. <laughs> More, I'm considering going to the store for drinks for the stream to them, but I don't know how long y'all are going to stream. Uh, how long are you going for this one? <laughs> well, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He was still streaming, apparently. The so idea I that he's like, the scenic route. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys stopping Slow now? Down. Just so I know. Yeah. Take the top down. Cruise. Have a great drive. Enjoy fine. yourself. We'll be. We'll be here. Please let this be a normal field trip with the frizz. No way. The frizz. I'm on the magic school bus. Miss Frizzle. Oh. Yeah, see, I'm just, I'm, uh, I just don't know that reference. I feel alone. Yeah. She's, uh, she's in the union, so they can't fire her for her rampant cocaine addiction. Um, LSD. Would the union prevent takes. that kind of firing? Probably. Yeah, probably. Days. Wow. What if it was affecting her work, though? Yeah, that doesn't matter. That's the whole point of a union, is to stop you from getting fired when your work sucks. Dude. <laughs> What if you kill a kid? <laughs> the union's like, no. I mean, that, that means there's less average students per teacher, so that's something they want. Maybe, Maybe the grades will go up yeah. if you kill the right one. I need less <laughs> I need uh, less students in this class. Cox gun. I mean, <laughs> old <a> guns <laughs> the cock. We need to do something about all these kids running rampant. Nice children. cock. If only we could erase the children. The that reminds me of one of my favorite. It's just like a fucking stupid tweet I saw a while ago. You guys might have seen it, but it's just like, you know, they're doing the thing where they describe, like, fucking spaceman comes out of the ship that just landed on Earth, and they're just like, ah, oh, how is the moon? And he just takes off his helmet. He's like, moon's haunted. And the guy goes, what? And then he just he just cocks his gun. He goes, moon's haunted. Just gets yeah, back on the ship. Yeah. I like it. Well, I hadn't heard it before. I want to share something that made me laugh, yeah, and you're just really? like, mm, nope. not, 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 not new enough. Not, not current enough. I disapprove. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's shame. Insane. shame. You I'm should feel shame. Surprised Pollard hasn't seen that one. I haven't. Huh. That was, that was so, new. There you go. I like the idea of Shut a haunted moon. Yeah, haunted moon's fucking great. Well, speaking of haunted moon, the second season uh, and the second episode of Mando, those spiders reminded me of Apollo 13. You mean? Mm. You mean Apollo 18? Is that which? One? Oh, Apollo. Is that the creepy one? Apollo eighteen. Thirteen is the um the Tom Hanks one. Tom Hanks one, right? Okay, Apollo yeah, eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Sorry, I can't. I mean, eighteen, thirteen, same thing, right? Oh God, not in every context. Oh my God! Final joke. I can't say that. Oh no. That's, that's very you can't bad joke taste. About that <laughs> that offends my sensibilities. Speaking of dating advice. Oh no. You're talking about no, that's not. 13 and 1800s. You were saying that advice kind of spreads across all time yeah, because you people. Time you're going to go back to one of them. Okay. You probably want to go to the 1800 one so you don't have to live in the 1300s. What the fuck? That's just. It's all super chat. Sean Goddery. Sean Goddery? <laughs> so mean. Oh, what did he. Is that is that his next STD that he caught? <laughs> Goddery. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 That's the act of leaving, is gonery. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. It's haunted. You need to practice your gonery, which is, you know, you need to get good at leaving. I like the moon uh, meme. I just like the idea that, like, a gun would do anything to a haunted moon with ghosts found therein. Like, that's, that's the first leap of logic that's just like, all right. I like hey, that, if though. I was in a room with a, a spooky monster ghost, I would rather be there with a gun than without one. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I just think well, it's funny. Gun, like, though, like, like, you're you're you're, you're so scenario, you're so panicked like, at the fact that you discovered a haunted moon that you're like, I don't know what to expect, but I will bring this gun. You went back to <laughs> Earth to grab a gun. Yeah, it's just like, well, this is fucking the only thing I understand. This thing tends to solve my problems. As we mentioned earlier, problem children in the classroom. Gun. Yeah. <laughs> hand, hand in hand. A known association at this point. Mm -hmm. Help, I think and this hand. game is making my game smooth. Alright. What? <laughs> this game <laughs> is making my game smooth. That's what it says. I, what? I'm just the messenger. Yeah. Please do not shoot. Well, that's your, val that's your lived experience, so I mm -hmm. respect it. So who are we to deny it? 
I'm having yeah. until dawn PTSD exactly. watching this, waiting for QTEs to pop up. Yeah, we got some of them. It was wonderful. Was that in your uh, Amnesia Rebirth playthrough? Oh no, this was about Little Hope, because Little Hope's really bad. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. It's like, it, it, I think they've had a few lawsuits now because they caused some damage. Like, Really? Yeah, you know, pe people shouldn't have to go through that. Kind of get video game. Big yaw. It's like it's like DRS. Oh, you, oh, you mean like like crunch or whatever? Or... Huh? What are you talking about? Like crunch culture? Oh like no! They like just it should be illegal, and clearly they're getting there. The media that's so bad it shouldn't have to be consumed, and so you owe someone oh, something when they do it. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's important that we figure it, okay. that out. Yes. Did you uh, see that I'm movie? On Actually, I was being box. sarcastic, not facetious. Okay. Was... Yeah. No, you got me there. Sack Rags, we did it. Ding, ding, ding. Rags? <laughs> Great. I, lo I lose you and. No, it's not that. It's this other thing that's been going on. It's got nothing to do with you. Just that word. That word has entered the Dang. common vernacular for some reason. I don't know how it did it. But it's Which entered word? it, and the people are using it. Why the fuck's my phone? Shut up! Nice ringtone, nerd. What, what word are we talking about? That is not a ringtone. That is a message notification bot. Text, text tone. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play yeah. it more if you don't. doesn't know what a text notification sound is. He wouldn't. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> I love how every time I come on any fucking stream with rags, it's just any chance he can take like the slightest, tiniest little oh, pot shot. No, he's just like, mm, Chase is dumb. No, he, he's chance. only taken a couple. You know, Pretty I, fucking I am, close. I am a merciful god. Are you? <laughs> can be. Does this does this look like the face of mercy to you? I don't know. You've never shown your face. Coward. The, with the with a red nose. Literal dog. Huh? I am a literal dog. Wait, what Mel's on? At least I have a face. Yeah, no, I do. Have I don't know. Fucking gorgeous. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> yes. So, um... <laughs> Indeed. Yes, people were suing it for being too bad. That's, um... And I'm, oh, I hope man. they win. And I hope Supermassive Games stops tarnishing the name of Massive, because... Something that I, I take a lot of pride in uh, with the community, and we shouldn't have these people fucking it up. That's my, that's my that's my perspective. I know it's controversial, but I'm owning it, mm -hmm. and I'm glad every one of good. you agrees. I do yeah, agree. I, I've agreed. You ha you have my sword and my axe. What do I have from you, Mel? Yes. What? Dagger. All right. <laughs> and my really <laughs> strong. <laughs> My trident. My tr oh, that's a you have a trident. Keep listing every so awesome. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a try hard. Stop hey. try harding. Mm -hmm. Did I just walk into a boss fight that I can't win? That's embarrassing. I thought you said bar fight. Oh, he takes damage from my normal <laughs> just gun. A, Lame. Just imagine Mahler fucking streaming, walking into a bar like so. Chat. What do we think of the Mandalorian today? <laughs> Why would I want to boss a page? They probably all like it because Boba Fett's in it. You become, you become a fucking IRL streamer. <laughs> what do you think of Mandalorian? It's like, oh, I really enjoy it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you, what do you think of Mandalorian? Like, oh, I, I kind of like it. You fucking always. Suck. Can you please not film me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's a video. What? Head. Oh, just making a movie. Just, no, it's, no, it's just there's cameras everywhere, all around us. Why is it no okay that I do it? Why is it really okay that I do it? I like how half of the people that saw that video were like, This is fucking cringe. Turn it off. I hate this. And then the other half were just like, This is amazing. <laughs> it's a pretty divisive experience. Humanity. My girlfriend fucking hated that. Yep. We're a weird bunch. Uh, uh, Ew, metal. You got it all over the keyboard. What? Oh, shit. Oh, that's my keyboard. Oh, I'll do it again. Uh, this just says brain. Damn. Ah, so he was making up for his mistake where he said, I helped think this game is making my brain smooth. He said game twice. There you go, guys. Mystery solved. Mm -hmm. You are all hanging on we every whit of that. I know it. We did it. We solved Interestingly, bad it has proven his point. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's very good. I think we should You're reward good. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what she thinks? Uh, I'm having... Oh, wait. Just popped in. Is this game any good? Been played on EFAP, oh. so I'm assuming not, since Mole never lets us have nice things. More Among Us when? <laughs> a 
Among Us is the nice Robin. thing now? Wow. I haven't played that I, in a while. I, Among a Us is totally on the decline in terms of viewership because I think everyone got sick of people like talking about Among Us non fucking stop for two entire months. However, I think uh, it's still pretty fun with friends. Well, if we ever mm -hmm. wanted to do a big group I think Among I Us guess. game, I'd be down. I think they're like, oh, this is just about if people believe me. Oh, well. Yeah, it's hmm. almost like social deduction games are fascinating for no, players but and viewers no alike. Face there. It's all that. just saying, look, oh yeah, just just believe me. The other person yeah, it's like, almost no, it's me. almost it's almost like, like well, social just... deduction is literally the entire yeah. point of the game. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. It's mechanic it's mechanically really. You like a, you like a game where you boring. fucking throw axes at, at people and play the loot. Fuck you. That's I boring. Play to play. Oh, I get it. Like, you, like is in loot? Like lose and play to lose. Loot. No, I, I play the game. If the core gameplay loop isn't good, then it doesn't matter. No, I, I thought the loop. I thought it was another one of your infamous like puns that I had to like think really hard about. No, I, you I said, like, to play. no, I don't play to lose. I play to play. I play to win. Do you do you have to think credit. about his puns really hard? <laughs> was wow, the pun Adam. that you were instead of L O O T? I'm an L U T E. Hey, Moriarty, you're I a fucking ginger man. You don't have rights. Shut up. I'm a ginger. <laughs> okay. You're a gingerbread man. I could snap you. Damn, why would you say uh, I want to hear it. Wow. You know, I'm not sure I appreciate this threat against my life. Well, that's stop being such a little bitch. Do you want to apologize, Chase? Yeah, no. Are you going to apologize? No, not really. <laughs> my god. I want to vore Moriarty, though, so. Oh, uh, just, really? You feel kind of bad about that. J just for me asking you to clarify your position, you want to murder me? Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, he wants to vore wow. you. I think it's important that we mention oh. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's not funny, Chase. What the fuck? It's not. It's not funny, man. Yeah, Chase. Yeah. Eating people, really? Come on now. Yeah, I got a laugh out of it. You got a laugh out of your own pain. Okay. What you're doing your is, is it's oppressive <laughs> to me. <laughs> my corpse or Moriarty's corpse? Now you want well, to pee on my corpse? Well, what is wrong with you? Wait, is this it's because Mel said we're going to pee him. on your corpse, and I asked for a clarification of the recipient of said urine. Is this before or after you eat me? That's my question, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I was asking. That's the, literally no. what we're trying to get to that. No, no, so, that's what we asked. So everybody's asking oh. whether or not you wish to pee on the meat before consuming it. Chase, no, what brought you to this point? That, that was what Metal said. I was asking No, this is what you said. <laughs> no, it's not. I would not pee on anyone. I'm not interested in that. No, you'd pee on your food. We've established that. It's kind of an established. Yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't. I would not do oh. that. That's because disgusting. any particular would. dish, I would, I would pee on before consuming. Chase rice, on rice would absorb it. If like, if you're into it, rice would definitely absorb it nicely. So you prefer to pee on your rice first? Shut the fuck up, Moriarty! I don't care about your obsession with pee. That wasn't a no. I was that gonna was say no. He could have said no, and right. he didn't. All I'm right. deflecting. <laughs> So we know more about Chase now. <laughs> I would sooner come on my food than piss on my food. Shut up. I think most I would. You anymore? Hey, is, isn't is that the preferred option choice. every time? I don't know why you would bring. One has protein. The other isn't even fucking purified. Gross. The it's anti bacterial. The anti teen. Ha e? How many times have you have you tried both? Like five, ten times each. Mm. Be honest. No Come comment. On, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Next question. We <laughs> wanted an answer, so I guess we got it. Would you prefer that women had a third breast in between their two, or that they had a second set beneath their normal one? Second set oh. sounds great. I don't know. Yeah, this third. is so symmetrical. I don't like Total Recall Girl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's say you really like tits. Four is better than three. Yeah, but they'd be under. So they'd be yeah, surely but then you'd also have just... fucking a three-titted woman. Simple, yeah, but, is it? yeah, but seventeen tits wouldn't be better than three. Yeah. Like, no. You, you I mean, no. I'm saying if you're really into like tits, if you fucking adore tits, and you just like want to lie on like if it's literally like, just if you want to lie on a bed better, of breasts. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know, I don't know about this whole well, more if, equals better. If, yes, that's the contingency I'm setting. Yes, if. if the I'm not saying all. I'm not talking about, sure, yeah, you pick that for that weird reason. That's who I was talking about. 
but but I, but I think that this is pretty reasonable ground that instead of four is or instead of two it's three in this arrangement or four in this arrangement i'm saying if you're going to have more than the standard of two breasts why go three why not go four why not just have it be well, double of, of the thing you already right? like instead of adding an element of asymmetric quality to what is otherwise a, a nice rack what do you mean an <laughs> element of asymmetric quality I mean, I guess, I guess you could have the breast in there, like kind of nestled in, so that if if you were, you know, with her in public, it, it wouldn't really stand out super hard. Whereas obviously with four, that'd be difficult to hide that. I think it would be so more I, pros and cons. You'd still be symmetrical with the set underneath the current set. Yeah, I think both would be symmetrical. Hmm. Yeah, are they all the same middle. exact size? Or are they See, like are the yeah, ones underneath can they be a little smaller? I thought that was the would, important oh, part I, of the question was size and shape, not I, amount. You know? I would, well, they they would be um, like a, a way to describe it. They wouldn't be. It's like they were designed that way. If that makes any sense, it wouldn't like they just a third one gets smooshed in between two normal ones, but there were three horizontal on the chest of an mm. appropriate size, uh, right. or there are <laughs> a, a second set beneath the the normal top ones you've convinced me i am uh, i am okay with either like choice a, kind of feels like like a cow in that case when it's four if it's more than two it's gonna feel like a cow regardless because then you're no, just, just a ple I plethora think, of I titties I, I wouldn't sense. think i would think more of an alien with three and not a cow right four feels like a cow i mean what's wrong three with fucking aliens like i'd fuck an alien what's wrong with you guys nope Nobody said anything <laughs> no. is wrong with aliens. You're very you're defensive one. about no. fucking aliens. Yes. You're, impl you're implying it. I would fucking no, alien. No, there was no the implication fact that, The whatsoever. fact that you are all insinuating that there's something maybe inherently weird about it, I take offense. I don't like that. I where think it is all weird said is because we haven't discovered aliens. Why, where are you taking yeah, this Yeah, but like, let's, let's say... Let's say it's like the Star Trek kind of alien where it's just a perfectly normal fucking woman, maybe with three, maybe with four tits, but she's blue. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I'd be fine with that too. Okay, but four still feels like a cow, whereas three does not. You feel like a fucking cow, Moriarty! I don't think he feels like a cow. I'm gonna push back on that. <laughs> I, I don't I don't agree with that. That's that wasn't fair. I, I think I would go with the <laughs> second set under the first. Huh. I mean I yeah. guess it makes sense. It? Especially if they're like a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. The kind of that would help. I think that would help. Yeah, you hmm. take her out in public and kind of just, especially if like the the initial set of breasts are way. very large. Like, I'm not gonna lock her inside. <laughs> I mean, she's a freak. You know, she's I, into I, that. I, I, some people like the dog collar thing. I don't know. Well, if we if we were to say what if what if just humans evolved in either of these two ways, which ones you would prefer? And this would be how all women kind of are. Then again, it probably wouldn't matter because then we would evolve to upon those things attract. This would so like set the precedent for posterity. You're saying. If you were to say, uh, from this point going forwards, <sighs> all women would be born this way, which one of yeah. them would it be? And I, I would go with the four. Yeah, no, me too. That's me, though. But we're not getting any uh, input from metal here. Mm. Yeah, metal, come on. Pick a side, was, you fucking centrist. That's his, I, can, I can tell that's your thinking face, your icon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was peeing. What are we doing? Really That's his peeing face. Right? Peeing thought. Back 30 seconds ago. Well, okay, three or four metal. metal. Three or four. Well, my question three or four. is, my yeah, question three or four. is, if if you could had one, you have to choose one or the other. Uh -huh. um, would you rather have that a woman has three breasts arranged horizontally on her chest, or uh -huh. would you rather have a woman has four breasts having a second pair beneath the normal one? Damn. I know, it's kind of... Actually, no, I'm, I'm pretty strongly in my camp, but... I can see We're how it might right now. I'd be okay with either, honestly. I, I do like four more, but... Okay, Flip Flopper. We're... Just, 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 just think about it. I said I'd like think... four from the beginning, and then I said you guys convinced me, but I still would prefer four. How is that a Flip Flopper? I'm open-minded. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You are right. a cookie! You are a literal cookie! No one asked you! Except did we did ask you about the like, three cookie? versus four. Yeah, we are currently split. We need you to decide, Metal, and then the other two will be Well, shot. I was trying, but then people were yelling. Because <laughs> Moriarty was fucking shit. casting well, aspersions on me. For a no, cookie. fuck you, Chase. Fuck, you. Fuck, fuck, off, fuck, off, fuck off, Metal! Yeah. I'm done with all of you! <gasps> it's funny <gasps> when I scream. He likes it that way. <laughs> <laughs>
Go I don't know, just think, thinking about Shorty, I think like four breasts are more appealing hey. overall. That's right. That's my boy. That's what that's what I would choose myself. Uh, but... Das Bullshit is in the chat, and he says he is in the four tit camp. Interesting. Oh. Hey, look at that. There you go. Good question. I'm what right. if Trailblazer? Good, good super chat, Rags. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. Yeah. I, I know we're trying to get through super chats, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, throw, throw it in. It was Rest. a good addition. <laughs> That's good. That's I good. think honestly, so someone is listening to this on Christmas Day, and they're like, I needed that. I needed it. It's like, what if all your skillets were copper or brass? Which one would you pick? And it's like, I don't fucking know. Hey, <laughs> who expects dating advice and rest? Like three, four breasts. Yeah, from, from the base. incel podcast, right? That's what we the are. The incel podcast, yeah. Speak for yourself. It was very offensive to me, by the way. I was. I have offended. a very healthy sexual life. Healthy? Shut up, no. incel. Yes, I am incel, not. Say. Incel. I hate women. Well, women yeah, make no sense. Get out. <laughs> hmm. So, um. Then we got the the game making brain smooth. Rags, can you please Thanks say you. the name of HP Lovecraft's crat caft? <laughs> HP Lovecraft's cat out loud in an angry manner. Oh. Hold on, why do you say H? Why do you say H? <clears throat> it's H. No, it's not it's H. Just cause it just cause you say huh when you say the letter H doesn't mean the letter itself is called. Just cause you cut it off doesn't H. make it true. <laughs> what do you say, is Dorian? <laughs> Is Dorian? Yeah, get fucked. I hate you. Oh, historian. <laughs> Got it. No, I'm, and I'm literally saying uh, you say "huh" when you say words with the letter H, but when you say the letter H, you don't say "h." You say "h." Yeah, I don't do either of those things. So. Yeah. <sighs> I don't feel that strongly about it. I know it's because it's not. You made it up. It would be like me being like, "Doesn't you, sound like it." You always lick your lips before you talk about food. It's fucking weird. I, I think if if given if given the option to if given the option to calmly disagree with you guys or fucking act like I really really feel in, intensely passionately invested in any given subject, I'm gonna do the second one because it makes more interesting viewing experience. It also That's allows it. you to pretend to have emotions. Yeah, it yeah. Does. there's there's that. Yeah, a benefit. Is that one of your, my... Is that one of your your some of your dating advice? Pretend to have emotions. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't, if you don't have to genuine to have emotions, yeah. so just do that. If you don't, if you don't have genuine empathy for your fellow man, and you actually like secretly like you know brutalize uh, small like puppies and kittens in your home, but you want to blend in with humans and act like you know you're one of them, then yeah, you need to study how people act and uh, oh, so that they don't know that you, you murder and kill. Why, do you why would you say that there? after you say that you prefer to pretend to have emotions? Right? Did you? Are you That's guys really not following strategy. the train? Of, you guys really not following the train of thought that when you're a fucking sociopath, your train of thought is stalled. Doesn't, at the doesn't station, feel doesn't feel any sort of empathy for other people. That one of the biggest one of the biggest qualifiers of the DSM five is that when you're a child, you fucking like hurt animals. You did not? Did that just go over everyone's head? Am no, everyone, everyone knows. knows that everyone knows that, but it's still. Why are you talking about you just thoughts? Kept, like, farts. Thoughts. Why'd you said thoughts? your train of thought. I just don't like. What does this got to do with Twitch? Thought. I'm, I'm Got him. I don't even yeah, know. Have you ever been on a train? He just he just he just I casually know. jumps between all these different subjects, and he's like, "Oh, I'm galaxy brain. You can't even follow." That's uh, very mean. No. no, you guys are just like I'm very clearly. It went from like, you know exactly what I did there. You're just acting no, I, like I'm I being really, insane. I really don't actually. I, I was interested so in hearing the, about the Twitch fact thoughts, that the fact that nothing. people. So you understand how sociopaths have difficulty empathizing with other human beings, correct? So you know, Rex, genuinely I also how like people trains. Feel. Yeah, have you ever been on one? <laughs> I've been on several trains. <laughs> yeah, I've really only good. been on I've been on trains twice, and it was the same train. What do we? Uh, did you um, enjoy it? What's it's two different trips? We 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 surrounded did by a, Yeah, it was the it's the on Silverton the train, train like, between Durango and Silverton, Colorado, and it's an actual coal-powered train. Oh, really? Awesome. I've never been on a coal-powered train. That that it's would awesome. I, I would yeah, be excited on. to do that. Yeah, it was really, what's it was the, really um, cool. What's the panel's perspective on trains, then? If you want to go over that quick. <laughs> I like trains. Fuck trains. I like, I like a, trains. Like a butt train. Or... Trains, like trains are fucking like gay. I think they're yeah. a pretty stellar form of transport. I'm very happy that they were invented and maintained. I wish they were cheaper in the U.S. It's it's not cheaper to take a train anywhere. It's not, yeah, no. It's... Probably because it's just 
it, it's probably like one of those things that feeds itself where they're not yeah. a typical form of transportation. If they were more common, they would probably be cheaper. But mm. when, plus, you're, you're you're paying you're paying for the like the luxury and the novelty of like oh we're just going going to go on a little train ride and you probably don't have to do all the the bullshit like air travel or you know you have to go to the website and get the fucking That's boarding the pass and follow a track. And so you're going mm. where the train is going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, I prefer like, the um, buses. I'm gonna say it. Buses kind of suck compared. <clears throat> I would, no, buses are awful. Buses. buses are cancer. I won't be voting I for buses. buses are like a bus. All my homies hate buses. Because a subway, the subway tram thingy, doesn't have to worry about traffic. It mm -hmm. is really quick. Uh, I think it, 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 certainly in my case, it got to where it needed to go faster. This, I felt the stops were quicker and far more efficient. People could get in and out of it faster, so it didn't have to stop for as long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I, it, but then we had to, part of, this is when I went to DC, part of our journey was from like the hotel with a bus to the tram entrance way. Um, and the bus was the shittiest part. Mm -hmm. Subway yeah, was a smoother suck. ride. Everything was guess, about it was just yeah. better. EFAP is a tad anti-bus. Sorry for all those bus aficionados out there, or enthusiasts. Mm. They're just kind of not great. No. Get a better bus we and maybe some, we'll praise we, them a little bit. We have some nice buses in Germany. Yeah. Well, okay. if they... Where's this bus to, right? No? It's okay. It's, it's okay. it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Fuck you. Why are you fucking implying? Sounds so, sounds so sad about it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, well, I tried to didn't get it. Look, yeah, well, I took it. I took it from Chase, so it yeah. makes sense uh, why it's there. Chase, you learned it from me. Don't, don't learn from <laughs> Chase. That's a bad idea. Wait, wait, was that was that like from Moriarty, the the joke? <clears throat> you said I live in Canada. Do you actually think I live in Canada? Oh, I didn't know. I, I was asking. No, it's because it's because um, Moriarty was. Uh, we, we were talking and uh, we were having some back and forth, like playful banter, where. The, um, playful banter. Uh, yeah, I forget where. <laughs> Wait, what? What is happening? Is the, I'm confused now. Is, 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 is your hang up with my sentence the fact that banter implies playfulness? Is that? Did you need to stop the whole conversation to point that out? Is it necessary? I didn't stop it. I mean, you could have kept. <laughs> I, I could have, but I, I am also a decent human being who likes to listen to people when they stop and make a comment. I like to address it instead of just steamrolling no through it. Like some people we know, Rex. Hmm? 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 No but no, on, on, on Twitter, there was uh, Moriarty was, uh, we were we were bantering, as you will. Playfully. And I said, playfully, and I said, yeah. yeah, playfully, yeah. And I said, uh, I said, eat shit, fucko, or something to that effect. And he messaged me, just, you know, because he's a lovely person. And he said, oh, you know, you didn't, you're not actually mad. And I was like, oh, no, just fuck around. He's like, okay, just checking. And then he was like, oh, are you, are you from Canada? And I was like, no. And he said, you strike me as like being from Canada. And I said, it's because I'm lovely. I'm very delightful. So when Rags asked if I'm from Canada, I was like, oh, is this like a running gag that happened without my knowledge? No, no, no. You just kind of think like a cuck. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, you mean Canuck, sir? Thank you. Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, that too. Very good. That too. Very good. You don't actually seem like a cuck. Um, it's you, I don't know. They just I just get Canada. You just seem like a Canadian. No yeah, real, exactly. Real, sort of nondescript hmm. way. I couldn't really put words. You just seem Canadian. You put out this hmm. Canadian aura. Hmm. Yes, exactly. Is it is it exactly. because of Mark? Like so Mark is he Canadian? Mark, for, Mark right. he, is, he is Canadian. Oh, he he is doesn't Canadian. feel anywhere near as Canadian as you. <laughs> I th thank you. I think. I think he could be. Canadian. Is it because yeah, I'm I mean, like, I'm not surprised by it, but like I good. am surprised that Chase is not. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you try to uh, uh, articulate that? Elucidate. No, I, I already Elucidate. I already said my explanation that I can't quite explain why you just have this Canadian aura about you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but surely like human words exist to like you know somewhat narrow down what that entails. They might, no. but I'd have to think they about might. them. And, well. But. <laughs> You can do I, it, I, You can think. I don't know how to quite put my thoughts into words, which is not typical for me. This is definitely an atypical That's true. Scenario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you normally have no shortage of those thoughts Canadian. again. You just seem Canadian. Yeah, you yeah, feel Canadian. Canadian. You yeah. hate the Canadian. I don't know. Because I'm a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm nice. I'm, I'm both of those things. 
You're a nice pussy. And all of, and all of this I'm was nice to serve what would have been an attempt, uh, and what would have been an attempt at a piece of humor, which well, when we were discussing buses, which was me saying, "Aren't you from Canada?" And then I thought you would have maybe said yes, and then I would say, "Well, are aren't they called buses up there?" Which is a very very, you know, it, uh, it is what funny. it is. But Ollie, if you're from Newfoundland. We had a we had a fun detour and mm -hmm. you know subsequent yeah. that led us back to our original point, but yeah, that's all right. It's fine. That's like any conversation anyone has with me, like if it's just like a one on one, usually goes that way because I have unmedicated attention deficit hyperactive disorder, but Neat. my brain is constantly just it's knocking around constantly. So <laughs> Wait. Wait. attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Yeah, it's just ADD, but with an element of like. Mania and hyperactivity. Oh. Yeah, that's a real thing. Neat. I, mean, oh, I, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> but you had to explain it's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's apparently good. I did. Yeah. I, I, he knows yeah. you. No, all I mean, you just felt the need for it. I, it's weird because the. Yeah, him I mean, I'm dread, Canadian, so I want to help people. You know? that he's a real thing makes me think that it's. It's not real. a real thing, yeah. <laughs> it's, like when, yeah. it's like when people, for no reason, say, honestly, though. Or, Is it I'm not lying. <laughs> Randomly? <laughs> you know me. Do I know you? Honestly, though, do you? Honestly, do you know me? Do you know me, Pookie? Duh. How much Pookie? Pookie. I'd rather Pookie? be an open Republican in one of the movie Bob Martian colonies than play this rancid garbage. Damn. <laughs> Risking That's a lot there. Lit. He's going to absorb your shirt. Oh, are, are we? Are You're we going to take diarrhea. this opportunity on this stream to talk about uh, <laughs> Boulder Boy, or is that going to? Are you going to wait for like a, a more? Oh, recent I'm probably going to do it because this will come out later. I'm going to do that. On... Yeah, yeah. That's what. I, that's what I figured. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow, time what have I missed? Talk about uh, Boulderman later. Yeah. Well, nothing mm. that interesting. Just the the tweet oh, thinks it's oh, funny. Yeah. Nothing about him is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I, I promise not to talk about him for long. Interesting than he is himself. If you're a mm. real fan, you would have heard talk us about it on my stream. Heard ah. talk us about oh, it. Oh, also, Matt. um, sorry to interrupt. Listen, Rags, I was, I was, and I'm kind of drunk. Fuck you. Wow. Uh, Chase. when aren't you? Jesus Christ. Uh, also, Rags. <laughs> Shut the fuck I, um... up, Chase, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Rags, I, I looked up, um, uh, you know, fucking. You did kiss away, you gay boy. <laughs> I looked up like the Monday Matt thing because yeah, and I was looking obviously for like Internet Aristocrats video because it's very you good. Have to be more specific when you say the Monday Matt thing. The big what, thing. Could, uh, what else could that be? Clarifying. What else could that be? Dude, he's addressing? been out for years. He's been a crazy weirdo for ages. He's had <laughs> yeah, but like you know what I mean, like the big one, no, the just, one that literally ended his entire channel. He might have done something <laughs> recently that I don't know about because he's him. Look at it ended it's his like, channel. Anyway. Anyway, like, anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, 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 uh, you did a video discussing it on your other, it was like dog bites or something like that? Yeah. You have like an alternate account? Dog bites, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a second channel you said? Yeah, I say channel where you just... Continue? Where you just... Oh, I, I, thought you, I thought you were continuing. Yeah, it's like a okay. second channel. Yeah, no, I was just wondering like what, what like do you put on there to differentiate it from being, is it just kind of more miscellaneous, just like, oh, I'm just going to do a thing, it's put it on a second channel? Stuff. I want to talk about without making the you other know, big videos. It's a difference in quality. They're quicker to make, easier to use, right. less edit. It's just a second, okay. like a, a, a B channel uh, for me right, just right. stuff that I might want to talk about or talk uh, talk of or about. That I don't want to do like a whole big video because the videos that I normally do are long and they take a lot of editing and things like that. And I don't right. want to put that kind of effort into every topic that exists. Mm. So. Also. Uh, I wanted to ask, not not uh, in the interest of chastising you, not interested in that at all, but oh, how come you I haven't uploaded in a while? How well, come you haven't uploaded in a while? Is it just, yeah, is it just like you just haven't really been, like, interested Mo in anything going on lately, or just, like, a life's been busy? Of, a slew of personal reasons mixed in with me needing to take a break for a little bit. Sure. Uh, kind of all combining uh, but I am working yep, now, and yep. I'm, I'm eager to get back to uploading. That is uh, that is yeah. certainly the case, uh, and I've been working good, hard on good. this video. 
Glad to hear. Yeah, that was not meant to be facetious at all. Like, I've never been an upload rags. I don't care. Smaller? It's... Smaller? I don't. I don't. See? Wait. Why? What? Why do you want to use that word? <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Uh, let, let, okay. Well, that's all right. Let's explore this. Non-hostile exploration here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is not me trying to chastise you. Do you know what facetious means? Uh. I'm pretty if I'm using it correctly isn't facetious being like sort of passive aggressive and like intending to be um maybe I'm thinking of a different word am I is that incorrect so well uh if so that's not what facetiousness is so facetious is an adjective right it's treating like something that's very serious with deliberate and appropriate humor it's kind of like it's like being flippant <clears throat> right yeah but ev but I would I would say the vast majority of times people use the word facetious they don't use it correctly yes. they they it is one of the most misunderstood words that exist in the past few weeks I, <laughs> I certainly yeah. noticed it hardcore I mean I, I I still think even if I use the word flippant I still think that would be an accurate descriptor for what I mean in terms of my demeanor and the way that I approach the subject I'm not trying I'm not trying to trying to get a real answer I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like, I'm not trying to... Because you get comments saying, Rags, why haven't you uploaded? And I'm trying to say, I'm genuinely asking. I'm not yeah, being I flippant. Yeah, I you were. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't come across as facetious. Okay, yeah, I'm just saying, I, I still think... I still think that word... Maybe it's not like 100%, but I still think for the most part it fits the bill. But I understand... Yeah, that one I was like 50-50 on in terms of applicability. Uh, it's just that people are throwing it out all the time, like on Twitter and different conversations. So I'm like, I don't know what happened. Is it, it's because they think it means sarcastic. Is it? Well, they, they also, it just, is, do people like the word? Is that what's happening? Yeah, it I makes them sound smart. I think it's a synonym. Else is using it, and they don't really yeah. know how the other person used it really, but they think they do, and it get, it's obviously the Mandela effect. They went back in time and rewrote history to change the definition of the word. You know, I, them. NASA, <laughs> the Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati, aliens. The Jews. I think it it's a, a, a fact of when people say, oh, well, they're being facetious, oh, what does that mean? And people go, uh, you know, sarcastic. Like, they kind of use, like, context clues. Yeah. Because you could be yeah. facetious and sarcastic. You could also be yeah. facetious and be just making, you know, like, making eh. inappropriate humor at a serious situation. They're not necessarily yeah. contradictory, but they don't necessarily match up either. So maybe that's yeah, how it's... Little, slight, slight pedantry. It's not Very slight. It's, that's not what facetious means. No, I mean, I'm saying it's close enough. It's not. Words change. What, wait, hang on. <laughs> wait, so when is it ever appropriate to criticize anyone using any word if words change? No, I'm hmm. saying, like, that's the thing. If people all start using facetious as a synonym to mean, like, passive-aggressive, then eventually it will come to be included in the definition. So that at that point, what is the point of... of being a pedant. But what do we do up like, until that Well, hold point. on. You have to use that word in a different situation. You have to use a different word for this one. I think at that point it's just kind of like, okay, I think we generally get what they're trying to say. Well, what like, if I just said you're on. being maniacal? I mean, if everyone started saying, oh, you know, you're... like to, to go to Rag's argument, if everyone said that a game was shit, if everyone started saying you're being maniacal in a situation that fits the context of how I'm acting, and everyone could generally understand what you meant by using that phrasing, even if in, like, a previous time, it didn't necessarily uh, denote that. That doesn't... So the point I was excuse. making was, like, when's the line crossed? And I just used an example of, like, no one would describe how you're being as maniacal, so you should be like, what the fuck do you mean? And my response wouldn't be... I mean, it could. I could be acting change. like a maniac. But I've been 80%. They do. Beautify to... used to not be a word. You, beautify used to That's not exist. Know, now but... it's an actual word that means to improve the actual aesthetic quality of something. But what Words do you do, do until, until it is? They don't change instantaneously on the spot in this podcast. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. See, Rags and I wish to push back on the facetious thing, because I feel like it's getting out of control, but if eventually everyone uses it all the time, it's just like, oh, I guess, yeah, fuck. You know, one that we refuse yeah. to let go of is literally, because you destroy the word if you allow well, it yeah, to Well, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, that, that's, that's because that's actually literally the polar opposite of what that word means in the context that people use it. Whereas facetious is, as you, you know, to your own admission, is 50-50. I would no, say what that's I a meant, much well, less harsh that's crime. Not, that's not what he said. He didn't say that. What I said... You are having I, a different <laughs> discussion entirely. You have you have abandoned the specificity of language to, to, to like, <laughs> some sort of 
morass of of, of just. Uh, I didn't mean 50-50. I, I, like, I think I've got a point. I didn't mean 50 50 in terms of whether or not I will. One at a time. One at a time. Everyone's trying to weigh in their, their thoughts. One at a time. So I, I didn't mean 50 50. Like, I don't know if, if the word has transformed yet. I meant. I'm not sure, because as Rag said, you could have a situation that is both describable as sarcastic or facetious. Hence why the first question was, uh, what do you think it means, rather than um, whether or not it's applicable. Because that's the interesting Oh, part. I thought you meant 50-50 in the context of it, Chase is kind of using it right. Like, it's yeah, so more or less, it's like, it's like half right, half wrong. That's the thing, if you characterized you how you were approaching as treating something serious, because, like, earlier, like, Treat it as a serious issue being people being hurt by a video game and thus doing lawsuits, and I'm treating that sillily. Right. That's not what I was doing. I was just absolutely being sarcastic that that's something that happened. It didn't. But but I could have been doing that in that situation, um, which is why... So that distinction, I think, is important, and it's helpful for understanding stuff. And if we just allow another word to get enveloped by another word, it's like, oh, oh well, mm. buy that word. Sure. I think mm. that it's a good thing to... Uh, Keep track of it. I like words, and I make these mistakes a lot myself. Yeah. So words are great. I like the, the English language is a very colorful one. I like when people it's fucking use confusing. A, a plethora of other words. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's maniacal. Not the most structurally consistent. It is maniacal. See, there you go. You don't think English is structurally consistent? I think it actually is. Uh, I mean, when you use the word read and read, they're spelled exactly the same. Oh, that's not like just. Li T that's tiny that's little, well, well you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Like just little. No, I really See? Don't. See? Not... <laughs> I don't. I literally don't. That's why we okay. start. I started off with. Let me clarify. What you if said. you are a foreigner, if you are a foreigner trying to learn English, there are a lot of weird little rules and inconsistencies that, to you know, someone learning from a textbook yeah, would not be plain as day. That is what I meant. Yeah. It's but whatever, right? Because word change. <laughs> Words, hey, words do change, and even if words change, that doesn't mean that the English language will ever be fucking completely perfect. They change perfect. 20 minutes later, too, so, like, that's the important part. You know what, Moriarty? You're oh, fucking, no. The only time you talk up is to be a little cunt. Shut oh, up. No. I hate you. That's not true. He laughs. Yeah, yeah laugh that's true. Lot. He does laugh. He does, he does occasionally laugh. His fake laugh. I'm brought, I, I'm brought on here <laughs> for laughter. I'm, I'm, you I'm just a, thought, like you're a, just the laugh track. He's brought on here because he's facetious. Ah, he's <laughs> maniacal. He's both maniacally <laughs> facetious. Because he has an inconsistent structure. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. But, you know, that'll change. Crime Do you guys changes. know any other languages? <laughs> I know... Oh, I know... Uh, I know all oh. kinds. Uh, Russian, Italian, Chinese... Uh -huh. um, Look at Big Brain. I know Fre uh, <laughs> French. What do you think of Russian? Like, just uh, in, in terms of, like, a, an Englishman... Learning what do I think Russian. Of it? What were some of the yeah? What were like some of the first observations you had about it in in comparison to your mother? That tongue? it did not use a uh, typical Latin lettering. It uses a Cyrillic alphabet. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's always the first obstacle, I guess. I I, like I, I can letters in it, yeah. I it's can weird. I can pronounce Russian words, so I can Vodka. pronounce Cyrillic, but I don't. Uh, I don't know how to speak a lot of the. I mean, I. I barely know any Russian, but I would like you to mean, learn like, it because I got a... conversational Russian. You mean? Yeah, I couldn't speak conversational yeah, yeah. Russian. I could pick out a few things, but it's mm -hmm. just, I, I can't really speak it. But I can. Um, but I, but I, I could see a Cyrillic word, and I could probably get the pronunciation close enough. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, I mean, we already know metal, of course. But... A little Latin. The fuck you just said to me. Took two years of Latin. Said uh, obviously we know that uh, you speak German because you're a fucking Nazi. Mel can't speak German. That's all. Been, he's like, he just says random shit in German because he remembers it. That doesn't really count. <laughs> flungel, flungel, ja, Hans. There it is. See, half of that shit's not even real, <laughs> Chase. Just saying. Like yeah, flungel <laughs> is yeah, he's just improvising. Real. Flungel, flungel, those are real, but Hans. Yeah, so those are real, obviously. Yeah. That was. You the... <laughs> We've been given uh, the big uh, trick. I mean, what none of you will be surprised. Uh, I don't know, you're in Germany. Finally, you're watch, it's... retard. Whoa. What's that? Listen here, you fucking piece of Whoa. shit. <laughs> I love you. I wanna, I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> <No>. Whoa! Whoa! 
<laughs> we don't not do if I that anymore. Do. Not after yeah. last time. She's, 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 I can't even say the word. Facetiously. Facetios. None of you will be surprised to know that, I, that I know like small, small amounts of Japanese. Um, oh yeah, but no oh, No, but we're having a conversation, Metal, you fucking rude boy. Yeah, Mel, However, yeah, but I'm not um, Spanish is really like piss easy to, to speak in terms of like pronunciation for the He's most part, but as a, as a language, it's just sort of like the equivalent of like wet bread. Like it's just everywhere and it's so commonplace that it's so, it's, you know, you see it on the, the, the back of every single package. It's, wet it's, it's, bread you know, is everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, every time I see Spanish, it's right next to English, so I have no desire to learn Spanish. Yeah, no, seriously, it, it really is just kind of. I've, I've learned to associate it. I've learned to associate it with like blandness. You know, you go to the bus I've learned, stop. I've learned to associate quit. Spanish with lazy people who don't learn English. Wow, Rags, how have you not picked up on that? He just said wet bread is really common. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh, I, said, oh, I didn't even catch that. I was thinking of something else. Wow, what an interesting thing to say. Wet bread isn't common at all. It's, it's like wet bread. It's everywhere. <laughs> did, did I what actually say wet bread is say. everywhere? Did you say it's, wet it's, bread you know, is everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, like wet bread. It's everywhere. That's wet what I, bread that's is what, used maybe. to denote that something is dull. You fucking troglodytes. I know. You, I know you're intentionally trying to get my goat. I know you're pretending to fucking play dumb to get my goat, and it works oh every God. time. Hey, that's no, what I do. If you said it's like wet bread, it's everywhere. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay, I understand your mis the miscommunication now. No, it's oh, Spanish! Spanish is everywhere! Spanish is like everywhere! Spanish is like wet bread. It's yeah, everywhere. It's like wet bread. It's, it's like wet bread in the it's sense everywhere. that- It's okay, everywhere! Do you know what wet bread as a turn of phrase means, Moriarty? You cackling fuck. You chuckle fuck. Do you know what wet, wet bread, bread denotes as, as a fucking metaphor? Oh my god. It's everywhere, man. Yeah. Moriarty, do you know what wet bread oh. denotes as a metaphor? What if you're going to be fucking laser focused on inconsequential oh. shit, I'm. Oh, me! It wasn't even what? me who Mahler you, you caught to, your <laughs> stupid statement. You might have to tell us because I'm looking it up now and I'm having trouble finding oh. a definition. You're having trouble finding wet bread, but it's everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? It's everywhere. Yeah. So the top, the top definition seems assholes. to be someone who is weak, frail. <laughs> oh, you call, wait, instance, I was the, under the impression the, that yeah, wet bread the, is just something. The, maybe I meant like the top wet, definition um, on Urban Dictionary. Someone who is I weak, get it. I'm wrong. Frail, I get it. I'm wrong. Yeah, soft. I get it. I'm wrong. Are you trying to call sentence. the Spanish people weak and frail? <laughs> no, I was trying to say it's <laughs> fucking <laughs> super milk, milk toast and boring. Ah, it's just super. Okay. You fucking okay, see. I just checked back on stream. You said wet bread. Did you say it's, wet it's, bread you know, is everywhere. Yeah. You totally said it. No, I, I, I never said I didn't say wet bread! What plan are we on? What conversation are we trying to have right now? This is just this is just a game of let Chase talk for three seconds, cut him off, insist he's fucking retarded. Hey, no, because it's funny you said wet bread. Wet bread yeah. and I like how we've had a whole night of people saying funny shit. <laughs> We, okay. we, we're not, we, May we I revise have... my statement for the oh, fucking God, please, please the courtroom here? Wait, can I ask? Please I, do. I just want to ask Mel one thing. Mel, did you okay, hear him I, say I, that like wet bread? <laughs> that it's everywhere? Sorry? Did that happen? Because I... Okay, there's something called a period, and if I move, if I speak quickly, Ew. that doesn't mean there's no period. That it oh. doesn't mean that suddenly is a comma. That means I talk fast. If I say something is like wet bread, what I mean in really hindsight is that it's weak and frail. What I, what I mean in hindsight is that it is very, very commonplace and therefore becomes less interesting to me because it doesn't, you know, most, most, foreign, most foreign languages <laughs> denote a sense of exotic. A common thing. You don't walk around and there's just wet bread everywhere. That's you because like, that wasn't what I said. You're still. I've explained like fucking seven times now that I said yeah, Spanish your is your everywhere. Did you say wet it's, bread you know, is everywhere? Yeah. So your funny. explanation yeah. is 
It's like wet bread, you know? It's like it's all over the place. That's your explanation not for wet how you bread. Wet no, bread no, not everywhere. wet bread. Spanish. <laughs> Spanish is everywhere. Do you need me to Spanish, the language from Spain is Spanish. everywhere in America. Wet bread right is not. Do you I'm have gonna... any further questions so about this particular wet bread? bread? I think that you should be, for the sake of appropriateness, not saying wet bread, you should be saying pan mojado. Yeah, I'm so What? Okay. Pan okay. mojado. Okay, I check back. I check back. You, you, you asked me a question, you please. Like, uh, hang on, what's my note? Spanish is like piss easy to speak in like a pronunciation, and it's the equivalent of like wet bread. The but second you, sentence. I'm recapping after the thing that. we've said that like said, eight times now. That you said Spanish people are weak and frail, which is fucked up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we got a lot of Spanish it's fans milk, on Evap. Milk, milk toast, milk toast, milk toast. Milk I want toast. them to know that, that by we the way, value milk, their input. Milk toast? Milk oh. toast? That kind of is like, you know, when you think about it, that's wet bread. I mean, toast is still no, bread. No, so it's I think not. It's maybe, white bread. Maybe that's... Shut I mean, the wet fuck bread. Up, milk, milk toast would be <sighs> kind of like wet bread in the sense that milk toast means feeble. Yeah. I mean, I, I I always took it to mean, from my understanding, I always took it to mean just very uninteresting and bland. Yeah, I mean, it's right? in, in, yeah, bland. But, like, for anybody okay. who's okay. confused... Does anyone have any other questions about Chase that Chase didn't whole mean to say that wet bread is found everywhere, okay? <coughs> that was a mistake. Yes. He did not mean to say I'm that. I'm glad we've come to this it's, impasse. We've, we've come, we've, we've passed this impasse. Wet bread was just everywhere. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not of the, I'm not of the belief, and if people would have let me talk for maybe five Hold extra on. seconds, uh, no, 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 I no, no, no. I want, I, want to, I want to take this somewhere else, Chase. How do you think you yes. spell milk toast? M-I-L-Q-U-E-T-O-A-S-T. What do you think it is? Where A does word? milk toast come from? What is the word? What is the etymology? I don't yeah. know. Why don't you tell me? No, I'm really already. curious where, if you had to guess, where would that come from? It very clearly sounds French. Well, it, I, it's, it's, it's from a cartoon character. Is it? Yes. It's yeah, a last Caspar. name of a character. Yeah, Caspar Milk Toast. <clears throat> Is it like yeah. a really old cartoon? Oh, yeah, I it's from the don't... 20s or something like that. Oh, okay. It's older, yeah. but I, I don't know when it's from. Like, where is it from as well? Where like is it what, from? Uh, uh, I'd have to like, look like, it up. Google his name. Is it like a French cartoon Harold or? Tucker Webster. Also, for clarification, if I said mm. that Rags is like a gun because he's sturdy, reliable, can shoot bullets, <gasps> and is made of metal, and then someone said Rags <laughs> isn't made of metal, I'm like, clearly I was referring to the other three things. That doesn't work. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> well. That's kind of a r ridiculous comparison, but sure, I'll I'll take that. I felt that was apt, and that's hence my confusion. Of wet bread being I, everywhere. Exactly. His analogy. Was oh, yeah. <laughs> See, there's there's things that some humans do when they're in a very passionate moment, where they just are kind of speaking quickly. Have you and so when I bread say bread? when I say it when when I say Spanish is like wet bread. Period. Full stop, right? <laughs> Period. Right? Okay? No, no, no. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page, right? Are yes, we, are we yes. all understanding yes. that the, that's that's a sentence, right? That has a beginning and end and a period, right? In comes the when qualification. Mahler, Mahler, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Mahler, do you agree? Do you agree with this? Yes, so expecting far? the qualification. Are you with me? Metal, do you understand? Are you following me on this? Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> no, I'm genuinely asking. Do you understand that the phrase acknowledging right now right that the whole wet bread thing was was incorrect and i used it wrong right i acknowledge that do you acknowledge that spanish is like wet bread period that's a sentence right do you acknowledge that fucking causes this what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> okay. no, no no i'm just, I'm just making oh, sure we're all on the same page I'm, I'm 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 taking i'm taking a fucking like <laughs> i didn't give a shit and now and now and now Moriarty, do you acknowledge that that was a sentence with a full with a beginning and ended a period i just want to make sure you understand one breaking me Moriarty, I need an answer. This is very important. You've done this to me. You've dragged this fucking dead meme out for so long. Now I need to fucking make sure. I just want to point out that he didn't say that was a sentence earlier. He said, when Spanish. He didn't say, he, he had that when that first time, and now he's changed it to beginning with Spanish. I just want to point that out. My contention was mm -hmm. that it began with when. Or now when, when ever, right? Oh, so I see if, what you're doing. You're, you're continuing to try to annoy me by poking at further and further inconsequential details. You just keep doing it. That's, no, no, no. That's I'm your going end game. to end my 
my original statement, and I've done that aptly. You may proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I said Spanish is like wet bread. Period. <laughs> And then, so, be, given that the subject of the prior it's sentence was still Spanish, such right? such a ridiculous thing. <laughs> no, sure, sure, sure. I'm almost, I'm almost <laughs> done. I'm almost 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 done. Here we go. Given that the subject from the prior sentence was Spanish, right? <clears throat> it. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, Spanish, the, the larger subject we're all discussing, right, is yeah. everywhere, right? Like wet bread. But that, okay. okay. Do, do, we, do, we, do we understand this? Do we, no, no, no. Just the, sure. Yes or no? Do we understand this? Sure. Okay, that, that was all. That was all. Just since do we seem to have a lot of fucking burning questions about that entire exchange, so I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page there. That was all. No, I don't have anything further. Uh, I never had a question, but not okay. what you were doing. <laughs> do you see how fucking? However, <laughs> however, if I said that Spanish is I like get the bread, fucking miscommunication it's that everywhere. You're you wouldn't assume that I meant Spanish when yeah. I said it. You would assume I meant wet bread. <laughs> then ask me. You say it's, wet it's, bread no, is wet. everywhere? Yeah. Wet bread is everywhere, and you go, yeah, what? It's like saying... It's what? Like you know, saying, it's a fucking I'm mineable I'm meme. No, it's like uh, saying, you go, I'm not going to check to make sure that that's what you said. I'm going to assume that you meant the funnier one, and I'm just going to fucking talk about it. It is yeah. what you said! Regardless of no, anything, it is, it what, is I said, what you said. But in the context of greater things, but I no, think it's pretty fucking clear that I don't actually think that wet bread is just laying around on the <laughs> fucking <laughs> bus or something. <laughs> That's why it's so funny. About. He's yeah. being obtuse. Oh, no. Uh, Chase, 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 come on. That M stands for fucking mongoloid. That's what I, I don't even think you agree <laughs> with you, Chase. <laughs> I don't even think right. you agree with you. Look, I, I, look, I conceded that the wet bread uh, fucking just, like, definition was incorrect. Let me, let me do a quick I'm, example I'm, I'm with the gun I'm not infallible. Again. If I said, again, rags is like guns, and then I went, guns are everywhere. <laughs> if you said that sentence on its own, as its own separate thing, yeah, that would be an issue. But given that the greater context was us discussing no. language, no, Russian, it, Spanish, no, Japanese, no, I think one may infer from that entire exchange, I'm probably still talking about motherfucking Spanish. And no, not, because, no. bread is not suddenly the most prevalent detail <laughs> no, no, of the entire no, fucking conversation. I'm pretty sure that's the part I'm more interested in discussing. Can't isolate one of those things. If I Look, say airplanes are like Oreos, they fly oh God, through no the air. People hate you. Matter what the broader context <laughs> is. Right. <laughs> yes. They, okay, but here's the thing. I I know what the answer is here. I know how we can move mm. past this chase. Oh I know God. how we can leave any time. We can feel. I mean, I mean, okay. I mean like words change. Okay. Answer. Okay. Yes. Words change. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that, was, that was good. I'll give you that one. Between multiple retellings of what the sentence was. <laughs> uh, yeah, just ask me next time. I'll, I'll easily repeat and what? clarify. You say it's, wet it's, bread no, is wet. everywhere? Yeah. It's wet bread? Wet, wet bread is not everywhere. That's not what happened, Chase. I said, I started laughing and I was like, wet bread is everywhere? Question mark? I feel like you're poisoning the well. Yeah, what's going on here, Chase? Well. That was my genuine recollection of what happened. This is a shitty fucking Christmas stream, by the way. It's fucking negative. I'm going to be honest with you, I think people will love this. I think oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if that was me who said that, that would be hilarious. That's because I wanted to I wanted to get back to the subject we were talking about because it was something I actually found interesting. And you guys kept it's what I was saying was the most else incomprehensible else. thing ever. Chase yes. buddy. Here's the yes. thing. Yes. The day Words after change. after this podcast goes up, you're gonna be yes. right though. Wet bread will be everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Spanish is, is extremely fucking commonplace in America. To yes. the point where it's just, yeah, you, know, you, you go to a store, you call a hotline. It's like, you know, they're like, oh, well, thanks for calling Wells Fargo for Spanish, press two, except they obviously say it in Spanish. So the fact that it's it, it's so like overexposed and you fucking hear it and see it like everywhere you go, it kind of removes the sort of like romanticism about it where you're just like, oh, yeah, it's fucking, it's everywhere, whatever. Um, and so, like, <clears throat> when I was in college, I took French 1 and 2, just because it seemed so much more um, interesting and exotic, and I gotta say, French kind of sucks, because every single verb has, like, an irregular conjugation, so you have to remember the distinct way, the, the, the distinct six different ways to say any verb in French. Like, most of them are not consistent with their conjugations. Would you say that French is very facetious? 
you know what I would say. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. I found the wet bread conversation more fun than the the discussion on Spanish. I'll be honest with you. That's my honest opinion. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't care about Spanish. But I, I, yeah, no, me either. A language, if a language seems exotic. In a way, and it's less common, it does tend to be interesting, especially if it does yeah, not use yeah. typical English letters. Sure. Like Cyrillic I think alphabet, that, uh, characters of, you know, Korean or Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, like, Korean, I think, is interesting, too, because I was told by someone that the alphabet is written in a way that, like, mimics the shape of your tongue that you have to put it in to, like, pronounce that word or some shit. It seems really abstract for me. I think Korean, one of the aspects of it is that it was kind of designed to be very easy to learn. Yes. So that the regular Tom, Dick, and Harry could <laughs> learn how to how to read it and write it. Or I've Would heard. Do me a favor, Mauler. What's like that? Chinese other languages. Would you tell me what the super chat was that brought us here? Because <clears throat> <laughs> I was thinking the yeah, same I thing. I want to know too. I was like, what, what I was the last super chat? The language. Because it wasn't. I'm super just going chat. on a stream of consciousness here. Whoever it was, it, was, it would be amazing if what you did. did. Super Chat was, would be like, can we talk about wet bread? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there are bread What's the deal with wet memes. bread, guys? <laughs> <laughs> if oh, I see shit. a piece of wet bread on the floor at any point in my life, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, initially, that, that, like, my emotional fucking range for that whole thing went from, like, amuse to just straight up fucking annoyed, back to amused. So it's like, it was, that, was quite a, that was quite a roller coaster. <laughs> the human experience. What a ride. Uh, oh god. What a ride. Uh, help. I think we've all, we've all grown a little bit as people <clears throat> since we discussed uh, wet yeah, breads. Yeah, some of us, yeah. Uh, uh, wet bread's omnipresence has uh, really forced us all to mature in ways we do. <clears throat> Metal, holy shit, fucking. Yeah, that's a, that, those surprised me all. I was like, what did you drink? Stop. <laughs> I was just, I was drinking some, just some water right now, actually. Was... Mm -hmm. It's half past six in the morning. Is that, maybe the Germans <clears throat> it's water. Oh yeah, it was the one about being an open Republican on Movie Bob's Martian Colony. That's what got us here. That's what oh, brought us here? Obviously. Yeah, I can obviously. see it. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Holy that sense? shit. Thank you, Movie Bob. That was, that was Zach Gilbert. Uh. Congratulations. Uh. Uh, is this an Abby tutorial? So, uh, where, where would that have come from? Because you kill a bunch of people? Or? Like how half of these are like, I don't remember what this was. Next. <laughs> well, I mean, they're talking about Little Hope, but I don't get how that would Little be Hope, a yeah. Abby tutorial. Right. No, no. I know. Oh, you're just like, I don't remember the context for this. I mean, um,. That does happen, but I, maybe, I hope they know that when they send that, them. Because maybe because that intro was so fucking useless, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> Spooky ghosts are hitting me. Oh, right, I'm back. Uh, hey, hi. The, <laughs> the Asian guy hey, was at the there. start, he asked what the driver... He asked the driver what happened. Alright, I think I think maybe we got confused on the Asian guy. This just okay. says, Chris. Good that they Chris. Chris. We're talking Wesker. Is that the Chris. Wesker's fucking great. <laughs> Complete <Yes>. global saturation. <laughs> you get this foot you smooshed. Yeah, you foot smooshed. Foot smooshed. I can't. I can't believe that's how he died. What are the? What? What a? That's so it's fucking lame. <laughs> Which part? It's not in the game. Oh. It's, it's, You'll you'll find game. out. You'll find out. I'm looking forward yeah, to it, that. We'll it, it, I'm I'm doing you a service by denying you an answer now, so that you get yeah, the full context later. I promise it'll be worth it. It'll yeah, be it's worth gonna it. It'll be way fun, yeah. Oh, super! I can't worth believe it. you died from a fucking food switch. <laughs> President Wesker, man, that's how he went out. God, there's gonna be e fappers who will remember us saying this, and it won't be until like a year later that they'll finally <clears> know what we're referencing. Oh God, you're right. Jesus. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm actually okay with that. I, I really hope that somebody does put it all together and go, I was there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching it all. I am so you're in in uh. <gasps> Wait a minute. I might have. Oh, oh, it's not. We've done the Little Hope ones. The reason why there are Resident Evil ones is because they're for the Resident Evil playthrough part two rags. That's what we're on now. 
Oh my god. Wonderful. That's the whole Chris thing, yeah. Yeah, and uh, there's not a huge amount of these ones, so if we nail that and then we wrap up, I think that'll be perfection, you know? How long oh. do you think it's so, the best that's gonna take? Uh, well, metal. <laughs> like, one, one super chat could be an hour, well, that's ten super chats could be five minutes. Well, saying that's we a, won't go into another tangent. That kind of depends on, uh, that kind of depends on Chase's lexicon. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> or mine. Silence from Chase. I think that's ex acceptance right there. I mean, you, you said like, oh, don't talk if you want us to just move past it. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> well, he said based on your lexicon, he didn't say don't talk. You're right. Yeah. You can say hello. Do you know what lexicon is? Oh no. Um, I think so. Lorxicorn. All right. It's like a beverage, right? It, it's a type <laughs> of vegetable, yeah. Lexicorn. <laughs> Lexicorn. It's like a it's like a codex. It's like a it's like a tome of knowledge, yeah. Tome of knowledge. Can someone meme <laughs> Lord of the Rings ghosts with Biden? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a fucking message. Whoever think, whoever understood that, go ahead and do it. Whatever the fuck it's gonna supposed to be. <laughs> fuck off, ghost. There we go. Resident Evil 4 on PC has a very annoying bug. For one specific QTE, you have to set the FPS limit to 30 instead of 60 to be able to complete it. Hi. Is that true? Hey. Hey. Hello. That sounds really gay. Is that true? Um. Hi, Rags and Long Men. Hope you do, two are doing well and that your families are also doing well. They are. As I am doing well as well. You doing well, yeah. Rags? I am doing very well. He's having a tight fucking debate with me about my avatar in the chat. Well, let's talk, let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Chase Face posted in our, our chat here, My new avatar will be superior when it's done. And it's in yeah, sketch form com right now. Compared and to my so current I just avatar, asked, yeah. Oh, so I asked, you know, how is that better? How is and that he better? Yeah, how is that better? How and then he better? replies, how is that worse? Now, it, it, I it, never it. implied or said that it was worse, because I don't think it's worse. <clears throat> I'm generally curious why he thinks that's better. So the reason why it's better is because uh, the person that made my avatar, I think her name is like Liz Beans or something like that. Uh, she did a really good job on it, and there were a few things that I wanted to change, but then she just like completely fucking vanished off Twitter and off the face of the earth. Oh. So if I wanted like a, a redraft or like a revision, obviously it's not an option. But then on top of that, I kind of got sick of my avatar, like my, my thing on, so, on YouTube and all my channel assets and stuff being like me with a vest and a fucking, you know, like all this shit. It just started to look like really dweeby to me after you a while, and so seem, I was just like, ah. like a vest wearer. Mm -hmm. I'm not you definitely wearing funny thing. You do wear it. Yeah, yeah, so. No, I don't. I don't. You seem like, yeah, a, you you seem like a best wearer. A Canadian yeah, you, best you do. Wearer. You do it. We're not. We're not. No, no, we're not. I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying you seem like a vest wearer. Um, you seem like someone no, who wears and, Crocs and, and, with socks. I acknowledge <laughs> that that's your perception, and I'm telling you that as a, a, a regarding observable reality, that is incorrect. That, that no, okay, you, but you do have wear the perception of something without doing it. No, I'm, yeah, no, I acknowledge that that's the perception you have. I'm saying the reality of me actually being a vest wearer, like the confirmation. No, I of believe it. you when you say you don't. Sure, yeah, yeah but you do wear was... socks with. No, crocs, God, right? yeah, no, Rags, you're right. That would be re it would be really unfair for anyone to date you if this is how like every fucking disagreement would go. And it's just like we have to discuss <laughs> no, no, this our is, terms. This, this is uniquely, you know, us. No, I do. I do this. With I, I don't believe you. Us, but here's the thing: I'm not trying to date. I'm not trying to get a date. Mm-hmm. This is for the lulls in a podcast. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying you are inherently a uh, someone who is is very very detail oriented. Nothing wrong with that, but in a relationship, that would make for an extremely draining like day to day. You because women are all detail oriented. Yeah, yeah. Add hump. I, I don't think I don't think you could just say ah you know in a fucking. Uh, the, the way that I act in my videos and in my streams and to my friends, like behind closed doors, I think that's just something I wouldn't do in my day-to-day -day interactions with the closest person to me romantically. I don't think that's accurate or fair. I think Waller can back me up if I say that this is a fairly unique thing that we do. Also, you said that all women are detail-oriented, Chase. Yeah, that's true. You just said that because Rags is detail-oriented, he wouldn't have luck dating. Yeah, so you would butt heads constantly, I'm right. You oh, butt heads with every no. single woman? Most women, yeah. Damn. All right. No, I, I, I've never really butted heads with anyone in a in a relationship. 
I mean, I was I was kind of being. Uh, I actually get along being, was, stellarly with everyone. Hmm. I'm, I'm I'm a very charismatic individual, especially. No, I, no, no. I I agree. I agree. I just meant in terms of like little tit for tat disagreements over inconsequential. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not trying to point score. I will admit as well. Like Rags is, is definitely not trying to date you. I will say. I and so I think <laughs> his mode of I'm operation might be a. Tad. I'm also not. I'm also not like a, a like a white girl. I don't fuck dogs. So. Oh, the okay. ad like white, white girls yeah. exclusively yeah, white girls. If fucking a dog, 99% chance it's a white woman, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. It's weird. I don't know why it's just, I don't know. Women have good taste, I don't know. But yeah, I, uh, uh, I forget what you're talking about. We would talk you never about seen oh, yeah, no. it. Was black my, my, my avatar, my avatar. So, I, I thoroughly maintain that uh, if I just show an avatar, and I'm excited how it's coming. It's a uh, 2D, it looks it's just in sketch form, looks really good. And Moriarty says, does it change? Which I didn't know what that meant, so I was fucking ignoring that useless comment. And then um, and then Rags commented, how is that better? Question mark, how is that better? Reflection is yours. Yeah, no, I'm, I agree. I'm saying that's how it reads. No, you read it all. You're, especially, especially you're given the- uh, yeah, you're Give, given, given, given the tone of like I say one thing and then you know people are like, mm, well, not necessarily. Mm. You know, you know, I, I, I don't know about that. Are you sure that's correct? Asked you or anyone else are completely earnest. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, I know that now. Yeah, okay. but give, given like, the trend of the little kind of tit for tat, like poking and prodding playfulness, I, which I, I understand is not is not, not meant to be. I think given my trend, what I said is supported by my past behavior very well. Yes. No, no, I'm just saying when, when you, when I think if most people, not even just rags, but if most people were to type, how is that better? Question mark. Like if I'm not even giving a super sassy, how is that better? If it was just, how is that better? Uh, you could have, you could have been like, uh, what, what, what improvements was this like supposed to add? That w that would have made me been like, oh, well, let me tell you. But couldn't but if you it's still like, how is that better? Make how is that better sort of implies like that it's, that it, you do think it's worse than my current avatar or that it's like on par, like the well, same. You you think that your current avatar is worse than this one? Yes. Yeah. So there we go. There, there just, what's, what's the issue? <laughs> no, the issue. I was just saying, like, uh, by the way, the reason why Rags isn't responding because it was like someone said hi, Rags, and I just heard like, and I just said, oh yeah, he's responding to my thing. Well, why did you hit enter on? That? I didn't. Mean, I, didn't <laughs> I was. In, I'm, I was. In, I'm dumb. Okay. I didn't mean to. Detailing the point, M. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I think what, what Rags was saying is you chose to interpret it as like really critical on the new avatar rather than complimentary to the old one. Yeah, that's because that's not how I'm it read to me. I'm curious why he thought it was better. Uh, because, I mean, I already outlined that, so it doesn't matter. We can, move, we can move past this. I didn't mean for this to be a whole... I don't want the entire fucking stream to just be Chase defends himself uh, in regards to miscommunications. I think it's really... We can probably discuss way what more you, interesting What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> No. You yeah. see, you almost got me there. That's, that's good. <laughs> Gap. <laughs> that will not become like wet bread, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, you don't like Doom Eternal, so everything you say is just like, oh. Well, you got me, man. Direction, don't you dude. like it? Eat shit. <sighs> Doom Sausage, man. <laughs> Doom Sausages. Sausage. I'm finished. Just sounds so good right now. I have to go back to it, and I've beaten the first Doom 2016 like four or five times. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care for Doom 2016 that much. It was it was like fine, but I think uh, it's you know every new game that comes out when people hype it up to high hell, then it's just like high hell. Oh, this is gonna be fucking amazing, and then I play it, and I'm like, yeah, I mean it's good, but mm -hmm. not like extremely impressive. It's a shooter, yeah, cool setting. But yeah, I, I did not know that there is apparently a QT you can't complete in Resident Evil 4 without boosting, uh, well, lowering to 30 FPS. I didn't know that. That sounds gay. Oh, Which one is uh, that? No, uh, they didn't specify. They just said that um, you have to... Oh. It basically wants Are you, you to double your input on 60 is, is what the qualification is. Like, huh. <coughs> I've had no huh. issue with playing Resident Evil 4 on PC. Yeah, so. neither of them. Yeah. So, I mean... I can't. I can't think of any QTE that I ever failed on the the base game. Because I have nine games, so I think I've beaten it. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I would be curious now if they said that a particular QTE or some QTEs were more difficult on sixty. I can believe it because of the transfer from the old game to the new and the new. But I could I could believe that. But um, mm. impossible. I don't know about that.
Hmm. Yeah, it seems like a mild exaggeration. I, I feel so. like, yeah, like I was saying, I've, I've never had an issue where it's like there's one QTE on the original like 30 FPS game where it's just like, or wait, are we, sorry, are we talking about when you're playing it on PC at 30 FPS? Yeah. So if impossible. you play it on 60, you can't do it apparently, you have to lower to 30 first. Yeah, no, I would I would contest that because on thirty on sixty FPS I've never had any issues with them yeah, passing like all the QTs. I would, yeah. I would be curious if uh, some of them are more difficult, but impossible. I I'm not going to believe that without some uh, some more mm. evidence. I'm very um, skeptical of that claim. Yeah, bring in Captain Frodo, also known as Mandalore. He's one of the first to say that the Clone Wars suck. Uh, where, where he knows a lot about it. Also, Rye Hags. Oh, Rye. Um, Rye. <laughs> like hey, we're, we're, look, we're we're welcoming all peoples. People who enjoy The Mandalorian and people who don't. And people who enjoy The Clone <clears throat> Wars and people who don't. You know, it's fine. People of yeah, all stripes are welcome. And yeah, maybe care. we'll have that guy on sometime. I don't know. Uh, what do you think of Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6? Oh my. The movies oh, were great. Five is enjoyable, like a bad movie in a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never, I've not played six. I gave up on six. Don't, I didn't like it's it. It's fucking bad. Six is, it's. Ugh. Didn't it make the most money so out of all Resident Evil games? I'm actually yes. kind of curious whether or not RE6 would be bad today after launch yes. with all the problems. You know. Yes. Yes. I don't know. It is. I, don't know. I, I think it, <laughs> it is. It is. It is inherently just the. I mean, you know, they, they gave you a stamina bar. It's like running, uh, doing a melee attack. You get winded and you have to, you have to keel over and like, you know, put your hands on your knees and go, oh, oh, just, just for doing basic shit, like moving quickly. Just like the Evil Within, why I hate that game. It's just like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, you fucking run. You're running, you're fine, you can run. You, I've been thinking, trying to remember the name of that game for like two weeks now. The Evil Within? Yes. <sighs> Oh, it's so bad. This is I why you guys need game. to be together. I Stuff like that. The second one, I liked it. It was alright. I enjoyed this. No, the, oh, the second one? Yeah, no, the second one was great. I don't know. Well, it's it uh, great, but it's <laughs> pretty good. I mean, compared to the first game, yeah. It's, it's I like, played all the way through the first one. I only remember bad experiences. Uh. <laughs> it's just every single thing in that game is a fucking death trap. Like, And I, I get that's probably like an intentional design choice. But if I'm fighting an enemy and there's no... Like, Laura, the fucking the screaming girl with long black hair, the extremely cliched, like, Japanese horror imagery. Uh, she has a move where she just, like, kind of moves her hand quickly, and it's a fucking one-hit kill that locks you into a cutscene, and just, like, no matter how much health you have, it, it will kill you. And there's a billion different things like that in that game, where just every single fucking thing... You're walking through, like, a, like a kitchen, and there's, like, buzzsaw traps on the ground that are moving around on fucking Roombas. And then, and then it just saws, just a bunch of blades drop from the ceiling. No indication where the right path is to go. It just fucking, it just snags you and you get pulled up into the, into the, the ceiling and you die. And it's just, I don't mind dying, especially considering the cutscenes are, you know, the autosave, um, autosave checkpoints are so nearby. Huh? Yeah, it happens. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, wasn't, uh... Wasn't that fun. And then the second game came out and I just felt like it was a little more fully realized. It felt like there was more that I cared did about you, in the story. The first game is just warping around everywhere more? so you don't get a... Did I re no, no. I swear I saw this like two hours ago, man. So this is a Metroidvania game. Uh, you essentially like revisit areas that oh, you've been yeah, to before yeah. to unlock new uh, places. Explaining Metroidvania. <laughs> Moriarty doesn't know a lot about video games. He's not... It's not something... Oh, okay. Metroidvania was they wouldn't quite know what that meant specifically. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking No, no, I, 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 wasn't, I, wasn't, exactly I wasn't trying to be passive. I wasn't trying to be um, mean-spirited. I just thought, I thought you were, like, jokingly being <laughs> passive-aggressive. Like, you see, this is a video game, Moriarty. I thought you were just, like... Also, I did I did go on to explain what a Metroidvania <sighs> is after it, so he would have been helped out whether he knew it or not, mm. but I happen to know that he knows a shit ton about video games. <sighs> Nerd. Also, I think I'm gonna gonna peace out now. I'm really fucking tired. Right. It's almost 7 a.m. You never say you're gonna <laughs> oh, war Jesus. out. Yeah. You always say peace out. What's the deal? I'm sorry I mean, you were I, fucking I, I, waiting on me for so long, Metal. I'm sorry, but my whole oh, sleep schedule I mean, we, was we, antithetical we, to yours. I mean, we, we 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 did watch those movies, so it's, it's all good. Yeah, we true. did watch. We did wait a little bit though, so uh, but it's all good. Yeah, no worries. Fuck you, shit. You I ruined was, this I whole was, night. Look at that poor Santa. I was crying. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always doing that. Yeah.
Uh, but yeah, when, when is this one? When is this one coming out? This is like Christmas, Christmas. Day. Christmas be a really Day. really weird stream so to, be able to have on Eve. Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll probably be around on the evening. So if anyone wants to hang out, you can probably find me on on the on the Twitch if you if you, yeah. if you have nothing to do. Link. Yeah, in uh, I'll be around too. I'm not going anywhere. Because I'm hey, I'm only busy <laughs> during the day. I'm I'm just gonna be home in the in the evenings. So yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it was, it was fun talking out. to you, man. Just, just, I love yeah. you. Sure, Mwah. that's gay. Oh, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Oh, no, not my nuts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it was fun. It was a long day. Fuck, I'm almost up to four hours, actually. <laughs> Yay. Get some sleep for your heart's sake. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll catch you all later. Guten Biden. Bye. Goodbye, Meryl. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was an exit. Yeah, I mean, you gotta give them the best one when you're the, the best on the panel, guest-wise, you know? Mel needs that <laughs> licking. Moriarty, I do think it's really funny how, in the heat of the, like, you, you know how you can get really, like, annoyed or really, like, um, not you specifically, but, like, people can get really um, heated or argumentative, and they just, like, it, they kind of get, like, one-track-minded or tunnel vision, so to speak? Sure. The entire time that, like, you would only speak up to, like, giggle or, like, continue to, like, quote the, the fucking, like, words change thing, I would just look over and I would just see your fucking M gingerbread icon light up with a green glow. And I just remember now, at the moment, like, when I saw you talk, I would just look at this fucking ginger, and I just felt like genuine fucking like rage at a gingerbread icon. I was like, this motherfucker! I was like getting so irritated. We, <laughs> Good. we call that we call that having a farquad moment. Mm -hmm. Farquad. <laughs> like am... From Sh the Shrek movies. Yeah, it's just when you have oh, moments of okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I love the idea that they named him from Fuckwad. <laughs> oh, is that the joke? I didn't know that. Yeah, because he was cool. the gingerbread man. He was angry at the. No, I, I, I knew um, I knew that part. I just, I didn't know he was named after fuck a lot. It took me a second to make the connection fuck with the gingerbread man. Hmm. I haven't seen the Shrek movies in quite some time. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I'm sure Farquad is a perfectly normal, natural, nice name as well. Wouldn't want to take that away from anyone out there called Farquad. <laughs> <laughs> is there yeah, any? Does there anyone out there just have like a? Anyone out there have a last name that's literally just like the N word, like just a racial slur, and they're just like proud of it, like this is my family, this is my heritage. There's probably some sticks out there. Yeah, no, definitely. You know what's interesting? I might. I think I have this right, but you know the you know the the um, pejorative for Asians, G O O K. You know? No. What do you mean? Gook. You don't know Gook? It's like a. It's like the N word for Asian people, like, apparently. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Gook. Or, or guck, I guess, however you'd say it. But apparently, it comes from uh, yes. when, like, uh, when American soldiers were uh, driving their tanks through like the streets of Vietnam, the children would follow after them and say "me guck, me guck," which means like the person from the land of freedom or like whatever, you know, person from America. And uh, and so then they just retardedly turned around. They're like <laughs> guck, and that just that was like the story. It's just like, oh, we're just gonna turn that well, around on them and use it. Um, how do you think Pokemon got their names? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, they were just saying their names. That's so weird to think about. And you know, find a new one and then you know that just say like butt blaster and you're like, well, butt man, blaster. Butt blaster. Well, I guess that's his name. So what are you gonna it's do? It's kind of right there. You know the uh, you know the 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 pejorative for Jew like kike that actually comes from Yiddish keikel the circle. You know about that one? No, I did not. I was about. Yeah, no. I was about to say if that was the case, then how come Helen Keller's name wasn't? <laughs> oh God! Uh, that's but she's not I a think I get to hear rags do silly voices enough. Hmm? I said I, I was saying um I don't think I get to hear you do silly voices enough. You always use just your normal voice, and then when you do do a voice, it's somewhat jarring. I think that's hmm? that's part of it, actually. It's very clever on Rags' part. If the less he uses it, the more of a punch it can have when he brings it out, right? Yeah, no, that's valid. Mm. I just, I don't know, I thought I'd call attention to it. Uh, <sighs> why do you want to cover Plinkett in EFAP 166? And this, this, this person really wants us to cover Plinkett specifically in 166? I don't know what that's about. 
do not what, know. What do you mean that 166? So like 66 being order 66, cover Plinket, meaning cover one oh, of Plinket's yeah. uh, prink, prink, prink wall videos? That's a word. For Prinkles. And so... <laughs> oh, he doesn't like... He, he strikes me as the type who would. Who Plinket? Yeah, who likes Pringles. Hmm. I can't remember if they've ever mentioned them, but I could... Yeah, I could see it. What about Plinkles, though? I want to share with you guys. I was talking to, I, I introduced uh, Mahler to my girlfriend, Kyla. Also, I'm just going to call her Kyla from now on because whenever I say my girlfriend, it sounds like I'm fucking, oh, by the way, guys, I'm not single. But I mean, we were both, talking last night. Both ways, it still sounds that way. But only because <laughs> he's... I mean, I just never <laughs> acknowledge the fact that... that the reason why you're saying her name, I don't, it's... I feel like that was a strategic error, but you can't change it. <laughs> I'm not I mean, I guess the way that I view, if I'm just like, if I if I come up to you guys, I'm like, oh, my friend Colin. You guys are gonna be like, who's Colin? Your friend. No, he's your friend. It, so it's just, <laughs> no, it's more. Yeah, he's your friend. No, but you're friend. gonna be like, how is how is he relevant to this conversation? Like, why well, are we supposed to know who Colin is? Wait for the next is? sentence. <laughs> After my friend, like, if you said my friend Colin, we wouldn't stop you and say, wait, who the fuck is Colin? <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't scream. You'd just be like, well, he's Colin. Which no, we wouldn't. Like, We'd wait for you to say the next sentence. <laughs> Which would I mean, I guess, so if, 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 I, if I didn't say, if I didn't say, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> misremembering is, okay, Mario, it's Mori Moriarty, Moriarty. It's really not that fucking hilarious. It's really it's not funny. extremely oh, funny. Dude, hearing him say who the fuck is Colin, <laughs> out of context, <laughs> is pretty funny. I don't know. Uh, He's really angry so, about wait, did, did I did I say is. did I say my friend Colin or did I just say yeah, Colin? I, I'm genuine. You said my friend okay, Colin. Wait, then we sorry, said sorry. when you said we'd ask who Colin is. I was like, well, no, he's your friend. No, the... sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> what I meant was if I just said, oh, Colin said this. Wait, did you mean yeah, to the, say the something one... worse than fucked up and said something what? appropriate? I, I'm so fucking lost. What are we? That's what's all right. Going go go back to your friend Colin. If I said. <laughs> If Colin was listening to this, he'd be like, get to the good part, man. Come on. Talk about me. Yeah, that shit's hilarious. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, so uh, the the reason why what I was talking about was like before I was on a Smutcast and I was talking to them about like my, my girlfriend and everything. And because uh, she's like a really close friend and we chat all the time and she's like one of my closest friends. So she always naturally comes up in conversation. Oh, I was having this conversation with my girlfriend. And people in chat started kind of poking and being like, oh, God, Chase, we get it. You have a girlfriend. Stop flexing. And then that kind of made me um, be a little bit introspective. And I'm like, oh, maybe really? people do think that's that's like me trying to, to flex and say, oh, by the way, I have a girlfriend. But in reality, it's just someone that I talk to all the time and I always have some anecdote about her. So I was just saying, oh, yeah, if I say Kyla, uh, maybe people won't understand who that is. Like, oh, I was talking to Kyla. And so I figured, I'll just let you know now that my girlfriend's name is Kyla. So if that ever comes up, that's who that is. But I was talking to Mahler the other night, and uh, it was, uh, I forget what it was, but he was giving some example of, he was giving some example of someone, like a, a friend of his. And he's like, oh, and I go to my friend, Rumpel. And it just, that's immediately what I fucking thought of with the, see, the joke wasn't even fucking worth it after all of that. Joke. <laughs> I liked it. Very <laughs> funny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it I all derailed because <laughs> it's just the perfect way you did it. You're like, if I said my friend Colin, you guys would be like, who the fuck is Colin? <laughs> it's like, well, no, no but he's your fair. friend. Yeah, like, I, I, I misspoke. <laughs> Chase, it's funny. Obviously, no, 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 you have a friend Colin. Colin, did you? I don't did actually you... have a friend named Colin. There's no need to lie to us, then, was there? Jeez. <laughs> You, you have friends, right? I have what? Like you did. Surely you could have. Yeah, but he has an unnamed Colin. That's the clarification. So we're all good. An unnamed Colin? On the spot for anonymous reasons, anonymity could you, reasons. I think you could call a friend who you've not learned the name of an unnamed Colin, if Colin colloquially <laughs> is understood to be friend. Unna that makes him sound so much more cool. Unnamed Colin. A friend you don't know the name of, he's an unnamed Colin. Mm-hmm. And if he says his name is Josh, you're like, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not, I don't think so. <laughs> no, you're Colin. You decided this. <laughs> you, you go. They only get yeah, named Colin once they've revealed, name. revealed their actual name. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, they're unnamed Colin. Oh my god. <laughs> so anyway. Uh...
Rags, you massive <laughs> doggo. How dare you obey me when I tell you to play Max Payne 2 and compare to Max Payne 4. I'll have you know Halo 3 is a good game on its own. Max Payne 4? That's what it says. I didn't know there was a Max Payne 4. Are you, are you Is that what he said? Max Payne 4? Is he talking 4? about 3? I guess so. Because there is, yeah, if there's hey, no Max? 4, it must be 3. Yeah. He's talking about. I've never played Max Payne 2 and I don't have any interest in playing it. The first two are pretty, like, whatever. Anyone who's played the first Max Payne will remember, like, the fucking segments with the crying baby and, like, the bloody lines you have to walk over and just... I do remember It's, like, that. needle thin. That's awful. It's just, it's just like a fucking lab, labyrinthine fucking level where it's, like, his fucking baby got killed or whatever. It's, and, uh, it's, it's very sad and everything. But there's, there's just, like, um... There's just, uh... A part where he's having like a nightmare and he's walking through this endless black void. There's just a trail of blood that he has to walk over, and it's a really thin trail. If you fall over, you have to restart from the very beginning. I just remember watching my brother play, and I was like, "This looks miserable." It reminds me of fucking Banjo Kazooie when you don't have save states. That ending quiz. You know, oh yeah, yeah. That is punishing. You can't actually fall off of that, can you? I don't think you can. No, but um, you can lose all of your progress if you end up dying. Yeah. So, oh, you know, you don't get that many lives, and it's a lot of it is based on like, did you pay all of the attention in the game? It's kind of a mean little ending because it's like you better fucking pay attention. <laughs> Talk to every you to go NPC fucking... you can. You're like, all right. The tooth fairy and shit. I mean, yeah, that's. I remember when I was a kid, I had one of those uh, game. It was like a Nintendo Power or something, but they had like a handy fucking forget the name of her like. Um, Fairy godmother, tooth fairy, whatever sister, the one who's just like, oh, this is her favorite flavor of toothpaste. This is her favorite bam. She shops at this store. They had like a thing in the magazine where you would like fill it out and you would uh, you would uh, take note of which one it was, which I guess you could only use for one playthrough. But uh, yeah, so I, I guess if you didn't know to remember all of those details, you're like, it's kind of weird that it's giving you trivia about this gross shit that she does. But whatever. Oh, you need to know about that. Um. Also, I'm pretty sure, right? You don't consider Halo Three to be bad when on its own, do you? Or, or what am I? What's that from? No, I I think it's. I mean, it's good. It holds up really well today. Just playing it the other day, in fact, uh, at Savo Highway. Mm. But I mean, it was good then. It still holds up really well. Mm. It's a fun game. Um, I think it's really mechanically solid. Right. What do you think of the Mossberg 590? I've, I have no thoughts on it. Ooh. I don't own one. Is is that the shotgun? Yes. Um, I think so, yeah. Are all, because the only other one I know is the Mossberg 12 gauge, um, from, that's from Angel, actually. So, is Mossberg, like, typically so, shotguns, well, or is it? Yeah, I think Mossberg makes shotguns, um, hmm. but a Mossberg 12 gauge, 12 gauge is the size of the shell. Yeah. Like, it's 12 gauge, 20 gauge, etc. Yeah. So, there yeah. are many Mossberg 12 gauges, in fact, most of them probably are. Yeah, but is, is the that, Mossberg is 500 say, is probably the model that they're a, thinking of. Yeah, it's a it's a pump action shotgun series of. It's really popular. I mean, it's all over the place. I just don't it's like the the shotgun people think of. Is that sort of like is that to say that Smith and Wesson primarily deals with like 357 revolvers? What do they do? I those? I think they make pistols. Is their thing? Yeah. I think uh, they're just pistols. I don't. Yeah, they probably make. AR-15s and stuff like that, but I, I think they're they're most known for their handguns. Hmm. Uh, Massives, you must play Doki Doki Literature Club. It's objectively the only anime content worth playing slash watching. Uh. <laughs> I feel like Chase is not going to be in agreement with uh, that. It's, it's, I don't have that. St I mean, it's just it's so bog standard. It's just you know, it's a visual novel where it's like it does kind of weird like creepy pasta jump scares at you. It's um, it's fine. It's good for like one playthrough, but even as someone that likes anime, I I feel like that's such a weird recommendation to make to a bunch of like Star Wars fanatics. Like, is if it was like this amazingly like subversive piece of interactive media that like it's never been done before i'd be like yeah totally but it's literally just oh we you know change some files in, in this folder that we made that's on your desktop oh my god didn't expect that that's so creepy really? wow this is it's interesting the music's like okay but yeah it's not i don't really i don't think it's like a, a burning recommendation or anything mm -hmm. i have played it i also don't think it's a hugely um 
I, I wouldn't recommend it necessarily. It's worth yeah. a try if you're interested in, in that kind of a thing. I think it subverts the uh, visual novel genre pretty well. It's <clears> um, <throat> it's a sure. video that I included in my uh, my video about meta video games. You know, games that the, the point is to destroy the game, and I think it fits into that pretty well. But I don't know that I'd be like, oh man, you have to play it. It's so good. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 totally it's fine. If you wanted Pretty to waste exactly a few it. hours, you know, sure. And it's free, Just, so there's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where they, they like kind of pad it out in the beginning with a bunch of like, ah, oh, you know, this is a fucking literature club. And obviously Doki Doki is like the sound meant to refer to like a, a pounding heartbeat. There's um, nothing obvious about that. <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, like, if you... Sure, whatever. Uh, so, if it's... it's um, it obvious, yeah, that's not what I'm, yeah. It's, it's meant to... Uh, yeah, because, like, we would say lub-dub or whatever. That's more on amount of pain or whatever the word is. Hmm? Lub-dub? To, to, what to what did you say, like right? you keep cutting out for me? On a I didn't hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sort of a, like onomatopoeic or whatever. This the state of something yeah, being an onomatopoeic. That you mentioned, I didn't hear it. Uh, so I was saying like we we might use the phrase like lub dub, but in Japanese they say doki doki, oh, I, which I, I I agree. I don't think that sounds at all like a harpy. I think they have a lot of really weird oh, like, queen. They have a lot of weird like descriptions for sounds that I, I don't think add up at all. But it's well, sort of like uh, a for a heartbeat should be. Ba bump. I don't know. It's not that oh, interesting. Yeah, I think that's the yeah. best of three. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. But it's like uh, I took fucking Spanish class and uh, we were getting to the section about uh, animals. And in, in Spain, they think that dogs go guau, guau, like with a G. And they think that they think the birds go ki, 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 instead of like us doing chirp, chirp and, you know, bow, wow, or woof. And I just thought that was an interesting little cultural difference. I have a French bulldog. He does kind of go guau. Oh, <laughs> I believe that. Um, it ends with also high ragzamola. Hello. Hey. You know I am I am offended. Nobody says <laughs> hi M. I don't yeah, know that I you are on this one M, but I wasn't on it. I'm so <laughs> they fucking should consider sorry. that he might be on it. <laughs> I wasn't on that one at all. But nobody ever says it. <laughs> Just in case M is there, they will they will put that I mean, from now on. Include like, him I, every time now. I would just like you know one time to not be on there, and for somebody to be like, "Hey M," and, and you know, then I get to be like, "Oh, they thought of me when I wasn't even there." But no, no, that doesn't happen. You don't that's think not. You don't think that's gay at all? Not even slightly gay. Nope. All right. Nope. Not even. Well, yeah. Nobody I guess thinks we can... about me like this. Try and encourage that from now on. Please say hello to M, whether or not M is here. <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus. only polite. Come on, guys. Honestly, it's fucked uh, up that I have to ask, but you know, whatever. I guess that's the world we're in. <laughs> I react to the environment I just, around I, me. I just love the fucking resignation. Just oh, fucking. I guess it's where we live. It's okay. I know that they'll only do it for you and not for me. Hey, Rags and Mola, what was your college life like? <laughs> Damn, nothing for M again. Uh, nothing again, again. I, Even after we just had this conversation, super chat, you just don't learn. <laughs> fucking assholes. The college life? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I really enjoyed it. I didn't get much out of college itself in terms of like academics because I went to a good high school. Um, yep. uh, I only did the one year. Yeah, college, I just didn't know what I wanted to do after that, so I didn't go back. I didn't want to <clears> sink <throat> money for no reason. Uh, but I, I really, really broke out of my shell. I met I, I, I met a lot of new people. I, I really became a lot more outgoing and ready to try new things and become a lot more social. Um, uh, I, I, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, I just wish it didn't cost me so much money. Well, it didn't cost me that much money. Um, great. I uh, lost my virginity in college. Uh, I was there's a lot of a lot of fun parties and stuff you 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 go to. Really, that you really got that real world kind of um, 
experience first time going out going to stores and shopping and just meeting new people and expanding your circle of you know acquaintance that your 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 social circles essentially but in that sense i'm very glad that i went i think it helped me immensely from a yeah from a social point of view that i have used very um usefully in my life but academically it was uh, worthless no waste of my time I mean, it's weird. I, I, I echo a lot of what you just said. Is there any, the only other interesting yeah. things are just more specific details. Like, I did it for two years. I shouldn't really have. It was only as a result of me not knowing what the fuck I was supposed to do. Um, and yeah, mm -hmm. wonderful bonus debt on top. The teachers were fucking terrible. And it was really awkward because there were several yeah. people in my class who were yeah. excellent at artwork and way superior to the teachers. And they would clash with the teachers on... Uh, how to achieve certain standards with certain crafts, and it, it was fascinating to witness, honestly. And it probably informed a little about oh, yeah. how I approach art. <clears throat> I mean, you get a lot of authoritarian people in academia, too. Fuck them. <laughs> Even though... Moriarty. <laughs> yeah, well... Moriarty. Well, I, 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 would, I would like to ask Moriarty. Oh, sorry. For you. You oh, I thought you were going to lead into, like, he could answer the question, too. And I was like, yeah, go for it. I was, yeah. It just, I heard you, like, mumbling something, and I was like, oh, shit, that I cut you off. Yeah. Moriarty, I would like to know, desperately, what was your college experience like? How did it impact and shape you? Um, <clears throat> Desperate like a Canadian. Uh, I don't really talk about it a whole lot. I went to, um, I went to college when I was very young. I was, uh, well under the age of 18. And um, I, I went to medical school. And oh, really? Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I, I spent a lot of time in uh, in college. And I hate academia because of it. Uh, because yes. I learned that they're all horrible people who are lying to you. And charging like three hundred dollars for a textbook. Yeah, don't forget mm -hmm. the charging part. <laughs> yeah. Yep. They have monetized so really the shit progress. out of not knowing what they're talking about. <laughs> Guys, college is just one big scam to pay the football coach. The mm -hmm. sooner you explain it, the better. I mean, it's just, you know, th think about it, right? Every time I'm driving on the highway and there's like a toll, I'm like, who the fuck are you that you just decided to slap this automated fucking fee just for using this road? And you know that like most of it doesn't go back to like actually renovating the fucking highway. Like, God forbid. It's, you never see them like renovating much of anything. So it's just, imagine how how advantageous it must have been back in the day to be like so i'm gonna make a system where in order to like learn things and be smart and be taught things you have to pay like fucking forty thousand dollars and also the textbooks are two hundred dollars like the the fucking tomes of knowledge are two hundred three hundred dollars each and uh if, if you don't uh keep up and attend and everything we can just kick you up but we'll still keep your money and we'll still like charge you with the debt and also the debt is completely like it sticks with you for the rest of your life it's just like yeah not the concept of a lot of these things that bugs me it's the amounts that it's gotten to i don't yeah. expect education to be free it can't be and it shouldn't be but it's sure yeah, yeah. I, it's just fucking, it's just like, the nickel and diming you know dollars it's a book just fucking print yeah. it a billion times yeah and if you expect, <laughs> just give me a copy yeah like i expect paid education to be of a really high caliber like right fucking reason yeah, you're paying but I, for it. I wasted my money hmm cheap high school I went to, the cheap four-year all-boys Catholic high school I went to taught me a shit ton. And the way more, in the more expensive college that I went to for a year after that, I learned nothing. And I think the teachers were half brain dead. It was pathetic. Yeah. My, I, I think that when it comes to my college experience, I mean, I, uh, I tinkered with the idea of being bi did that once and I was like, eh, no. Uh, I got like really into weed, like just fucking stupid amounts of marijuana, uh, like for four fucking years straight. Um, I still gra graduated with like decent GPA and everything too. Uh, ended up wanting to be like a voice actor because, you know, it's like, oh, everyone's like, oh, you have voice actor voice. And then so I, I went there like a retard being like, I'm going to major in voice acting. Everyone's like, that's not a thing. And then they're like, well, the closest thing to that is mass communications. So then I was like, okay, but everyone there was like this huge radio head. They're like, fucking radio was great. Like, the satellite radio is bad, but in reality, they were just saying that because it was like threatening the livelihood of their careers. So they, they knew like their days were well, numbered. I feel like if you were interested in mass communications, you'd go to a seminary. Seminary? <laughs> Noise. <laughs> 
Anyway. That's so um, stupid. I love it. <laughs> uh, I still don't. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Mass. Um, right. Mass. Mass. Yep. Mass like like the religious mass? Yes, mass. Seminary school. Uh, for yeah, priests. Of course. It ties with seminary. Uh, uh, you know very good. Oh. Uh, I think it was good, yeah. right? I think so too. I just Um and uh I, I went to a uh yeah, I ended up uh being like mess mess uh mess comms is kinda of boring and uh I don't really you know, they want if if you go on and you do radio, they want you to be able to like pronounce a bunch of like difficult foreign names for sports teams and know that like how to properly pronounce like every fucking city in the entire planet and hmm. you know act like you give a shit about all of this uh, super bland, just generic like oh fucking prime minister passed the bill and you know just like narrate all of that or whatever or just be like this next track coming. I just I was just like radio seems like really dumb and it's just I don't care about any of it. And then I went to, I wanted to be like a clinical psychologist. And then it turned out that clinical psychologists, you need like a fucking straight 4.0 across the board. And you need like, uh, you just need like absolutely perfect marks and a ton of letters of recommendations from like the best professors. And I was like, and because clinical psychology is like working with the craziest of the crazy, where it's like you're working just with the most unstable people with like fucking nine different personalities in one body. And I was like, that sounds awesome. I fucking, that sounds really interesting and challenging and, and you know, like beneficial to society. That turns out it's like super gate kept behind just yeah, like, like ridiculously. Astronaut. What do you say? Like an astronaut? Um, I don't follow. It's like an astronaut. All the things that you described, the attributes of that, like an astronaut. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Um, but like for me more, I, I was really into the idea of like rehabilitation and everything. And so it was, it was uh, really interesting to me, like the idea of just, cause I mean, part of that, part of that I think came from like my own trauma as a child and how it kind of fucked me up growing up too. Uh, cause I have like a lot, I'm not like going to delve into it or anything like that, but there's definitely like a lot of fucking like turmoil in my childhood and everything. Um, and, and so like, it was very appealing to me, uh, to imagine, oh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna help all these people who have issues. And then I, after a while, I realized that wasn't really viable. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll do IO psychology, which is industrial organizational psychology, which is just like, uh, you know, people make those personality like inventory quizzes, like the big five and uh, Machiavellianism and shit like that. I was like, this seems, uh, you know, whatever. This is pretty much the only like remaining bastion for me to like get a job in this field. And then it turns out you're supposed to go get your master's, which is like another fucking two to four years of college. And you have to go get like an unpaid internship. And I called around a bunch of places and no one would accept me. So I was just like, I guess I'm just doing YouTube. This whole thing is a fucking wash. But uh, yeah, a lot of weed, a lot of uh, sex with attractive girls that probably had a lot of issues. And that's why they had sex with me. It's a okay, strange so thing to say. I have a, I have a question. Yeah, it's honest. And, and it's a, a totally honest question. Yes. I.O. has to do with Machiavellianism? Um, well, no, like, Machiavellianism is a personality trait, or it's like, you know, it's kind of sort of like the, what is it, the dark triad of personality traits, where it's basically just sort of cynicism and, like, opportunism Narciss and narcissism, yeah, exactly, all that shit. So it's like, in order to test for Machiavellianism, you need to be able to come up with like an inventory, um, like a personality inventory, which is those questions where it's like, on a scale of one to five, or like, you know, uh, strongly agree, strongly disagree, or neutral, you need to answer these questions. And basically what they are is like four or five different rephrasings of the same question. So it's like, I, uh, I think that violence is never the answer, would be contradicted by, if someone were in my house and I had to defend myself, I would, you know, I think that violence is justified, or like whatever, that's just kind of a random example, probably not perfect. Uh, so they, they would just like come up with two different examples or five different examples of like the same thing phrased multiple different times to try to catch you like knowingly lying about that sort of stuff. Uh, so that way they can get to like the, the true sort of heart of the matter. Um, and so IO psychologists, industrial organizational psychologists basically exist to uh, use training like curriculum and like personality inventories or like, uh, you know, proficiency inventories to say, Oh yeah, here's how we can test to see if you're going to be the right person for the job or the right personality fit for this position. And uh, if if that exists, then you you distribute it and have people take it. And if it doesn't, then you come up with the methodology to make one. And I was just like, this is fucking boring. 
but it was like the thing I thought I had to do because I was like, I'm already fucking five years into this degree, so. Hmm. <laughs> College sucks ass, holy shit. The, can I just say? It's not always an anime, I though, really? right? Like, we should probably say that. <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, this, yeah, it's not like I'm glad sure. I went. It mm. just happened yeah, to be same. really good for me in a way that I didn't <laughs> imagine it would be. Yeah. I thought I would learn things and get knowledge that I could use and apply for something, but instead it was a bunch of non-college <laughs> specific things that turned out to really help me. Yeah. I think yeah. you could get all the same things by having a roommate who goes to college. I do not disagree. Probably. So. Yeah. I don't think you I mean, need it's, to uh... I, I'm a massive anti-academic at this point, simply because I've been around academia for so much that uh, I, I realize they're all frauds. Moriarty, what um, what did you? Yeah, you're not not wrong though. What what did you um go to medical school for exactly, like specifically? If you don't mind me asking. Pharmacology. Oh, okay. So drugs. Like sort of like. Yeah, so the sort of pharmacy. Same thing you went like... for, but like the other side. <laughs> Really? So, like, can you break that down for me a little bit more? Like, what does that entail exactly? How drugs interact with you, and how drugs are created, and, and what they do. So, oh, how, they, okay. how they interact with the body and things like that. The therapeutic index, and uh, pharmacokinetics, and pharmacodynamics, and all the garbage random shit about how a drug works. You know, um, hmm. for... For example, a random ass thing that that interacts with people, or, or rather that uh, people find uh, uh, interacts with their system all the time, right? Like grapefruit juice. If you take yep. grapefruit juice and a drug, it interacts with all of the same receptors. Yeah. In your yes. Like, um, uh, we get that a lot. Juice. In a, I, I work at a food pantry every week. And when we pass out grapefruit, a lot of people say, I can't drink it because I'm on such and such medication. Yeah, um, so it, and that, that interacts with a lot of drugs. It's one of the, the like big yeah. pillars of the thing. So that kind of stuff, how it works and what interacts with the drug and what the yeah. drug interacts with. That actually reminds me, a uh, brief interjection, but I was like looking up like, um, I don't remember how I was Googling it, but like the girlfriend and I were going to get stoned. And uh, I was like, I had heard that like mango was good for it or something like that, and it turns out that like yeah, if you something about like the the composition of mangoes or mango probably the mango flesh actually, um, if you do that, then it, it like it like makes more synapses like available to be bound like the the cannabinoid um whatevers. Sure. I don't really know the terminology. And so yeah, anyone out there who uh, sounds like a is, is an a, a, anyone out there who's an avid pothead. Uh, Get into mangoes apparently within 30 minutes prior to the smoke session it apparently makes it better but yeah that's that's cool so it's kind of more of like the biological sector of it i mean there's a couple of different sides to it you could look at it from how it interacts with the body to literally how the drug itself works yeah. um you can look at it from how the drug uh you know it's therapeutic um abilities so how it affects the person to literally it binds with this receptor and this and that you know like it, there's a lot of different potentials to what you want to do there um mm. i don't know man <laughs> i mean the other thing i was going to ask and then we can like move on is 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 our our comprehension our database of like you know, drug uh, inter like pharmaceutical interactions, and like our, our understanding of like all of the different uh, chemical terms and concepts and and glossaries and whatever. Is it all so? <clears throat> is it pretty like uh, digestible in the sense that you can just know off the top of your head like most of the the major ones, or is it just sort of a formality of just doing a quick like fucking spreadsheet search to go? Oh yeah, this and this does that. I'm sorry, can you explain your question differently? Because I'm not yeah, sure so like, I understand it. So, like, I just, just kind of assume that anyone that goes into any sort of medical field is just, like, Omega Big Brain. Uh, because there's, you know, it's quite um, quite sophisticated, quite complex. So I was just asking from your experience um, in, in sort of learning this stuff, is it is it kind of simplistic in, like, the, uh, you know, oh, yeah, it's it's mostly just these big ones that you have to know. 
Or is it like, is there a lot and you're like, I only know some of these, I'm never going to hope to learn the rest of them? Or is it just like, oh, I'm just going to do a fucking quick, like, control F through this fucking Excel spreadsheet and that'll give me any answer I need? Is that still too broad? So when we're talking about pharmacology, we're saying that we want to understand the drug. You can take a single sheet and you can look at this sheet and you can say, okay, so here's the bioavailability, here's how this is going to be excreted through your hepatic system, whatever, right? And you'll look at that and you'll go, okay, I understand this. But it's not so much understanding the word of what is a therapeutic index, it's understanding all of the various things that tie into that. So, yeah, sure, right. it's not super complicated, but it takes time. And, and you okay. do have to you know, devote some time to that. Uh, okay. That being said, sure, I think anybody could learn it. Uh, you can yeah. learn the basics pretty base, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting deep thinking. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. I wasn't prepared to talk about pharmacokinetics tonight. Yeah, no, Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to fucking... I didn't mean to, like, put you on the spot or anything. I just, every time I, like... Um, it's not every day that it's like I just know people that went to medical school, so I'm just always like, "Oh, what's that like?" Uh, I I was really interested in pandemics and epidemiology, actually. So fitting. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the irony. Yeah, no, that's um. And yeah, you couldn't, cool. save that's... couldn't save us. Couldn't save us. What the fuck? No. Asshole. Um. Kotor 3 by Larian would be amazing, but I'd hate to subject or Larian, I don't know, to working with Disney. So, oh, Larian cool. or like a, a new game? They made Divinity Original yeah. Sin 1 and 2 in the new Baldur's Gate. Yep. Oh. I don't know that I would want a coder from them, though. I would want a Warhammer game from them. Ooh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? It would yeah. be very cool. Yeah, that was that's, really that's a kind of system that supports melee and ranged and different technologies and abilities and classes really well. So I think yeah. that would work really well. I, I would be very interested to play a Warhammer 40k game <clears throat> uh, that was made by Larian. Yeah, because, you know, one of the neatest things that they do is, is a lot of their um, mechanics are very systemic. So you can, you know click uh, or you can and lock pick a door or you can break it down or you can set it on fire you can break this barrel and the oil will run down and set that on fire like there's a lot of neat stuff there that if you took that into a warhammer universe could be very cool let's do it yeah <laughs> um give the people what they want larry and more i don't know that i the kotor three actually mm, who knows, i don't sorry. know if i would ever want that because like how could you do it where it would matter anymore? How oh, it just wouldn't be like a fucking blatant cash grab, you mean? Yeah, well, because... You might rely on that IP like, one day, though. I could see them doing it. Being like, hey, oh, yeah. you guys they, like this. They are starting to pull some of the stuff into... Uh, into... What's Rebels? That has some stuff in it. And the Clone Wars has some stuff in it. They've mentioned Revan, I think, at least once. So, like, they could potentially pull it in and, and have it be there. I don't know. Also, I like that right as um, Moriarty was like kind of chiming in on that, Mahler was about to read a question and he just went, Mahler. So I just imagine he's like a Pokemon that has to periodically say his own name. <laughs> Better than Ball Blaster. <laughs> it's true. Uh... But Mola, Rags, Tasm 1 and 2, good or bad films? I'd say really bad. Um, bad, very bad. They're I'd terrible. I'd say very, very bad. Kind of embarrassing. With one being two. You know, I, I liked the casting of Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought he yeah. would be a really good Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. I never really felt for Toby. Toby. Toby? It is Toby. I am. That is Toby. McGuire. It's Toby, yes. I never really felt Toby was like Spider Man. Hmm. I don't know. Um Yeah, we think they're really bad. Which is better, Spider Man two or Tasm two? I would say Spider Man two. Um I don't 
remember Tazm too very much. So I think that gives it to Spider-Man too. <laughs> I haven't seen it since I saw it the first time. So yeah, I don't blame you for yeah. rewatch it. Yeah, it's been a while. I just remembered three was like kind of hot garbage. At least I think that whole fucking like dance scene like marred the rest of my experience of Spider-Man three. Oh no, people talk about how that's aged really well now. It's really funny. Not hey, cringy at all. Silly. Oh yeah, no, I like the part where he gyrates his hips and like moves his hands like in a circular motion and kind of. That's how we has, understand. Like, this weird fucking, he like, is going bangs on a, in his face. He's going on a bad sort of streak. We can tell he's he dyed boy. his yeah. hair black. Was that because he got infected with the fucking venom goop? It's been so long. I yeah, he's going all he's going all naughty. And then people <laughs> will like boy. try and justify the movie by being like, "Hey, the film dealt with the idea of like a duality, okay? Like a you're suffering and, and you're becoming more selfish, and then you need to check yourself." And it's like, shut the fuck up. Just fucking everything. searching for all this insightful meaning. It's like, shut you up. You can do it with everything. I think you, can, the, you literally can do that with everything. Did it with um, I want it. Like, wasn't I'm it sorry. The, I mean, like, fucking... Yeah, go on. The Death and Khan guy, the first, like, debate that Wolf and I did, I'm pretty sure... I remember the example was Suicide Squad? And he was like, you can't pull meaning out of Suicide Squad, and it was like, it's a film about a bunch of uh, misfits working together to overcome their differences and their flaws and helping <laughs> other people. It's like, it's easy. <laughs> and you can fucking what? do whatever. <laughs> Did someone say something? And I just, it's like, uh, what was that game that was made by, uh, Alex Hawalka? The one with, like, the animal people, and it was like... Uh, a... Zootopia? What was it? Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods, yeah, so, like, and for the record, like, I, you know, what happened to Alex is fucking terrible, and Zoe Quinn, go fuck herself, She's literally, like, one of the most irredeemable pieces of shit ever from everything I've seen. However... And so, you know, rest in peace and all that. Like, I don't, uh, I don't ever mean to, like, shit on his legacy. But, like, I never really thought that that game deserved all the hype that it got. Um, I can understand how, like, people from an emotional standpoint would be like, yeah, this really, like, hits home for me. And this really, uh, I definitely empathize with, uh, the idea that, like, my small town is kind of shutting down and I'm moving away. And it's like everything's changing and, like, all the things that I grew up with, all this, like, wonderful nostalgia. Is like it's all just sort of being dashed as as uh, everything's going corporate or like you know everyone's moving away or whatever. But like the dialogue in that game, I thought that was so fucking bad. But people never wanted to hear any criticism about it. It was always just well, my experience was exactly the same, and it's really beautifully captured in, in like a poignant fashion. And I just yeah, I don't know. It's kind of what that reminds me of. It's just like ah, oh, the, the themes of the themes of this, and it's just, yeah, but it's still bad. It's like. The Night in the Woods is still a game where you just kind of hit the A button a lot and progress dialogue the, and the split of like, yeah, I get what it's about. We're talking about how shittily yeah. it executed it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people like, Night in like, the Woods nah. could have been done a million times better, um, with less like fucking lol XD tacos, like all that sort of shit. But it just it didn't. It's a shame. Um, would be that's probably a take I'm gonna get shit on for. <laughs> <You're lacking. laughs> People do love that game. Love that. I didn't. You've just attacked things. Like you've that. attacked things. That's enough, right there. I definitely think that Alex Hawoka deserved a better fucking fate than he got. That's for goddamn sure. But I still don't think that that is. I'll qualify by saying that I'm sure that it, you know, had I played the game from start to finish with an open mind, you know, I probably would have been like, he's pretty charming, has some good points. But just from watching it on streams. I definitely, you know, I got kind of that Life is Strange vibe. I'm, pro I'm probably wrong. It's just my experience. So, you know, watching to pay more attention to the narrative because you're not distracted by having to do gameplay. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, would you guys be down for talking about any of the Bond movies on a video before the new abortion comes out next year? Um, yeah. I don't think we, we haven't done any Bond stuff like ever, have we? Just in James Bond no, movies. Um, uh... Much yeah, like I don't really have Marge with potatoes. I think they're neat, but I don't have much of an interest in them in a way that would have implied that I found them neat if you just watched me casually. Yeah, I mean, I've never really, uh, never really taken the Bond movies to be anything beyond just sort of like somewhat goofy, like British espionage and sort of 
ridiculous situation Spawn can get himself out of this time. But yeah, I, I've never really thought they were like these uh, amazing cinematic masterpieces as much as they were just sort of like thrill rides. If that uh, makes sense. I, so I'm not really sure what we would talk about. Yeah, I mean, I, I would happily comment on it, but it's just not my bag. I don't care that much about James yeah. Bond. Well, you're British. You should fucking it should run the oh, course through no, your veins. That's terrible. Yeah, well, don't allow such I, a I, cultural icon to be did you, <laughs> did you guys play Metal Gear Solid Three at all? No. No. <laughs> nope. Uh, there's uh, it's like you know, you're. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but it's like you're playing this big boss. He's like this fucking perfect soldier, and he's going in, and he's. Trying to like fly into Russia and like see they have like a nuclear weapon or whatever. And uh, your 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 commander Major Zero, he's like his ma he's like a fan of like David Bowie and and uh, James Bond and all this. He's just like super super British. Wrong David Bowie. And, um, no, I love David Bowie. I'm just saying like they, they paint him out as being sort of eccentric and like a huge like media fan because he's sort of like an extension of Kojima's like expression of all the media he loves. And he's just like. <laughs> uh, paramedic, this like this woman who like you call her to save your game. She's just like talking about James Bond. Like every time you save, she quiz you about cinema. She's like, "Have you seen Creature from the Black Lagoon?" It's all like you know era appropriate. It's all like late sixties. Um, and then Snake's just like, "I don't really care about James Bond." And she's like, "You should not say that to the major. He's gonna have a fan." And he just fucking rips the remote. Out. <laughs> he rips the radio out of her hand. Like, what? How could you say you don't like James Bond? It's amazing. Is is how would you like to have a, a a a snake that that actually is a gun? So when you're you're wrestling with a snake and you you aim it at him and you shoot him, it'd be it'd be brilliant. And it's just like this whole thing where he's just absolutely fucking gushing about it. That's always kind of been my longest standing understanding of um <coughs> what James Bond is. It's just a lot of like sort of goofy like look at this really cool invention that's actually not that practical. No, they're definitely trying to make it more and more down to reality in the newer iterations. And as far as I know, David Dino Craig hates him, like the character or whatever, or hates doing these really? films. Yeah, it's part of what makes everyone annoyed <laughs> that he's still Bond. They're like, just go away if you don't like the role. <laughs> Why? I mean, truly that brought a lot of great uh, career prospects to him. Um, I yeah, think he's a little grateful. He's probably fine Too now, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. As far as I know, he's super invested in playing that goofy fucking character from Knives Out. That they're making another movie yeah. for that character. He was for some fucking reason. Detective Foghorn Leghorn. I like James Bond, but I'm more of a Family John. Of five bucket for 555. What'd you say, Moriarty? I said I like James Bond, but I'm more of a Lacare fan. Ned. I don't know what that yeah. is. How do you spell that? Realistic spies. Ah. Like, he's a hitman. That's really what he is. In in the Ian Fleming stories, he's a killer. That's the whole point of the license to kill is to murder for his country. Uh, John Lacare writes books that are more about natural spying, setting up dead drops, building hideouts, you know, double crossing. Cartoons of explosions and machine guns down at Venice Beach? Yeah. Exactly. Fucking the shit, shit that's sort of like eye candy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like uh, if you ever watch a John Le Carre film, it's usually incredibly boring and very stimulating mentally. I like that sort of shit though. Like, uh, can you can you like type uh, his name to me so I can look into that? That sounds fun. I can even usually recommend the more the, film. the more. Yeah, I can recommend Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Ah. Hmm. I mean, no, I mean, like, can you literally just type out his... Yeah, yeah, John. Oh, Lacar. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that sounds fun. I like a lot of dry stuff that's very, like, intellectually riveting. Like, uh, I talked about the anime Monster before, where it's, like, super, super slow, and, like, there's a lot of, like, exposition and dialogue between the more interesting sections, but it's it's so suspenseful. It's so... You just... You're filled with a sense of dread the farther the story gets along, and it's just learning about these evil fucking things that have happened and just ugh, I love that shit I love anything that has like a slow burn for the most part um you guys doing no shave November no fuck that shit no, no. I just no shaved today I, like I don't think I did oh, you think it on the nut <laughs> well, well oh wait like you talk, oh, I shaved my face yeah, that's what they're saying. No, I, you, you, you were like, no shave November? And I was just anticipating you were going to talk about I, I, no I, nut November next. Just like, no nut November, no shave November was tied 
in a certain way. But, <laughs> the uh, nether yeah, regions, I, yeah. I shake my face during uh, the month of November. Mm. I yeah, like I only shaving. shave. Yeah, well, I only I shave the other areas out of consideration for the corner. Hmm. Hmm. I said I, I, I said I only shave. Mostly, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, never I only sh shave my, my uh, non-face areas well, out of consideration. Well, well. Very kind of you. Yeah. Um, there it is. Subjectively, I prefer Mass Effect 2. I love Mass Effect 1, but the ending choice sequences were handled poorly, and there aren't enough characters here to explain why. What was the context? Well... Yeah. Like with Saren? Yeah, I, obviously I have no idea what they're referring to specifically. They just said the ending choice sequence sequences were handled poorly. In Mass Effect have you 1, played? there wasn't really that much of a choice sequence in Mass Effect 1. It was a yeah. mission where you were fighting up primarily the cit the main Citadel Tower uh, to it get have to just... Saren. They might have been referring to 3, because that's the one that everyone fucking lampoons for like the choice system. Yeah, they the ending literally... was shit. Yeah. Mahler, did you play the Mass Effect series? Nope. Like, oh, before my Game of Thrones Season 8 was a thing, there was Mass Effect 3. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But like, no, it like... was just the most... Uh, it was a shame because as a game, I really enjoyed it. There was, yeah, some really, the there was some really good stuff in there, but then you get to the end, and it's all for nothing because you feel so yep. demoralized about the world. Yep. I mean, I was yeah. around yeah. when the Mass Effect 3 thing happened, for sure. Mahler, fucking hell. Mahler, you... You fucking... You, of all people... Oh, will love Mass Effect 1 and 2. Like, 3 is, yeah, it's, like, way more action-y. The, the, the gameplay probably feels better than it's ever felt, but everything else I is I think it downgrade. does. Yeah I, yeah, I would say that Mass Effect 3, in terms of the options it gives you for armor and things like that, and weapons, and what you can do to them, and yeah. the abilities and how they're upgraded, I, I do think they're, they're a step up from Mass Effect 2. The gameplay, yeah, gameplay yeah. wise, I enjoyed it way more than Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Um, you you can get really customizy with stuff, um, so you could make like an adept, give yourself the lightest, tiniest pistol and nothing else, and have yeah. just like super fast recharging biotic abilities, but basically no gun power. And you yeah. can do interesting yeah. stuff like that. But I think I usually fuck me adept. the ending. Yeah, yeah. but Mahler, like you, um, mass like they're remastering the all three of them, I believe. Which it's really yep. just like retexturing and shit. Uh, I'm very excited about know. that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that because they can't just retexture Mass Effect One. It won't work. So I, I have yeah, a feeling yeah. that they're going to do a lot like Mafia did. Where I, yeah, I will really be hope that's the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really hope that's the case. Uh, for, Mass Effect One. Are we saying? Um. Yeah, I think it's for PC, PC, and like PS5 and yeah, whatever. Yeah. It'll uh, be coming next year sometime. So excited! I might play that. Who uh, knows? And they it's... did just announce Mass Effect Five last night. Yeah. So we'll see. That one's. That one's so worried. For. I I think Bar. Are they assuming is Barware is Barware assuming it's going to exist by the time that game's finished? Right. My response was, oh, and they did so well with Anthem. Let's and Andromeda. Right. Like, like how oh. is this company? How is EA paying the bills for this studio anymore? <laughs> how are the lights on? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, like I'm serious. EA is notorious for destroying studios. <laughs> How is Bioware still alive after these two monumental failures? Monument, mm. truly. Mm. These weren't small games, man. Yeah, these were like shrugs of, eh. Like, these were both massive failures. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, it's... So I don't know. Fucking we'll sucks. I guess they're hoping that Mass Effect Trilogy, the remaster, will just bring in boatloads of cash, which it will, I'm sure. It will. And then, uh, you know, Mass Effect 5, they'll probably just do a whole lot of fan service. <laughs> yeah. But Mahler, um, I'll say this and then shut up because I, I keep talking about it. But, like, basically, the entire thing about Mass Effect that's so great is just the writing is, is very good. Like... It's really, really, really in depth and everything. Like, there's a lot of like space politics and like the conflict between races and like the humans versus the Turians and like the fucking this is big, the big, big miscommunication a long time ago where like humans accidentally fired upon like a Turian ship in a sector sector where they didn't have the authority to do so. And now like fucking hundreds of years later, I think like the Turians are still like fucking humans, assholes. And it's just it's so it's just like there's a lot of um. You know, there's, there's, there's like jellyfish people 
that have like a fucking given name and like a they refer to themselves contact wars yeah, the Contact Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably got a few details in there wrong. That, that was in the lifetime of characters. Like, Ashley Williams' dad was involved in the Contact Wars. Yeah, that, that's why That's why I said I think, because I knew there was, it was probably only like 10, 20 years old or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, there's just a, like, you know, there's... there's a, I forget what they're called, but like these jellyfish people, and, and they talk about how they're all like a co this collective neural network, and they don't refer to themselves as individuals. Like, they don't have a sense of ego. They're just all one big collective... And they're all like they call themselves like this one, and there's just it's it's super super in depth. It's it's not even like to say that it's completely genius, um, because I'm sure there's a lot of like uh, things borrowed from Star Trek, if I had to guess. But it just it's it's the it's the franchise that that made me appreciate sci-fi like for the first time ever, um, and uh, the the dialogue is all really good and like the decisions that you make genuinely matter. Unlike games today, where everything is just like the illusion of choice, <laughs> up until the third game, of course. Well, they all say? matter until the last game when it is revealed. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it didn't matter. <laughs> the, like in Mass Effect Two, like you would just get like little notifications, uh, like basically space emails about decisions you made in the past. Yeah. Like the right. like, like if you save the queen, uh, the queen bug on Novaria. Oh, the Ragnar. Yeah. Email. Like, hey, thanks. And stuff yeah, like no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. Like, if you choose to, if you choose to, a lot of them are just like we reference them in the future, just to like remind you that you made them. Yeah, I mean, there's one where like uh, there's a quest where this girl's like, I I'm a reporter. I need you to like find this information for me. And I'm like, okay. And there's this other guy who's like, oh yeah, but I'll fucking pay you more if you give it to me. And like, I was just dumb and like sort of brain turned off, coasting through the game. And I went and I gave it to the guy instead, not realizing I'm supposed to give it to the girl. And then I encountered the girl in the second game, and she sees me, and she goes, "You," and I'm like, "Oh fuck, she remembers." And it's just like, not you know, not like amazingly groundbreaking, like holy shit, this broke new ground, but just very, it's it, like a million <laughs> tiny little things like that where it's like, <laughs> hold on, hold on, it's not groundbreaking, like oh my god, this broke the ground, <laughs> <laughs> Bro broke new, broke new ground. So, yeah. That's, re that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not groundbreaking. I'm glad, glad you like, it. like this broke. It's not ear shattering. Like, oh, it shattered my ears. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's 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 like you know. So yeah, it's it, rags is right. There's definitely like things about it where it's like, uh yeah, whatever. Like if you if you choose not to kill that big important character in the first game, and then later on in the second game when they normally would have become the king of the people or whatever, um, not trying to get spoilery, then instead it's just like a nondescript, like random person who's like, I don't matter, but also I'm the king. Like yeah, if you did I kill them that, in the first game. The, the huge issue there and one of my big complaints is that you could only save him if you have a bunch of charisma points. Yeah, and that's like Paragon huge. or Renegade, yeah. So yeah. like charisma was always like, you could still do all right, but you'll just get better stuff by using charisma. Whereas right. that's like, oh yeah, one of your squad mates is dead for the rest of this trilogy if you didn't know to put because you, yeah, you didn't have the foresight that you would really that this would be extremely fucking important. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that kind of set the standard of like, hey, I, social I'm, it, fucking decisions are gonna be a big deal in this game. If it did set a standard, I don't like that. I, that's not a good. Standard. No, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm just saying, like, I can, I can understand. Yeah, I can understand how it's sort of like, um, what do you call it? Like, if Fucking if your if your decisions that are narrative and thematic aren't strong enough for me to care without tying it to like an in-game mechanic, then they're not really good, are they? <laughs> yeah. No, no, like, you're right. I'm just. I just mean like oh, did, I, that. That was. It, it's oh. not like good design per se. I just remember that really left an impression on me. I'm like, fuck. I, I had to kill one of my own teammates because he went fuck. I mean, his reasons for going crazy make perfect sense. I think like just the fact that I mean, you know, like the um, of him. It like is, it's it really is. stupid of him <laughs> to make that decision. I understand why he would want to, but the fact that he commits to it is really fucking stupid. No, yeah, I just always accepted early on that Krogans are just completely fucking written to just be like the most like 
fucking like walnut brain retard fucking brutes in the entire series. So it's like the fact that he would just get so caught up down from it. What do you say? But you have to use charisma and pragmatism to talk him down from it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, like, it's yeah, it's so it's a stupid decision for sure. Yeah, I'm like I there there's the, it's it's really a mostly solid series that does really great yeah. world building and it's very immersive yeah. and there's a lot of great characters. There's just things along the way where especially in retrospect I go, eh, well, that was that wasn't that great. Oh, yeah, fucking absolutely. I mean, I think that I think Thane Krios is like the fucking highlight of the entire series for me. I really, really enjoyed his backstory. It wasn't even anything extremely groundbreaking, but... I think it's Morden. Yeah, no, Morden's great too. Good. I just... I... Thane for me was just so striking. His design, the way that like the camera would zoom in and you'd actually see his fucking like... His pupils whenever he would like flash back to like a really vivid... I mean, in terms of writing, I think Morden... Yeah, just no, because of like what he did, you mean, and like how he has to carry that weight, well, he did, how he reasons with it, how he resists you if you try to talk him out of it, how he eventually may or may not come around to seeing things a certain way. Yep. It all feels very reasonable. Yeah, and then Jacob was yeah, just like, like I want to find character. my dad. Oh yeah, the only black character has to find his missing dad. Yeah. It's <laughs> but, um, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, but Taylor. yeah, so Jacob Mahler, it's just it's. It's uh, even even if like you know there's like bits of tropiness here and there and like there's some parts of the script that don't really make sense like Regs would you recommend that like you think Mahler would enjoy like Mass Effect one and two I really enjoyed one as well. It's good for it, it would be one of those games where he would play like on his own. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. But um. It's something that. Yeah, I think he'd probably enjoy it. Then again, I think he'd he'd enjoy a lot of games. I know I would. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it's there, and you can probably. <laughs> yeah. get off basically no monies uh but I, I would highly recommend them yeah 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 they uh, shit keep your eye out for that I, I i firmly hold mass effect 2 as like one of my top five games of all time and that's coming from like me a weeaboo so that says something you're um so how many in that top five though five or ten though um how many in that top five or what doesn't matter um because we were just talking five, about games ten? And someone sent yeah. a super chat in saying Mauler played Dusk. It's a quake-like FPS game. Someone Dusk sent is Dusk awesome. Game. That Dusk sounds familiar. Right, yeah. I have no idea what Hi. it is. Dusk. You like that game, Rag? Oh, yeah. Dude, it's stellar. It is super cool. Very, very immersive for a game of its style. Um, mm -hmm. it runs well. It plays really well. It's super fun. Uh, Fast-paced. It's not terribly oh, long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this does look fun. Dusk Are these KKK quick. members? No. I swear to God, I saw yeah, I saw him shoot what looked like a Klansman. No, I guess they're just like hillbillies <laughs> with like burlap sacks. Yeah, this looks. I, I think I've seen people play this before. I think I saw H Bomber guy streaming this. Um. Yeah. Here. I agree with Lord Tonald on the ZQ. Foo fart noise. Zoos. Hello rags. Love you, Mola. Um. I forget what it, what even ZQ is a is a meme reference to. To be honest with you, zombie the question. Zoo question. Maybe. What is the zombie question? Maybe it is the zombie hmm. question. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find out someday. Um, uh, have you seen Rich Evans and Jack Packard's Soma review? I don't believe I have. I want to. I hope I hope it's not cringe. <laughs> Cause uh. You know, a lot of people said a lot of stuff about Soma that was just just not the kind of thing you like listening to. I'm gonna say it. That's my honest po opinion. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rags. Hey. Star Trek TNG has a lot of very strong scripts. Worthy studying as a writer, even if it's not your cup of tea. Also, hi, Rags. Hey there. Um, yeah, I mean, I hear nothing but good things about TNG. I just never saw it. So I sure the do next hope it. generation? Can. Yep. Oh, man. I adore I Star Trek The Next Generation. Well, I'm not a nerd, so I don't watch these, like, programs about space and people, you know, jumping around and shit. It's not my thing. I prefer uh, grounded things and 
the One Punch Man. It's about it's about people and their issues. TNG's like, oh look, we're in space. You've seen that before, it's called Star Wars, of which they ripped off. By being in Spain. I wonder how that went back in the day when those two were like the peak of sort of discussions and TNG was framed as like the smart one. Poor Star Wars fans. But they, I guess they would argue they have the cool one. <laughs> yeah, I might watch uh, TNG one day. Let's see why not. Sup, Mauler? Hello. New DLC for Terminator Resistance lets you play as an Infiltrator T-800. Data mining suggests more DLC in the future. I mean, weirdly, I've okay. only ever really heard good things about that game. And... Rated really positively. Yeah, pe people like... Yeah. And they're usually framed in a way that's like, it's not bad, actually. And you're like, oh. 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 Immortal Rags. Uh, have either of you seen Shin Godzilla? There is this video I've seen called Why I Don't Like Shin Godzilla by Accented Cinema and it's prime EFAT material. Um, I think I watched it at some point. It didn't phase me. Uh, I can't remember if I watched it with, like, Smiler or Wolf or somebody, but, uh... Yeah, I think a lot of people consider it, like, really good Godzilla content, so... Um, anybody who's looking for Godzilla stuff, go check that out, I suppose, but, um... Yeah, well, the next Godzilla thing we'll be covering is probably going to be versus Kong, that that whole thing. I'm I'm curious how they're going to write it so Kong has a chance. Mm-hmm. Because Godzilla's not just big; he's also got incredible superpowers. Yeah, and he can like use laser breath and all that sort of thing. So Kong is like cool and everything, but he's kind of balanced for his own stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, who would win, Master Chief or Space Marine? He's like, well, obviously a Space Marine, but they're from different universes where they're just not balanced properly to fight each other, so it's a dumb kind of question. I hate that shit. Remember the one I told you about really annoyed me on that website? It was like, um, Ezio versus, uh, Alex Mercer. It's like, why the fuck? It's like everyone... Oh, are you talking about, uh, are you talking about fucking, uh, Death Battle? Well, it, it doesn't really matter. The, the, the point is that, um, there was like a tournament on a website and they just put all the people against each other, and the point of it was to honestly choose the one that you think would win in the battle, and loads of people would be like, well, Ezio's pretty smart, Ezio would find like a, a way. It's like a popularity contest. Yeah, absolutely. But it's Alex, like... Mercer is like a literal monster. He's, it's, it was dumb, and I was just like, I don't even yeah. fucking, like, I'm not, I'm not like an Alex Mercer person, I just, yeah. like, he'd win. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah it's just... It's... Uh, it's, it's a He's guy. like a horror movie this villain. Was, this was after, by win. the way, um, Ezio beats Big Daddy. And people were like, in fairness, Big Daddy would get annihilated by Ezio. It's like, how? Like, what no, is the scenario? Like, automatic he weapons. has a drill hand. It's an extremely thick armor and drills and shit. It was, and it was literally a fucking genetically modified human being. Incredible resilience. Like, Ezio compared to, like, what, a, a dude that's, like, trying to get revenge for his fucking murdered family? Like, I, I, revenge can get you far, I understand that, but... <laughs> He's an athlete. I don't, I don't see how... I don't see that technology exists from Ezio's time period that would, like, do anything to a big daddy. <laughs> like, I, that's how I feel about it. I was, I was like, how is this possible? It turns out it was, it was the big daddy from Bioshock 2, by the way, which is, like, the prototype big daddy that's even better. And it, yeah. it has yeah. access to all the fucking plasmids. And it's like, this is not... You can't win. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> you can't. Not even a c fucking debate. I think Big Daddy's from Bioshock One, but that just further weighs things yeah. in the favor of Big Daddy's. It's, it's the Bioshock yeah. Two. Can I say Bioshock Two gets a little bit too much hate just because like the main story is a little bit more bland compared to the gameplay. Just, uh, you know, yeah. The, yeah, we we usually end up yeah, defending no, it on this. Great. Show. Um, and the DLC I, is actually I think pretty awesome. I think it's more of the. Yeah, I like the DLC. I I think it's more of the um the the little like side quests and shit that really like make the game for me in well, terms of the story. The main thing that annoyed me, if I remember, is just I was like, who the fuck's Sophia Lamb? Where the hell did she come from? Like, what? She's, yeah, she's this major figure in the Bioshock world. And she's like, she wasn't mentioned at all in the first one. Like, how did this happen? And I I truly understood like the fucking the depth of her of her like sinful nature by the fact that she's like a fucking clinical psychiatrist gone rogue. Oh, I thought you were going to say woman. Because this is... Well, that's... Yeah. 
It's fucked up, Chase. It's she doesn't you know. do that. Most, 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 uh, most clinical psychiatrists are women for whatever reason. Well, in fact, like being in the psychology major, going back very briefly to college, uh, means it's like literally eighty percent of everyone in the class was a female all the time. So if you saw a dude yeah. in, a... you prefer those uh, a lot of those kinds of jobs. Yeah, Working like I guess the one-on-one -on -one people, yeah. 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 teaching so, like, women generally prefer that. Yeah, people-oriented jobs. Um. Mm -hmm. Howdy, mutually. Been a fan since the Major Lee video. Just got my ENG professor to allow my essay to be on TLJ and sent him your way. Also, hi, Raggles. Hello! God, you sent him my way. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen as a result of that, but hopefully it's fun. Oh. I feel like uh, professors would probably find YouTube reviewers to be... I feel like they'd use the word vulgar, you know? They'd be like, ew. What is this? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's nice and hip, and he's like, you know what? There's a lot of good shit happening on that YouTube. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Hope he has fun with it. Howdy ho there, Longletons. Just reminding you to again check out Star Wars and Lord of the Rings mods in Mordhau. I've actually gotten in contact with the creators, and we'll be doing some custom lines for Palpatism. Oh! The Star Wars one, or a Star Wars one, it's probably the one he's referring to. And it, it works alright. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It sounds pretty neat. Mm -hmm. uh, after finishing Bly Manor, I just want to say, different colored eyes are extremely attractive. They already look good in anime, but on Danny, awooga. Heterochromia? I believe that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Whatever floats your boat, if it's eye color, then... Blind mana yeah, will and, do it for you. And before then, she had homochromia because she was a lesbian. This is true. Uh, Wesker. Chris, it's your old pal Wesker. Holds up hand. Give me a Resident Evil 5. Oh. Oh. Get it? No. It's like. Like five. Perfect Dog is an EFAP gaming option, has co-op missions and counter-op as well, so one of you can be the bad guy during the story mission. Uh, Chris. Not gonna say no, you know? No idea what is in store for us next on old EFAP gaming. As I speak, the uh, the tonal episode hasn't even uh, gone out to Mooley yet, that's happened on Monday. That was a fun one. Doing EFAP movies on Christmas vacation. Um, like the National Lampoon stuff? Yeah, I guess so. You know, we could. Someday. Treat it like Home Alone, you know? Give it the old watch a Rooney. Uh, hello, Raggle Taggle. Hi! Thoughts on giving A Machine for Pigs another chance? I'm replaying it now, and I think the story, atmosphere, music are all top notch. Though I will admit the scenes. Sorry, I will admit the scares are a bit underutilized. I just have no interest at all in playing that game anymore. It was just a shallow copy of Dark Descent, and then Rebirth was a abortion, so... Just, you know, just have to live in a world where they could only get it right for the Amnesia series once. Also, Soma was a thing, which was nice. Well, let's say explosive barrels in Ahoy's voice. Ahoy talks like this. Explosive barrels. That sort of thing. I assume that's how he speaks. Uh, did you guys hear about Donkey's new Last of Us 2 video that came out a few days ago? He uses the stupidest arguments I've heard. We actually covered it. Yeah, we know. He does. Holy shit, we covered it with this selection, too. Or at the very <gasps> least, part of it. Oh my god. Crazy. Yep, it was intellectually dishonest, and it made me not like him as a person for making that argument. He was yeah, a he's a he's video. a Weasley guy. He's very bad with criticism. He likes very to dishonest. pretend he's very not doing fake. that and simultaneously yeah. argue his position being right. Yeah, it's really lame. It's all for fun, guys. I'm just having some fun now. Join my team just because all these guys are stupid. While I explain I, my point and try to show how I'm correct with my point, that he wants both. I, I did fucking love the unanimous. Uh, uproarious laughter when he says, Hi, my name's Tommy. I get shot with a magic bullet that performs surgery on me. 
<laughs> you guys like lost your shit at that part. Yeah, that was the one funny line I've ever heard him say. Yeah. That, well, no, it wasn't it was even, good. he didn't write it, but it, yeah. He didn't he was, write that? He, well, he's reading a comment. No, he did. It was, it was a YouTube comment, yeah. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I I take it back. He's never made me laugh. Oh. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I mean, nowadays, right? Like, whenever Kyle and I are watching uh, a donkey video, it comes out, I go, oh, look, a donkey made a video. And she's like, oh, okay, and we watch it. And just maybe, maybe we'll, like, do a little bowman, like, blowing nose out of your, blowing air out of your nose. But, you know, beyond that, it's like, yeah, that was, that was a video. That happened, yeah. Like he, I feel like his, his older videos used to be actually, like, pretty fucking funny. Like, Look up his H1Z1 video where he's playing with his community and people are walking up and like fucking blaring ear rate music and fucking smash mouth and he's screaming at them to stop and they do and he's like, oh, okay, that was, that was easy. I'm like, he goes around asking people for their pants, which they do, they give him pants and then he goes, okay, now give me your other pants, which is supposed to be their underwear, which you can't take off. And so then he shoots them. He, he just like walks up to a girl and goes, hey, uh... Why, why, why don't you have any pants? And she goes, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't have any pants. And he just fucking shoots her in the face, like, without hesitation. He just goes, fucking idiot. Should have brought pants. And it's just like, all of that, I thought that was quite charming the entire time. It's just him fucking murdering his fans yeah, in I an mean, online sheer game. Like, that's... Don't want to be doing yeah. a meme of, like, you should have stuck to comedy. But, like, I way prefer it when he was just messing around compared to... Yeah, you know, people are yeah. wrong about The Last of Us 2. insight. Yeah, it, it's it's just really hollow because he just does such yeah. a not, fucking bull's job. Yeah, he's not just adding he's much not, to the conversation. He's not intelligent enough and analytical enough for it. You can make emotional appeals, like I think we touched on last time, but does yeah, so I think it's yeah, like so can every cheapo person on the internet. Yeah, fucking. I just I feel like it's just cheap making emotional appeals. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm cool with them once fucking... you've set the groundwork. Like, if you explain all of the mechanics that led to your position of your emotional state, I'm I'm fine with it. Go ahead, but yeah, if you only at least you can elaborate on. It. Yeah, if you only go, I feel sad about this. You're like, okay. <laughs> do you do you guys uh, are you guys familiar with Super Eye Patch Wolf? Uh, yeah, he's like one of the most manipulative mm, channels no. in terms of emotional tisms on the whole. Yes, YouTube. I've never yes, heard but of everyone him. like. I liked his Simpsons video. He talked about how, like, Homer used to be kind of this downtrodden everyman, but now he's just, like, a gleefully ignorant idiot who's just, like, yippee to everything. That was a, that was a decent video. He actually made points in that one. But now, like, I, I got a fucking um, comment from someone that was, uh, talk he was saying, like, I'm glad that your videos are more, like, fact-oriented rather than everyone else, every other fucking video essayist on the platform convincing you that every piece of media is actually profound and striking at the very depths of the human experience. And that's like super eye patch roll to me. Is he's yeah, just that's... like, this, and and it's and it's like, and every time he speaks to, to his audience, he sort of has to get very close to the microphone. Like, this is how he actually talks this all the time. Meanwhile, you know, he got like a bunch of... He's, he's got yeah, he got like a bunch of 12 year olds that are like, you have very, or, yeah, yeah, it's been fucking years very. since I watched his shit, so. Yeah, no, I don't he has, watch And he has a good voice. He has a good voice. Yeah, it's but just he's like, it, it, that's, that's fake. That's a fake fucking voice. That's not, project. I Like, I know you can be louder. You don't need to act like you just talking this, like you oh, were yeah, saying, honestly, it's like people a, who, an offshoot of the fucking video essay bullshit where they just, they speak this yeah. way because it sounds like a wounded animal. That's what I always say. Like, you yeah, I was just about to say that. You found them in the forest, it's and they've like, got something profound to say about existence. Get that, just strike, just hit that fucking target of ennui. It's just so fucking... The Simpsons and then if you point it out, people are like... Quite Like, effective. for example, do you know like, do you know like Corpse Boyfriend, for example? No. He's just, he's just like a guy who used to do like kind of creepypasta readings, which is fine. And then he decided to be like a rap artist, and he was on like a game of he was like a, on an Among Us stream with PewDiePie, and that's like what kicked him off because everyone was constantly, like, oh my god, your voice, because the way that he talks in every single stream that he's ever in is just right here, but it's really it's really close to the mic, and he just has this these grains to his voice. It's like he does actually have a natural voice, but it's like I refuse to believe that that's literally the loudest he can get. He has like acid reflux or something, so it damages vocal cords, but. Huh. He's not even bad, but people never shut the fuck up about him, especially nowadays. He's just one of the most talked about. And you go on his Twitter, and you know he's reached complete celebrity status when all he has to do is is tweet out ellipses, exclamation point, or a single heart, and it breaks like fucking 500k likes. It just like it says nothing. 
and just I, I really I really wish we would stop just hey, absolutely listen, that great that, that, that less than three was very profound yeah it was Changed less than three represents more than just <laughs> symbols it's a powerful <laughs> powerful message I lo fucking love when you do like an American accent well, that was supposed to be Irish <laughs> <me up. laughs> yeah that didn't feel American at all I, I heard American um, like, powerful is more of a like Irish pronunciation, which is, I just comboed yeah, up my normal. Yeah, but whatever. I, 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 what I mean is, you didn't you didn't say like powerful. Yeah, like, I obviously wasn't using my voice. Whatever it's the word you said, it, it wasn't your usual British uh, delivery. So. It's, it always feels fake as fuck. Um, yes, and it is. I rarely have what could be called emotionally raised moments in my videos, but they're usually because I've I have set so many things out that I'm like. Okay, I want to make a point about how much this fucking annoys me. And you know, once you've gotten all the pieces, you can be like, you'll understand, right? Instead of just the whole video is that, because I feel like that's just fucking manipulative. But hey. Yeah, no, it's... What else are we here for it's, on it's, it's fucking, other than to bitch about video essayists? That's how it's just, everything is just hyperbole all the fucking time. Yeah. Nothing can just be like, yeah, it's fine, it's average. Like, fucking Pokemon Sword and Shield game came out, it was like rushed, there was clearly a lot of issues with it. People were like convinced it was literally like the fucking worst thing they've ever seen in their entire life. And it's like, yeah, there was definitely some negligence on the corporate level and, you know, the devs and everything, but it's, uh, it's still yeah. a fucking perfectly functional game. But everyone online was just clutching their pearls like fucking crazy, like wanting it to fucking crash and burn like internet mobs often do, you know? So but when I came out and took a middle ground. They don't reward nuance. They don't yes. reward nuance at all. Yes. Yeah. Twitter is like summarized in that way. It's like, welcome to a yeah. site that yeah. tries to discourage you from actually getting your point across. Yeah. Just oh, fucking yeah. bash people I, I, and. I felt that likes. way about. Einstein Youngblood and a lot of people are upset with me because I said everyone is being hyperbolic when they say that this game is shit and it's fucking terrible. I think they just they saw an easy target with the characters and the writing and they just fucking went ham on that game with how terrible. Is that the it game was. with the two like girls? Yes. Yes. And then yeah. but then I played through it and I'm like, oh, a lot of the things I say about this game are just not fucking true and it plays pretty darn well. And when it comes to environmental design, it's actually one of the best games I've ever seen. So, yeah. but people were just they had a fucking hate boner for that. And I heard people say, but, but this person said this. It's like, well, I played the game. That person's either fucking bad at the game or I don't know what. Because I had that with a ukulele. And I played the game outside of the loop of the news cycle, if you will. And I was like, I played it all on my stream. I was like, everyone, was like, eh, it's a neat game. I like it. Could be better. Few problems. Not as good as Banjo Kazooie. Neat, decent enough return to form, and they've already put out messages that they're going to be updating, adding more content. It's like, eh, it's all good. And then it was like, this game is one of the worst and most broken games ever. They completely betrayed their promises on um, the Kickstarter or whatever the site they were using, and that um, it's as bad of a launch as Mighty Number no. Nine. And I was like, okay, what the fuck's oh, going no. on? No. Really annoying, and, and like my video just sets out to be like, okay, can we just look at what everyone is parroting off everyone? Because there was just they have sequences where everyone says the same fucking thing in all of their tiny videos because that's what they've heard. The camera. What are the it doesn't fucking work whatsoever. Like, yeah, it does. What the fuck? <laughs> it's funny. I had more complaints about Dark Souls camera than I did about ukuleles, probably. One of the ones about. Um... Wolfenstein that people said was like, oh, they introduced leveling, so you're just going to be doing all of this grinding during the game. You super and, and I played through the game, and you, like, never have to do that. Yep. Yes, I, I did a couple side missions, I think, but the amount of the amount of doing, doing extra missions for the sole purpose of, like, ranking up to proceed was so small compared to just the rest of playing the game normally. Yeah, was so inconsequential. I was like, oh, everyone's being super fucking hyperbolic about this. Yep. It was like, oh, I don't like the fact that some enemies have heavy armor, so I have to hit them with these weapons, and some enemies are light, so these other we these weapons work better against them. It was like, that's so dumb, and it slows things down so much. Like, you know this gameplay mechanic that's older than time itself <laughs> in video games? People are all of a sudden bitching about, like it's a new invention that was just <laughs> dreamed up. And I was like, no, just... Just hit hit these enemies with these guns, which you have like four options, and hit these enemies with these guns, in which you have like four options. 
And you can even modify your guns to do different kinds of damage to different enemies if you want to. It's some... like, guys, I feel like some of y'all haven't ever played a fucking video game before. Oh, it's funny you saying this while I'm playing Metroid, which is like, you have four different gun types, they all have an alt fire and a charge fire that's different, and you have four different visors, and so different combos of all of them defeat different enemies. And you, you gotta keep on your toes about that shit. Like, the idea that it's like, ugh. So much to concern yourself with. It's like, actually, that's kind of the core gameplay, but all right. <laughs> it's an important thing that a lot of people enjoy. I suppose the argument might be, it's like, yeah, well, Wolfenstein isn't Metroid. you are like, all right. All right. I didn't particularly enjoy Youngblood. Um, I thought it was fine. So, like, I'm not going to defend the game. Overall, um, I'll call it fine. All things yeah, tally. It was fine, but it was fine. definitely not as bad as people made it out to be. I've played it yeah. more than one time with different friends in the co-op mode and things. It's fine. I, I wouldn't call it yeah. my favorite game or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not going to play it again, but if I had to play it again, I'd probably enjoy myself. I've never really gotten to the uh, Wolfenstein games, not even like back in the day. I've just always been like, yeah, I mean... I mean, I'd Nazis play. If, and... I mean, New Order is. I I would always recommend people play New Order. It's really good, really good. Yeah. Skip New Colossus. Is that, is that the one that was like fucking super duper controversial and they were like? Well, it was just like, like it. It was in. It just the gameplay wasn't that good compared to the first one. The characters are shit. Uh, the story is fucking garbage. And a third of your playtime is going to be watching cutscenes, not counting the in-game cutscenes that if you want to learn, you listen to. No, this is New Colossus. Oh, okay. Okay, skip yeah, New yeah. Colossus, play Youngblood. Youngblood's um, better than the New Colossus. For those Interesting. who are literally listening to this on Christmas Day, you would have noticed that Jay was in the call like four hours ago. Maybe more, I can't remember. Probably more. He's still in the group chat. And he just he just <laughs> links this image. Oh wait. Where is it? <laughs> I just want you guys to appreciate that that's what we, he just threw that in there. So uh yeah, yeah. Jay's still huh. here in spirit. That's the important thing that we're getting across. Can you show that? I guess I, I guess you can show that on stream. Only quick. Okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. If it gets, it's, most EFAPs get demonetized regardless, but like... Really? It's, yeah, it's, like, we say a lot of things we probably shouldn't say. It's funny because whenever the, um, <laughs> the fandom menace... I mean, menace... I did use racial slurs fucking earlier in the stream, so I shouldn't be surprised. When the fandom menace come on, they use all of these like replacement words because they're so used to it. So instead of Nazi, they'll say Yahtzee. And instead of like um, any word or slur or whatever, they, they'll obviously reduce it to its uh, colloquial sort of PC version and um, some other things. And we're always just like, huh? Do you mean Nazi? <laughs> and they're like, <gasps> it's like, it's okay. EFAP <laughs> is uh, it's a zone where you're welcome to discuss the Nazis. We allow it here. Yeah. But uh, YouTube are cracking down hard on a lot of stuff like that, and a lot of the rules are really weird. So, it's, it, it, not saying Nazi will will help you get monetized. Not sure how this rule came to be, but that's the way it is. It's so um, interesting how like the the rules like for TOS or monetization mold the format for creators a lot of the time. As in, yeah. like, oh, someone comes to the internet brand new, and they're like, I like the way you make your videos. And it's like, a lot of the stuff I, someone might do is, is literally tied to rules that were set rather than choices they made. I, I find that interesting, how content evolves <laughs> based on trying to please its master. Be free, little birds. Say all the Nazi things you wanna. Until they boot you off the site, then you should probably avoid it. <laughs> uh, would you guys recommend? What would you guys recommend for recording and editing software for a someone trying to get started on YouTube? Audacity. Yeah, Audacity. Definitely. Are we talking uh, narration? No. No, absolutely not. Um, well, no. This is for maybe recording and editing. So, and um, I'm okay, assuming um, that we should recommend for free first, and then if you have money, because Audacity yes. is free, right? So. I will, Audacity's yeah, free, but it's and then once you shit. get Audacity, I guess you could go with Reaper. Yeah, no, Reaper is way better than Audacity in every conceivable way. Yeah, but uh, most people don't more need robust. it, that's the thing. I mean, like, I remember with fucking Audacity, you had to, like, download an extension just to save a file as an MP3 or something. It was so weird. You had to, like, go out of your way to do it. I don't know if they changed it since then, but Reaper is, uh, 
I mean, really, be... really easy to use. Yeah, and, uh, it might be it's, outdated by it's now. Very seamless. Yeah, and uh, it just <sighs> Audacity just looks like shit. It's like everyone acts like it's like their only option, but like Reaper is really good, and it's not. It's not free. Like you, they do want you to $60. after two months. Yeah, they do. After two months, they do want you to pay sixty dollars for it. However, it's um, you know, they're not. They don't believe in like forcing you to do it or like not allowing you to keep using it. So really, I worked at a studio where they had like fucking ten computers with Reaper on it. None of them were paid for. So, um, hmm. wait, well, how does then, that work? Do they not if, enforce it? As in, like, yeah, they said they 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 believe it's in it's against the best interests of their of their clientele to limit like. Like, like it basically damages like creativity for them to be like, pay or we're gonna revoke it. So they just let you use it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's um, and then if they were asking about like footage, like capturing footage, Elgato is pretty much like the only real option That's if you're for. A console, yeah, well, I'm still talking. Uh, Elgato is the only real option for like capturing God. like console footage, and then uh, if you end up. Um, Doing like PC recording footage, bandy cam is always my go to. Some people like shadow play, I think it's not super dependable. Uh, yeah, Premiere is good for editing lot, video. I, shadow play is what I use. The only thing that I found uh, a little, um, I guess, annoying about shadow play is that every once in a while it won't save screenshots and then so you uh. restart it and then it works again. But I think that's the only problem I've ever had with uh, uh, shadow play. Because I, I like it quite a bit. I think it's really excellent. I just use OBS. Yeah, OBS has been super useful in my in my time on the interwebs. Doesn't OBS have cr like frequent corruptions for some people? I know it's kind of a common meme that like it's trash yeah. and it, it corrupts the video. It is um, never had a problem. Much like Vegas, I find it's a, it's a program you kind of got to get to know for its quirks <laughs> and what it needs and requires and shortcuts and stuff, which isn't exactly a compliment, but it's the kind of thing that unfortunately embeds me into it. Like, I don't want to learn any more new software if it's do the thing I want is doing it the way it works. And Streamlabs OBS is pretty user friendly, and there's a shit ton of guides yeah. online. OBS is what I use to stream. If I if I stream, uh, I, I will use OBS. I've got it, and I've got some presets saved, and it's pretty easy to figure out in terms of how to make things work. Yeah, there are um, probably programs for all the things we've been talking about they're like the best ones but uh ratioed with with like payment as well i i wouldn't know necessarily but these are the things i use audacity vegas and obs they're like the main programs i use for all of it and they haven't let me down yet well i mean <laughs> you're in there sometimes i mean yeah. it's vegas you have to like set these guides to how to set auto saving because that bitch freezes way too much. Yeah, it, yeah, it can freeze quite a bit. You once you set the auto save thing, you'll be golden. You just yeah. gotta know to do it. It's funny. And it's a, it's just uh, to... anything. Sorry, go ahead. It, I would say it's it once you once you know that it can freeze, it just it becomes an annoyance because yeah. you've learned to set saves to be frequent. What's funny um, is mine is set for a minute, like once every minute, and uh. Even then, I'll sometimes lose like a minute's worth of progress. I'll be like, "Ugh." Oh. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. And you, you, but you'd be like, "It's just a minute." It's like, "Yeah, but it's a minute that I did, and now it's gone." Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I. It's like playing a video game. You know, it's like I did it. Now I died. I gotta go back here and do all this shit again that I've already done. It's like, mm -hmm. ugh. Yeah. And the one thing I tell people when stuff like that happens is just I try and justified in my own head as I'm going to do it better this time so that it's different from what I lost. Um, hopefully I can, like, yeah, if, if yeah. it's like a small bit of animating on some zoom in or whatever, I'm just like, you know what, this time I'm going to make it a little bit more snappy. Yeah. Good way to look at it. Um, how could you miss? I think was... that's probably... Oh, sorry. No, I, mean, I was go just going to say, I think that if you're getting into, because it's the, the person who did the super chat is saying that they're starting, you should expect that everything will fail always. That way yeah, you never yeah. have that story of, oh, you know, I did this thing and, and the whole thing. I, I once uploaded a video that was completely black footage. Completely. Oh because I had, I had muted the, uh, the, the video in my editor, and then when I uh, exported it, I just never watched it. And it was 
black video. So, like, you're going to make mistakes, but if you just expect that they will always fail, I think you'll do better. Yeah, I have... Vegas doesn't... It doesn't frustrate me very often at all. Um, like, there's never a time where I'm just frustrated trying to find out why a thing happened or what's going on. Um... The most, uh, the most work I've had to do was actually with uh, Das. He and I got together, and he helped me get a bunch of settings together that were really good for gameplay, so that when I recorded gameplay and rendered it, it would look really good if you do the certain settings. And that was the oh, most. Oh, like I all the bitrate and shit. Huh? Yeah, the bitrate. Oh, like the bit, yeah. Then the, the, the sampling and the stuff like that. Um, that was when, once you got the settings, you're good forever because you, you yeah. save it, reset forever. But mm. just getting them the first time, um, it takes a bit of trial and error. To <laughs> get yeah, definitely. Doing any sort of video editing, it's just like, what is two pass VBR? Oh, literally, it renders it twice with variable bitrate, and for some reason, CBR is like not as good for like getting like a true blacks render. I'm just like, oh, okay. Please. You gotta look up a lot of the shit to even understand why you should care. Like, I looked up H.265 versus H.264 and, like, you know, fucking audio bitrate shit like that for exporting this podcast that I edit. And it's just, like, most of the people on the forum are, like, they're going back and forth, like, with the very fine, fine details. And then eventually they go, yeah, whatever, this one's good enough. And all things considered, it's, it's really, like, niche to use this other format. So just go with, like, the most universal one and then it's like all right just i'll use that one yeah you'll also but find yeah, that most platforms like youtube and things like that will tell you what they think you should use yeah that's like, true youtube will tell you what they prefer for their ingestion so just use that like you i think eight point two six five is a video uh, container file it's, is like very streamable it's like fast loading efficient and stuff. i guess for people who are asking, who, for the person who asked the super chat, like what what program should I use to start? Most of this won't apply to you yet. It'll just be eventually down the road. Yeah, you might, yeah. You know, explore these things. Yeah, um, Google is your friend. You'll find. Yeah, Google definitely is your friend. Uh, Google and there is a YouTube tutorial for everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, and that has been that's how I've learned to use these programs is how do I do this and there's some some guy with a YouTube tutorial on how to do it and then you learn it once and you're probably going to remember it forever and that's just one more thing yeah. you add to your pile of skills and yeah. honestly you only have to learn how to do like five different things in Vegas and that's 95% of everything you'll probably yeah. end up ever you try and to pick do. stuff up along the way then you'll be alright I, I bought I bought like a fucking like a digital doorknob like it literally it's like a keypad on it and I didn't know how to like program it to like set my code and I looked up the model number on Google sure enough some fucking 50 year old dude that has a whole channel dedicated to like locks and doorknobs and doors and shit he just had a whole video explaining like 100% of how to use it and I'm just like all right like it's just, just like always check on Google on uh, YouTube first hey, everybody, likely some it's weird it's fanatic Robert. 64 here with another video. <laughs> yeah, no, he was cool too. I was like, this guy's got personality. He's got, he's got moxie. Neat. So it's, yeah, try it okay. out. You'll, you'll it's not, be it's not right. too. And that is, that is the best we could probably give without going into a. And even one more one thing that I really want to highlight that I constantly say to any of like my friends or followers that like want to get into this shit, don't be so fucking hung up on making sure everything is perfect. Like, if you want all the stars to align before you can even, like, start to make your video, like, oh, I need the fucking GTX 380 or 3080, and I need this and that, and oh, I want to make sure that I'm, like, really good with this editing program, just make a fucking piece of shit video. You don't and have then to that'll be the make. Yeah, I mean, I recommend you do, because then you'll be able to, you'll be able to look back at it. If you make it. Yeah. I just think it's, you'll be able to look back at it if you do upload it. Like, my first video, it's fine, it's okay, but it's not, like, my current standards, obviously, but I was still, I was figuring it out as I went. And so, like, just make something shitty, and then you're gonna be like, ah, that was terrible, I need to make another video that's better. And then that's gonna drive you, and it's gonna be a little, you know, a little for, uh, source of motivation. Just get it done. Perfect is the enemy yeah. of progress. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I have I have at least one fully edited and finished video that I just never released because I just wasn't pleased with it all that much. <laughs> yeah. 
So, like, sometimes you just make stuff and you learn things along the way and it just ends up being practice, and that's that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not, every, not every crayon drawing has to go on the fridge, alright? And you can always unlist them. That's what I do. I have yeah. 550 videos unlisted. Really? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Grinding. Um, this game is giving me strong Iron Man 3 vibes. I'm assuming it's about a Resident Evil 5. I'm not sure how that connects, you know? Yeah, I don't follow that at all. It was um, nonsensical to me. How could you miss? <laughs> he was three feet in front of you. Um, oh, this is when the Wesker RPG shit, if you remember, Rags, I think, anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wish you oh, could remember each of these. Wasn't it? it was, I know it was that or... It was weird yeah, shit, because, like, our screens weren't the same. Like, he was at different points on different screens. Um, and I think it's how he just like turns and walks horizontally. So if he's in front of you and you shoot just as he decides he's gonna walk to the left now to try and get your buddy, then yeah, you. Yeah. So that's just a that's just kind of a game thing. If characters don't have good momentum or like uh, like there's no tell and where they're going to go, like kind of real people sort of behave. That's just a confusing fight. It's not made clear at all. Like what the yeah, fuck you have to do to win. It's a it's weird a, one. Yeah. It's the Ouroboros fight, uh, one of the last ones with the flamethrower near the end. Ugh. There, There is legit confusion as to what you're supposed to do because you could... Because there's no health bar. Yeah, the dude Wait, has do, you mean, do you mean the one, the one the that's in, like, needs. the giant fucking lab? Well, it's a... It's, it's not a, a giant... It's yeah, like a medium lab. The, <laughs> it's big, yeah. It's yeah. got, like, three lanes, and, like, yeah. you can go through the yeah. middle. Yeah, no, that one... I've played that one six fucking times. It has such conveyance issues. It is not you, clear at all. What you have to, cause it goes on for like a half hour, even well, if you're doing it really well. I think it'd be okay Progress. if you reduce the health of a dude by 60%. It would probably well, yeah, be better off. Yeah, it's fucking off. impossible. It comes in three stages where you have to do the thing like three times. Yeah. And the first two times, quick and easy, and you feel like you're making yeah. definite progress. And then that third stage just drags on and on and on. And I'm sitting here yeah. cutting limbs off with bullets over and over and over again because it looks like it's damaging it and killing mm. it and it looks that's yeah. very unpleasant for it but it doesn't do health damage it's resident evil has always especially five has a very it has issues with how it conveys information to players like are yes. you damaging an enemy which i mean that's that, that's one of the reasons like resident evil 4 uh kind of set this precedent that has unfortunately plagued five and six and seven in that Let's get this fucking, you know, ungodly abomination that is, is so alien and you have no idea, like, well, what is even considered a fucking head or, like, a weak point on this thing. So then they go, oh, let, let's just fucking give everything, like, a, an, a giant orange pus pod. It's just mm -hmm. a fucking huge orange orb that you have to be retarded not to be able to see. And that that is the weak point. You have to shoot it and it fucking splashes orange goop at you and it, it fucking... Recoils, you know, it's it's Wait, really which, annoying. Which boss you know. are you talking about? Just like uh, uh, like any like Uroboros boss in I Resident Evil Salazar Five Salazar has something like that, right? Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, but well, yeah. Salazar, you had to you hit Salazar himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After you hit and the eyeballs, hit. right? I'm I'm not saying all of Four did it. I'm just saying there were like traces of it in oh, Four. Right. If I'm not, I might be tired and mistaken. Shoot him anywhere, but like there are specific places that you shoot weak points. Yeah, I think right. five definitely uh, went crazy with it because of the goopy monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four tried to make it sort of like uh, interesting, like the the El Gigante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know the eventually you shoot him anywhere, and eventually the thing right. will pop, the plagus will pop out of its back. You're like, oh, okay, right, I get right. it. Uh, yeah. With um, Del Lago is its own weird mm. thing that doesn't quite follow the formula um, yeah. when it comes to vertigo is confusing vertigo has an insane amount of health yeah um which is it's one of those that a lot of people will use the rocket launcher for um, is vertigo the one in the cage i forget the name no uh vertigo is the uh, the right hand of salazar right 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 okay yeah, he's died. fucking yeah if you don't like if you don't use all of those nitro like nitrous oxide whatever fucking yes. liquid nitrogen Vertigo tanks perfectly and you get a damage bonus when you use the liquid nitrogen and even if you use all of them i don't think think you could kill him in those stages it's just like he's a yeah. pain in the ass boss and he hardens and shit yeah yeah 
Uh, it's not not super clear. And I think, yeah, he's just yeah, it's don't. It's, uh, um, <laughs> no, for Resident Evil Four, I didn't mean to say that like it's to blame for like the the trend that followed. I just think there were little little um, hints like here and there. Zelda and everything, where I mean, if you're talking about like weak spots on enemies, that's generally the the games that are the go to obvious weak point uh, weak point. Yeah. Spot kinds of things. Uh -huh. The camera like zooms in on it and shit. Resident Evil 4 when you're fighting um, uh, what's the, the village chief's name? Uh, I can't, I, I oh, forget. the trench coat guy? Resident Evil 4? Yeah. I forget, I forget. his name. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, the, when you're fighting the chief. The big cheese. Yeah, he is he is um, he has an extreme weakness to fire, so incendiary grenades do a mm. lot of extra damage to it. I never is, knew like, that. Uh, that's how I in remember front of killing him. him. Uh, so you could just like you could kill him really quickly if you just chuck like four incendiaries on him. Boop, 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 wow! Boop. And the barrels hurt a lot. Something new every day. Yeah. 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 Uh, but his weak spot is the the big middle part. You know. It's... Also, the total like not not like a non sequitur, but if any if any one of you, it, it feels weird to act like we're talking to chat because like we are, but it's not like in real time. Um. Uh, if anyone wants, like, a good horror game and doesn't mind, like, you know, kind of dated, like, Silent Hill sort of controls kind of thing, uh, the original Resident Evil 3, get the fucking uh, HD mod, whatever, it's totally free. Just get, like, the Dolphin and, and the, the ROM and everything for it, or the ISO, I guess. Uh, it still holds up really fucking well. There's a lot of uh, interesting things that change depending on the choices you make and when you do them. So if, if you're a big fan of... Um, Games that reward like experimentation and you know replayability and everything. Then uh, Resident Evil Three is one of my favorite fucking horror games of all time. So that's why I was so upset when the remake just <laughs> completely shit the bed. It was so bad in every conceivable way. Um, could we get the EFAP crew to play Dead by Daylight? I think Rags would hate Dead oh, by God. Daylight. Uh, it's bad. It's fucking I, I shit don't, game. I don't have any interest in it. That's the thing. Like, it's it's tough. If if you get me to play a game, I have no interest in playing at all whatsoever. Like, I'm just, I don't wanna. It's yeah. very yeah. fun. It can be really fun, but at the same time, like, you can get fucked over by really bad teammates. Um, well, and the so balancing here's... has lots of issues constantly. There's always a best survivor, yeah. best killer sort of thing. Yeah, which yeah, isn't you know. Matter. I mean, like a lot of things are like that, but still. <laughs> The, the, the main thing I want to say that really makes me kind of hate playing that game is that if you're the killer, like, you know, you, you go around and you're supposed to, like, find all the, the survivors and kill them, but you have, like, a really narrow field of view. So that's kind of for the survivor's benefit, obviously. So a lot of the time it's just, like, you stab them and they gain, like, a fucking speed boost to get away from you quickly and you have to slow down and wipe the blood off of your weapon to give them a chance to get away and it's, like, can't really kill them. You have to make sure they're on the hook and then their their teammates can come take them off the hook. So it's like a lot of people will just cheese it and just camp out by the hook to make sure that that player like has to die. Um, um, if you're the survivor, you have to like do quick time events. And if you fuck them up, then it alerts the killer where you are. And they're very easy to fuck up. So it's just it's just a very tedious game. Well, like, and to top it off, it looks like a, it's like made in Unity. So it just looks super scuffed no matter how much like money they pour into it. So I think Rags would fucking hate it. Those aren't the reasons why I think it would hit. In fact, like, you've played Gears of War, right, Rex? Uh, yes. So you know active reload versus perfect reload? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what they have in the game. Uh, it's easy to get an active reload. If you want to get perfect reload, though, you risk in it. That's that's what Dead by Daylight does, and I think that's fine. Um, obviously uh, but when he says reload, issues, he needs, like, the... The, the point of the point of the game as a survivor is to go around and put, like power up a bunch of generators so you just go over and vaguely like your character like fucks with a wrench or something and, and tinkers with it and then yeah like, yeah, yeah yeah you can also you know look for bonuses in the map like from chests be it torches to fuck with a killer or, or maps to access things quicker or health kits what have you mm. I mean it's I a cool think concept there's, there's a good game in there it's just it's, it can be extremely frustrating yeah. and I just don't think like with the amount you kind of need to sync with your team um, and how many there's a lot of ways killers can f like, like I think the game is typically balanced in favor of killers especially the nurse she's completely oh, yeah. bullshit um, yeah it can be really frustrating if I was, was going to try and push rags onto a game it wouldn't be that one it would be someone else yeah yeah I just think it's funny how, like, no matter what, every time you're done and, like, 
There was this one dude, I was playing this one game, and this guy kept, um... He kept, uh, fucking off and wasting time. And so I just, like, r I left him behind, because, like, the, the gate was open. All I had to do was run through and win. And he got fucking mad at my team for not, like, saving him when he was literally, like, being actual dead weight. And, and yeah, like, then if you, you know, if you do a really good job, sometimes the killer will be all fucking salty. He'll tell you, like, you guys bunch of fucking faggots. Like, he'll, it's just so, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's, you know, like, honestly, you I can't believe a lot of... the game is as successful as it is. I, I never thought that would happen. But, uh, yeah, no, it it's done really well. It really like, deserves it. And they've been giving it really strong, like, chunky updates with all different mechanics and, uh, throwing in some IPs as well. Like, people like it when they see they're being chased by Freddy Krueger or whatever. <laughs> But it has, like, a lot of, like, levels and fucking skill trees and shit that you have to pour, like, you know, tens and tens of hours into it to really, like... You feel kind of, um, at a disadvantage unless you grind it and, like, buy the DLC. I don't remember if they yeah. have, like, loot crates starting, in it. Starting brand new, that's fucking balls. It takes ages to get up yeah. to the point where you're, uh... Yeah, that could be a major problem I think I'll probably have. Obviously, I don't get it because I've unlocked all the shit, but... Maybe yeah. that's why I have a really bad experience is because every time it's just... It's like, oh, there's I mean, a killer. Okay, I'm down. Okay, I'm hooked. Okay, no one's saving me. Okay, game over. Yeah, and, and I will say I haven't played sucks. it in long enough that I don't know if that system's changed, but obviously if it's the same way... It hasn't. Yeah. It hasn't. I played it like three months ago. It's <laughs> fucking exactly the same. But, yeah. Um, QED regs would uh, not enjoy it very much. It's a very bare-bones game with a cool concept that it, uh, unfortunately doesn't uh, <laughs> do enough with. Sheva, shoot him, Mola. No, I gotta do the meme. That's when I was punching the boulder, and I chose to do that instead of saving Rax's uh, life. I gotta punch that boulder. Can I can I say super briefly before we move on from that? I really do like what Dead by Daylight does with like its its uh, IPs, though. Like it has the fucking Stranger Things monster. It has like a fucking Pyramid Head. It has mm -hmm. uh fucking like Ghost face. what's what's the movie? This is my boomstick. What movie is that again? Evil Dead. Um, it is like fucking. I think it has Evil Dead character. It's just got like a bunch yeah. of. It got this fucking bill from Left for Dead. Like it's just got a bunch of really cool, uh, you know, stuff in it where you're like, ah, this. Yeah, I'd love to. It's like the Super Smash Brothers of fucking horror characters. Yeah, like, and they, and I they like it a lot. Try and give them powers or abilities that you're like, oh, that makes sense that they would have that. That's yeah, neat. it would like yeah, it makes sense like in world and it's just like oh, it's clever, it's neat. But yeah, it's just as a game, it's fucking ass. I wouldn't go that far. I do like it, and I appreciate a lot about it. It's just, it's a, it's just janky. They, they, I don't know if they've... Yeah. You know. Uh, this game I mean, is so just, tism. Even graphically, it's underwhelming and shit, but yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. You're, you're right. I'm being a little harsh. Uh, should be called Resident J, because the game is so tism. Damn. <laughs> right. Luckily, J is not here right now, nor in the, in the chat. chat. He's nope. in the chat. He's in the chat. No, no, that's... Eat his... shit, Jay. Fuck off. <laughs> you join this call, you know that, right? He's gonna fuck you up. Yeah, he could. Rich was an evil game has the worst story. All of them. Oh <laughs> god. I don't fucking um, know. They're yeah, all... no, they do have a, like a lot of camp about them. I would say I mean Resident Evil 1 has like a pretty solid story for sure. Uh Resident Evil 2 is kind of whatever. People are really nostalgic for Resident Evil 2, but I think it's I don't know, when I was go back, playing, they... the story was like fucking horse shit. Which I'm one? Like, you have to remake this part of it, right? Wait, you're talking about RE2? Yeah, the remake. I thought the remake actually, like, expand, like, it, it made everything about Resident Evil 2 better, for the most part. But oh, people, God. other people didn't seem to... Sorry, one more time. Every time, like, I talk and then you talk, it makes you sound like you're, like, talking to a radio I, I, or something. I don't know how bad the original was, then. The original was pretty, I mean, it's funny, because, like, Ada and Sherry's mom and like the woman over the announcement speaker it was all like one woman like barely changing her affects i mean that's not you know the story per se but just little scuff details like that um i would hands down say that resident evil 5 and 6 probably tie as having some of the worst stories uh code veronica is pretty cool uh i really like resident evil outbreak because the storytelling there was kind of minimalistic but they they tried to kind of tie it in with the uh, main events from the other Resident Evil games so like there's a there's a, a woman in Resident Evil uh, Outbreak File 2 at the police station they sort of retconned it but in Outbreak which is like an online multiplayer game thing uh, they have a level where it's like you're at the Raccoon Police Department and there's Martin and he's totally fine he's normal and they're all trying to sort of figure out like how to evacuate or how to barricade the building and then at the at the very end like Martin gets bitten by a zombie and he kind of goes back inside etc 
so they kind of uh, explain how he got bitten and everything in the first place. Um, but uh, it's uh, it, there's just some really interesting little detail where there's a girl there who's sort of like Marvin's uh, uh, little assistant. She's like this girl who's just, okay, I'll help you out with whatever. And her name's like Elisa or Elise or something. And if you go into the sort of press room in, in the Resident Evil 2 remake, she, her name played a still on the desk. And I'm just like, oh, they didn't, uh, they didn't retcon it. That's cool. <laughs> but... Yeah, wow. I don't know. Probably Resident Evil Survivor has the worst fucking... <laughs> it's just like a fucking first-person shooter with like a light gun, but the light gun mechanic got taken out because Columbine had just happened, and they're like, uh-oh. So they just cut it. That that game is literally just get to the end, fight the fucking biological warfare final boss, and you, you leave on the helicopter and you win. But that, that one is for sure the fucking worst story. Yeah, for me, it's I've never been invested to even figure it out. I just find Resident Evil stories are always... the attempt at a vehicle for the gameplay they're like this is enough right i'm like yeah that's fine yeah sure it, it's yeah it, it's it's like metal gear syndrome kind of make everything really complicated and super mysterious and uh conspiracies and twists and i wouldn't say complicated i mean it's not i'm just saying like they probably think it's like oh look at all the weaving narratives that all sort of converge and this game comes before this game canonically you know it's just it's one of those things where you make like yeah. fucking you make like 20 games and try to find a common thread between all of them i still like resident evil but i think yahtzee put it best when he's just like oh resident evil games still think they're scary that's cute yeah it's weird yeah. um but yeah that's uh that's two different sort of things that have been caught up super chat wise the resident evil part two and the uh little hope ones hmm. So oh, wow. nice. it's a nice chonker for for anybody, like I said, who's on Christmas Day. Just like, yeah. you know what? I'll listen to some new EFAP. I think we talked about a shit this... ton of things. It was hilarious. Yeah, this is really fun. Yeah, and uh, talked about some. We movies, uh, you know, we established the you know definition of wet bread. Yeah, so, and I think words. Uh, the, I think M is right. It might start the... popping up everywhere. I'm just saying. <laughs> it ahoy. I welcome it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the, I mean, that's about it. Uh, this, 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 I don't know what yeah. else to really say. The Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Mouse. Merry Christmas. I hope we can like be around to do something on Christmas if you guys are around. I mean, I'm not expecting anything, I'm not but I'm, I'm literally going to be at home. Day that much, but, uh, day after, maybe. <laughs> Sure, yeah, I'll, I won't be doing anything, so let's fucking hang out. Uh, I yeah. might be around late that night. Yeah. Because I'll be doing stuff. I all think so. sometime around then, we will need to be watching Resident Evil 7. Oh, oh yeah, Monster Hunter. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right. we'll have to figure that stuff out, you know. Because, um, you know, I'm going right, to fucking tonight. pirate a copy for sure. Right, and I gotta eat food, go to sleep, wake up, and do EFAP again, you know? That's the life. Yeah, like, I haven't eaten since this morning. I, I, really I got up, <laughs> did my errands, I got back home, and boom, it was EFAP. So, yeah, I'm, like, <laughs> I haven't been home, I haven't had any free time all day. And so, yeah, um, I'm same, actually. A sandwich. Yeah, uh, at this point, <laughs> anybody who gets to this point in the video, when it's released, it'll be the, probably the end of Christmas Day. So, it was fun, I hope, for everyone. And yeah, hope you got some good gifts or spent time with family or otherwise had a wholesome, Go watch Jingle All the day. Way and Batman and Robin for Christmas at Hobolo. <laughs> Do it. The best Christmas movies, obviously. And, and who knows, you might see the EFAP movies for those one century. I, I, no promises. And uh, there's no point in me talking about what's coming next, EFAP or whatever content-wise, because it'll be out of date by the time you listen to it. So, uh, Actually, they would have possibly seen all the Mando coverage by now. Who knows? Um... Which has been fun. But yeah, anything else anyone want to say before we do a close out? I love you. Oh. Uh no. Just thanks for thanks everybody. Hope you I hope you guys had a good Christmas is when this is supposed to come out. Yes, Christmas Day. Yeah. Jingle bells. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Well, what are you talking about, Rex? It's Christmas right now. Whoa. Today. No, I mean, you know, well, I mean, what I said would apply. Uh I I you know, I could still be dazed and confused and that sort of thing from all of the days, <laughs> as one knows. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. Um, I hope you've been liking what we've been doing. Thanks for giving this a listen. And I guess we'll see mm -hmm. you next. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. From also, on the also, Jay, Jay typed in our group chat, come. I want to say come. 
So Just Jay said, "Come, everyone, come, come yeah, all, he said, come. Mary, come, hmm. Mary, come, everyone." Um, goodbye. Uh, <laughs>